<laughs> oh my god. When we transferred streams, I was just completely raining sheep there, huh? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's lovely to see you all here. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time zone you're in. I hope you're having a good time. Today, as you can see, we're going to be playing Dramatical Murder, a game that has been requested literally since I debuted at Niji Sanji. And somehow we're finally allowed to play at least part of it. <laughs> so, there were a lot of rules given to me when I got permission to play this game. Um, essentially, we're only allowed to play the demo version for today. Um, it's the safe for work version. So everything is safe. We're not going to get immediately taken down for adult reasons. We may get taken down eventually for other reasons. We'll see. But <laughs> today we are playing the safe for work demo version. We're going to try and get through the entire demo. I think it's anywhere between like three to five hours. So we may not get through the entire thing, but I'm going to try to get through the entire thing today. Uh, keep in mind. Yeah, the VOD may eventually like disappear depending on things that happen. So if you want to watch this, make sure you watch it today or make sure you watch the VOD when you can because you know, YouTube be YouTubing. <laughs> this is apparently a very adult game. So it may get indirect indiscriminately like taken down just like, oh, that game's adult. Let's get rid of it. But we'll see. Um, number one, thank you for so much support before the stream even started. Kami Code drip gave like 150 gifted membership and an Aka Super. So thank you so much. I'm glad you got to join in today, Kami Ko. I hope everybody enjoys this as well. Um, please do read all the rules that are in the description of the video. They're in the description of every live stream I put up. So please pay attention to the rules. They're normally pretty simple. And finally, there is a pinned message at the top, which basically says, do not be trying to spoil me in any sort of way. Do not try to backseat me. Do not tell me what route to go down. When a character shows up, don't be like, oh, you're going to love this character because X happens. None of that. I don't want to know anything. <laughs> not to mention, I don't want anyone like throwing out. Like if you want to get trigger warnings and content warnings, that's fine. You need to search them out for yourself. I'm not putting them in chat. And if people start dropping trigger warnings in chat, it's fine if you just say trigger warning, but just say nothing is better. But if you say something like trigger warning, there's like a, a brutal fight scene here. You're going to get banned because that counts as spoiling. If people need trigger warnings, they can absolutely go look them up themselves. This is a channel made for adult people. We stream all kinds of things like this. We streamed the entirety of Fata Morgana, Spirit Hunter NG. So we've done a lot of things where like, if if you want to look them up, you can look them up by yourself. We don't like spoilers here. Like that's just become part of the channel at this point. With that said, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good start to the day. <laughs> I've never played this game. Um, literally the entirety of my understanding of this game is I know what Alba looks like. And I know that there's, I've seen the statue of one of the bad ends where he's tied up BDSM style. That's it. That's literally it. So I'm going into this completely blind. Do not spoil it for anyone else in chat. And other than that, let's enjoy this. Start. I think my sound settings are correct, but if I need to turn anything down or up, just let me know in chat. It's so video game. It's so classic. <laughs> I even made sure I'm like placed at the right point so I won't get in the way of the text bub. <laughs> I mean, not yet, game. Surely that's your job. Sorry. Um. I mean, I know that's probably supposed to be a big dramatic thing. With your P Oh. Power. Okay, that makes more sense. Destroy me with your power. I mean, it started with finally you came and it hit me with the... <laughs> Come on, man. Destroy me with your P Power. Power. Power, obviously. <laughs> Hi! Odenwa Ariatogosaimasu. Junk shop, Heaven. This humdrum junk wall. Hi, hello. Thank you for calling humdrum junk. How may I be of service? And yeah, I'm sorry. I'm covering up this thing. Jerry, blind. Uh, um, I have a quick question. Hi. 
Go right ahead. No idea what an all mate is. I'm very interested. Also, these colors. God damn, everything's so glaring. I love it. It is so early 2000s cyberpunk. Do you carry custom parts for S2 type all mates? Hi, atsukatemasu. Zaiko mo gozaimasuga. Yes, we do. We happen to have some in stock right now. He's so ganky. That's not what I expected from someone who looks as badass as that. So bubblegum, yeah. Very much. Would you like to place an order? Uh, yeah. uh, no. Uh, no, um, well. Hi? Sir, you didn't call just to waste my time, did you? Surely, surely not, please. Well, I know how this is going to sound, but... Hi. Oh, fuck, he's hot. What is that phone? Oh, God. The little cat on top of everything. I like how that was all one CG and they just showed different parts of it. Oh, the boots, though. What the heck are those? They're not even boots. It's like on top of the boot. Oh, my God. That's crazy. It's like the schoolgirl socks from the 90s, but bubblegum. <laughs> Moon shoes for real. <laughs> Foo, that is literally your outfit. Bruh, no, 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 no. Mine is form fitting. Mine is sleek. His is popping out. His is so colorful. Mine's just black and red. <laughs> it's not massively different. Don't get me wrong. Leg warmers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like leg warmers. They just don't go all the way up to the knees. <laughs> yes. Oh. This is a different kind of sale. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe we could meet up after work today. Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> the simping is so hard. <laughs> oh my god, the... <laughs> oh, no. Um, how should I put it? It's... It's that voice. You have a very... Nice voices all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't believe we're beginning just with like a pickup line. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm very flattered. By the way, sir, I just thought of something that might interest you. Yes, yeah, sell him up on something huge. Sure.実はですね、先ほどSと型カスタムパーツのお話をされてましたが、今度そのシリーズの新しいタイプを先行で入荷するんですよ。Running for everything he's worth, Alba. <laughs> you mentioned S2 type pa custom parts. It turns out we're expecting a shipment of brand new parts for that series soon. それでですね、ただいまお得意様だけに特別にご紹介するという形で予約を受けたまわっているんですが。and we just so happen to be accepting pre-orders, but only for our most loyal customers. Would you be interested? It looks like they're going to be popular. I wouldn't be surprised if they sell out right away. If you pre-order, you won't have to worry about missing out. <laughs> He's so good. The sale is being pushed so hard. もちろんこれはお得意様限定の特別なご案内ですのでご予約いただければサービスいたしますよ。Of course, because this opportunity is only for our more special customers, if you do place a pre-order, I could do something a little extra for you. Some sort of service. Extra! <laughs> Hi! Service. Yes. An extra. Oh, then by all means, I'll pre-order. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
それでは今からお客様の個人データをお送りくださいファンタスティック We could just send your personal data over はいありがとうございました確かにご予約を受けたまわりました Thank you very much Your pre-order has been placed それでは今後とも当店をどうぞごひいきに We hope you'll continue shopping with us in the future <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> His face. Immediately. <sighs> this is such a customer service, dude. <laughs> Alba is a scammer. That's not a scam. That's using somebody, somebody's inclinations against them. He's just trying to do his job. He did not ask some dude to call him up on the phone and be like, Oh, I,、uh, I didn't actually want to buy anything from you. I just think you're really cute. Can we hang out? That's not his job. Fuck that shit. He can make his bank. <laughs> He's so done. Yeah, he is. He's just like. <sighs> I hang up the phone and let out a huge sigh. Even when I know what they're up to, dealing with customers who want something other than spare parts is always a pain. Your voice is so wonderful. I just have to meet you. I get that sort of thing over the phone surprisingly often. Just hearing my voice makes them want to meet me. What kind of guy says that to another guy? In the beginning, I just shrugged it off, but it really started to bother me after a while. Then one day, out of frustration, I tried using it to push product and it worked. Ever since, I've used it to improve my sales. That phone call just now was a good example. Strangely enough, it doesn't happen in person. Some customers have actually come looking for me after a call, but I always pretend like I don't know what they're talking about. They all real leave without realizing that I'm the person they spoke to on the phone. Nothing bad has actually happened, so I figure no harm, no foul. <sighs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even realize it's him when they show up. Oh, because he does use a very different voice. When he first answers the phone, he's like, Hello, nice to meet you. He's like got full on bottom energy. <laughs> He's just fully like, yo, I'll do anything to make your service. And then when he actually gets off the phone, he's like, ah, I'm so done with this. I'm sure when they show up in person, he's like, yo, sup, welcome to the junk store. You want anything? <laughs> the gonna love the customer service voice. Yes. He would make bang as a VTuber. Honestly, why doesn't he just switch to adult phone call services? He'd make so much money. God damn, you charge like $10 an hour. God damn. It says two dangers in that in the background, <laughs> just to let you know. They mean extreme danger. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Okay. The manager should be back soon. While stretching, I glance at the digital clock on the counter. This is humdrum junk. A shop that carries everything from basic supplies to specialized parts. All at rock bottom prices. The dorky name was what drew me in. Just how long has it been since I started working here anyway? A while, that's for sure. Hmm? 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 Got a message. I'm leaning on the counter, spacing out when the coil on my arm beeps. A coil is like a mobile phone, but better. You can make calls, send texts, watch TV, pay for things, and even use it as an ID, all in one little machine. Oh my god, they predicted that so hard. <laughs> When was this made? 2013? I mean, you could do all of that on a phone now. <laughs> That's a phone. Exactly. Looking at it nowadays, it's like, so, so, so a phone, but around you. So a Google smartwatch. Okay. <laughs> 2012. 2012. God damn. Yeah, more than 10 years. I mean, the ID thing is kind of new. Paying for things with your phone's kind of new. Watching TV is like a good. Eight years old. They were just barely in front of that one, but damn, they did good guessing some other things. Um, and yeah, where Pepsi Avenue. <laughs> Why is it a Pokeball logo as well? I guess they wanted to get away from the Pepsi thing and the 69 smiley face. God damn it. This game is amazing already. Dore dore. Let's see. Ooh. Damsel in distress. Is this some new viral ad? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Dinner from Granny. Oh, he still gets dinner with his grandmama. <laughs> like the adult kind. I'm sure the rest of it says something like, I'm in trouble. Only a big, strong man like you can save me. Delete. <laughs> Suddenly, something slams into my side. 
I fall from the chair and something heavy lands on my back. Three voices giggle overhead. I know right away who it is. Albus Fiari! Albus wide open! Oh my god, this is immediately adorable. There has to be a way to hide the text. Hold up. My text is space. Okay. Oh, look at the little Kigurumi. What are you? A hamster or like a rat? It's cute either way. Like a book. So lame. Oh my god. Mio Kyo and now. I could not read anything other than Mio Kyo and now. Why, you little. It's Kyo now and Mio. A trio of siblings from the neighborhood whose only purpose, it seems, is to make my life hell. They're siblings? Oh, I feel so bad for your parents. One is just like little Minnie the Mouse character. The other one's Mickey the Mouse character. The other one's a rat. What the hell, dude? Why do your parents dress you like this? How many times have I told you this isn't a playground? Don't you kids listen? Hey, I was looking at a dirty email. Huh? Eh? No way. Now I must have gotten a look at my coil. The other two climb up my back trying to get a peek. Can't breathe. Oh, so yo, Briskadets, how you doing? Sunny, how was your day been? I saw you were playing Alien Isolation again. I'm glad you continued it. I know you're having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> that game was actually the first one that scared me of every game I've ever played, and you're just running through it like it's a comedy. <laughs> Glad you're having a good time. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, we're just playing Dramatical Murder. We've only just started, so the story hasn't even properly kicked in yet. We're only meeting the first character right now. So feel free to sit back and enjoy the stream. Feel free to head out if this isn't your kind of thing. Uh, it's just a boys love visual novel that I'm going through for the first time. So yeah. Do not spoil if you know anything about it. But yeah, we're diving into this for the first time on the channel. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you guys for being here. And thank you, Shani, for the raid. I'm looking forward to River City Girls 2 tomorrow. Get off me, you idiots! Dirty email. Dirty email. Alva's a pervert. Grown-ups are dirty. Nuh-uh. I bet it's someone wanting to buy bad stuff because this shop is so sketchy. 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 This shop sucks. Then why do you kids keep coming around here to bully me in it? God damn it. I'm glad he likes the kids. You know what? It's cute. Anybody who's good with kids is good in my book. <laughs> that face is... Wow, Jesus. I miss eyebrows being like that. They were so expressive. Nowadays, they're so much thicker. <laughs> I know. Let's arrest Alba for being perverted and sketchy. Yeah. Hi. You're under arrest. Oh my god, it's baby Sonny, actually. <laughs> Get off me already, you brats! No translation needed. <laughs> I jump up, shaking them off. I'm not going to hold back just because they're kids. If I thought scolding them would accomplish anything, I'd do it. But this bunch doesn't give a rat's ass what I have to say. Hey, what's that thing on top of the shelf? It's probably for beating people up. That's scary. Boys are mean. As I expected, their attention has already moved on to other things. You guys oh crap wait is it actually something adult well you got there alba <laughs> the screen of my coil catches my eye download complete the hell i do recall it making a weird noise earlier maybe i accidentally pushed a button while i was wrestling with the brats oh, i hope i didn't download some weird program no! 
もう最悪じゃねえか。あ、uh, あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、あ I love these character introductions. They give you nowhere near enough time to read anything, but my god, they're so high energy. <laughs> Sorry I took so long, Alva. Mr. Haga's smile vanishes as soon as he sees the kids. I guess that's the natural reaction when you consider the kind of damage they always do. Yeah, Kimitachi. Oh. It's you three. Hello? Yeah. キヨン、グラブダッティング。ちょっと待ってろ。ちょっと。ドリア。で、もっとドリア。He really went for the whole can Ganondorf ドリア。God damn. Wait a sec. Here we. キヨンたら意外と小さいのね。You're too short, キヨン。なんだと。What'd you say? こ、こらこら君たち。店の中で遊んだら危ないよ。怪我をしてしまうからね。なおなお、children。It's dangerous to play inside the shop. You might get hurt. But the brats aren't listening. Just a little more. Yeah! き君たち。ち children. うるさいな。Ah, you're so annoying. Oh my god. Just throw them out, dude. They're like. Tiny size. You can grab them by the scruff of their neck like a bunch of kittens. Oh, he's gonna fuck them up for that, isn't he? <laughs> Shut up, Bodie! Uh. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Oh boy. The temperature in the room suddenly drops 10 degrees. <laughs> そこで遊んでいらっしゃる子供の皆さん。Oh, voice and the way his glasses started glowing. My dear sweet children, I hate to be a bother. 今、なんとおっしゃいました。But what did you just say? さあ、もう一回言ってみてください。最初の言葉は、は。Come on. Say it again. The first syllable was. Bad. I feel bad. My stomach hurts so. I'm going home. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the evil trio dashes from the store. <laughs> Yo, this game is so alive. I love it. Bah. <laughs> What came after Bah? <laughs> バーワットああそうだ店長そうだそうだ聞いてくださいよ They were just being sheep It was okay They were just going バー It's no big deal <laughs> Hey boss I just remembered Good news I scramble for the words that'll snap them out of it A パーツの S シリーズの注文が最近また増えてきたんですよ We've been getting lots of orders for the S series A parts パーツパーツはいいやーさすがですねやっぱり店長の読み通りでしたね前月より売り上げ 50% 増しですよ Yes you're amazing it's just like you said sales are up 50% from last month そうですか Oh that's good そうです増量です売り上げ倍増です Yeah it is things are looking up Sales are doubling. Uriang Baiso. I love him. <laughs> Sales are doubling. Sorewa, Sorewa. You're cut out. 
That is good news. So now you let her to you, Koto de Stara. Moscosi stock or atskusio kimasho cane. We should stock more if they're selling that much. Yo, the voice change is so good. This music's a bop too. Let's go. I breathe a sigh of relief. I was close. There's no telling what Mr. Haga might do when something sets him off. Finally calm, he straightens his glasses and gives me a tired, tired smile. Yeah, hontoni mattaku. Oh, goodness. Those children are nothing but trouble, aren't they? Eh, this ne. Yeah, they they really are. Yancha sugiru tokorosa e nakereba. Kawaii kotachi nan deskedo. They might be cute if they weren't such troublemakers. Desu yo ne. You said it. He's still with that sweat drop. He's like, don't keep thinking about the children. Just just move on from it. We, we made killer sales today. No matter how many times I've seen it happen, it's always startling when his personality does a 180 like that. Oh, right. Albacun. Mr. Haga walks up to the counter and grabs a paper bag from the floor. I hate to ask you to do this, but would you mind dropping this off with the courier service? You can head on home after that. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, I was going to be a hot day coming up. I was going to be a hot day. The store owner got top energy. He has 100% switch energy. <laughs> this seems like the type of man who pays for like a masochism service and then everybody wants him to be a sadism service. <laughs> he definitely like flips that switch every now and then. <laughs> Yes, in fact, I'm expecting someone soon, so I thought I'd close up early today. So you got on your guys. I'll take care of it. I showed him my bag and take the package from Mr. Haga. But from the label, it looks like it's going pretty far. Fortunately, getting it there is the courier's job, not mine. I'm off then. See you tomorrow. Hi, Otskaresama. Yep. See you tomorrow. Be careful. Yeah, I love his voice. Whoever does his voice acting is incredible. Accidental power bottom. <laughs> nah, I don't even think like that. I think like just masochist who goes to like a sadism club and pays someone to whip him. But then, <laughs> full on like brat tamer. When somebody pushes him too far and doesn't have the right conviction, it's like Kiryu Kazuma in um, Yakuza, where he's suddenly like, you think that counts as sadism? I'll show you true sadism. He like flips a switch. He ties the person up, starts whipping them instead. This is how you do it. Now squeal for me, piggy. That kind of shit. That, he's that kind of switch. He was like, you need to be seriously dominating to dominate him. Otherwise, he will dominate you for the fun of it. I head outside. According to my coil, it's 3 p.m. The back streets are full of people. There are several routes I could take to get to the courier. While considering which would be fastest, I reach into my shoulder bag and pull out a soft furry lump. Why do you have a soft furry lump in your back? In your shoulder bag? Oh my god, it's a puppy! Well, what is around his neck? Is that a screw or is that like a little injector thing? It's a cute little puppy though. Oh my god, he looks like a baby wolf but blue. The ball of fur is still asleep. I press my palm against its forehead to wake him up. Ren, Okiro. Oh my god, its name is Ren. That's kind of perfect. Oh, they, wait. Okay, I know a spoiler about this dog. Thanks to Rosemary. Whoops. <laughs> Ren, wake up. At the sound of his name, he promptly opens his eyes. What the f- That was not the voice I expected. Alba. Oh, so he's a robot puppy. <laughs> okay. I need to get to the courier. Can you give me the quickest route? Okay. Understood. Wait. Understood. No, that's that's understood. There we go. Ren gently touches my upper arm with his paws. Road two four one east is blocked for police inspection. Buses are cancelled for maintenance. It'll be quicker to bypass the north terminal. 
That is really such a weird... <laughs> Look at his little face and then his voice is so deep. What the shit? Okay. <laughs> oh, the gap moe on this one is strong. Soka, thank you. Oh, I see. Thanks. I pat Ren on the head. He barks and wags his tail. Okay, let's get going. Oh shit, we got an animation here too? I put on my headphones and push play. Oh, oh. An actual opening video, let's go. Why is it so quiet though? <laughs> This is max volume, but for some reason it's quieter than the BGM. Okay. Sounds good, though. I mean, it sounds the same as the BGM from the opening screen. The little dog legs. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, he's freaking hot. Eh, he's a bit aggressive. I like the snake bite ones, though. Not my type. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. We're never even going to know what his face looks like. <laughs> I mean, just judging all the guys one by one, like, hmm. There's some decent ones. <laughs> oh, he looks badass. The dark blue and red jacket. Okay, so this is definitely set in the film. Why was he ballerina dancing? <laughs> that guy's totally going to be one of the ones on the phone. Dude who looked super rich. Oh. Choking. Let's go. Okay, so I knew nothing about this game. But just looking at this opening, there's actually going to be fighting, huh? I mean, I'm guessing not to Gainu no Chi level. But it looks like a death game kind of situation. I wonder if that's what he signed up when he opened up the phone. Not what I was expecting. I thought this would just be romance. I'm like slice of life. <laughs> Nitro plus Chiral. We finally get to play a Nitro plus Chiral game. Oh my God. This has been so long in the waking. Some dark themes in this game. I guess I should have guessed that from the fact that it's one of the few games that's straight up banned on Twitch. Bends on your daily life. I mean... <laughs> Oh, luckily we got two hands because of the twins. They did look pretty cool. All the all the hairstyles are so early 2000s as well. Like all the back brushing and like the hair sticking straight up. You can see the visual K influences. Is it banned on Twitch? Yeah, it's one of the few games that is outright named to just be like, if you look at Twitch's terms of service and like the games you can play, this is among like one of the three games that they like say out loud. It's like, it's like a couple of porn games and then it's like dramatical murder in their list of like things you can't play because they're too sexual. <laughs> As everyone in the old residential district knows, the best way to get around is on foot. Public transportation here is pretty bad. Technically, there are buses, trains, and even taxis available, but they can be cancelled or delayed without notice. Sounds like London nowadays. <laughs> even the roads themselves might be closed without notice, so you can hardly see any cars around these days. At most, you might see a taxi waiting in vain, or the occasional junker parked on the side of the road. The sidewalks, on the other hand, are always packed. Nothing's more reliable than your own two legs. The old residential district is divided into north, south, east, and west quarters. They're similar, but have some key differences. For example, both my home and humdrum junk are located in the east quarter. It's pretty safe compared to the other quarters, and it's easy to get your hands on whatever you need. Like a fish dinner, baby. <laughs> the North Quarter has become something of a ghost town ever since it was designated off limits. It's definitely not the safest place to go. The West Quarter is primarily residential like the East Quarter, but doesn't have as many stores. The South Quarter is an entertainment and shopping district, so it's always full of youngsters hanging out. And if you go further north up past the North Quarter, there's Platinum Jail, where the rich and famous do their business. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to see. <laughs> we've got some rough areas. We've got a posh area, which is probably going to be even more fucked up than the rough areas. <laughs> and I live in the nice calm center. I'm safe. I'll be made more blatant than that. True. I mean, the R18. They have a reason, man. 
Platinum Jail is a members-only resort that the Toei Corporation, that the Toei Corporation, one of Japan's top five companies, built when they bought Midorijima. If the rumors are true, that place is the definition of luxury. Centered around the giant oval tower, it's full of casinos, movie theaters, shopping malls, hotels, everything you can imagine. Membership is by invitation only, but even then, the membership fee alone costs more than this whole island is worth, or so I've heard. Oof. Obviously, no one from the old residential district will ever get into Platinum Jail. So I guess you could call this town a slum. Nobody cares what happens here. Oh, so this is LA. <laughs> this is LA. All the richest people live in one area, and then the other areas are just completely poor and nobody gives a damn, even though they live right next to them. Fantastic. The police are all talk. They're in bed with the Yakuza and just do whatever they please. It's not like we can do anything about it. Even if we're unhappy, we just have to suck it up and deal with it. Despite all that, as the saying goes, there really is no place like home. This town isn't so bad once you get used to it. While it may not be as extravagant as Platinum Jail, we have our own way of life, our own kinds of fun. Can't really ask for much more than that. Oh. He seems to be telling oh. himself that quite a bit. He's continuously like, hey, can't ask for more than that. Um, this is all I need. Uh, uh, I'm happy here. This is fine. <laughs> for Chan, you should also play slow damage. I would if I could. <laughs> Look, this is like a test run. I had to beg for this for freaking ages. I'm doing everything as by the book I can. My hope is Nitro plus Chiral see how well this stream does. And hopefully you guys like, you may, hopefully something goes well where they're like, okay, you can play the rest of the game and maybe you can try some of our other games. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just happy we're able to do this for now. <laughs> Alba. Alba. Ren pokes his head out of the bag and taps my arm with his paw. What's the matter? You're thinking too much. Your logic processor will short circuit. Seriously? Just how crappy is this logic processor of mine anyway? His face. Yo, they have so much, like, energy in the CGs. It's great. If we rate the logic processor of an average male as 100, then yours would rate at... Are we really about to hit him with an IQ test right here? I was just going to be like, a normal human is roughly 100. You, uh, 6.5. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to hear it. You'll make me short circuit for real. Oh. I chuckle and pat his head. Ren is a dog type. Oh, that's what an all mate is. I was wondering, but I didn't want to ask out loud. <laughs> Ren is a dog type all mate. All mates are artificially intelligent life forms generally used to augment network devices like coils. I would freaking love one of these. Also, yeah, it does look like an injector around his collar rather than a screw it's like a syringe or something interesting um but yeah i would love one of these just a puppy that followed me around everywhere and was also like connected to the internet acted as like a siri let's fucking go they can search the internet and virtual spaces for information place orders for you in online stores or manage your social media accounts some models can also help around the house while others can act as partners in an online game called rhyme okay i'm glad they <laughs> while i was reading that out loud my brain was just like they can also act as partners, and I was like, in an online game called Rhyme. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, not to kick shame, it was just, I mean, I've seen what people do with Pokemon, so. <laughs> there are many different types of Almain. Animal models are abundant, so many people keep them as pets. I figured, yeah, there have to be ones that are just like dollified humans, huh? I've had Ren for a long time. I'm not exaggerating when I say he's my best friend. Even with all the improvements and new models coming out, I'll never abandon Ren. Not even if Hal freezes over. Oh, that's freaking adorable. I'll never abandon Ren no matter what. They, go they better not hurt the puppy. I swear to God, if they hurt the puppy, I'm going to be angry. They're setting this up for a John Wick style moment. If you want to take a shortcut, turn right at the next street. Oh, 
I was close. God, I almost missed it. Have a human model? I'm sure they do have human models. Like, if this is something that he could afford as, like, a young person who doesn't work a particularly impressive job, imagine what the people living at Oval... Oval Tower? Yeah, it's something jail. Something prison. <laughs> imagine the kind of ones they have. They probably just look like perfect human models. I follow Ren's directions down an alley off Aoyagi Street. Aoyagi Street runs through the center of Old Residential District, dividing the district into quarters. It's lined with shops selling discount appliances, while the back streets are littered with niche hobby shops. Platinum Jail, thank you. Yeah. I can just imagine, like, if his one looks like a damn adorable dog, the ones that people have at Platinum Jail, yeah, must look crazy good. Ex Machina style. <laughs> As I make my way down the alley, a group of guys leaning against a filthy wall catches my eye. They have a certain look. Like the kind of guys who'd be passing around a silver drug sheet. Really makes you wonder what's wrong with kids these days. Once upon a time, though, I was just like them. Uh, not that I'm old or anything. <laughs> God, I know that feel. Anyway, I'm finished with that stuff. Totally. As I walk past to catch a bit of their conversation. <laughs> Brain jacked. That doesn't sound tasty. Albus 23? Okay, yeah, he's a fucking baby then. <laughs> he's talking about being old. He's like, he's 23, dude. You don't have to worry about being old. You sh haven't even hit 25. Get call me when you're at 30 at least. SAO, it does kind of look like Kirito. The black swordsman. So yeah, it's really happening. People are getting brain jacked. What the hell are you talking about? Getting forced into rhyme? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You'll just be walking down the street and a match will start against a crazy strong opponent, too. But wouldn't that mean there's no Usui? Can you even play rhyme without Usui? Sounds like you can. I don't know how it works. I actually like this dude's hair. It's pretty nice. How can you fight if you're not ready? Can't you decline the challenge? Not from what I hear. It's a total ganking. You get your ass handed to you like that. Yo, ganking. I haven't heard that in forever. <gasps> That's some scary shit, man. They're talking about Rhyme, the online fighting game that's all the rage these days. By connecting their minds to the net, players can experience virtual combat that feels just like the real thing. The thing is, there's no schedule or anything that tells you when or where a battle's gonna happen. But wherever Usui, the game's judge, appears, that's the battlefield. Rhyme started off as an indie game. Back then, the rules were more lax, and Usui wasn't around either. It steadily gained popularity and eventually Tollway became a major sponsor. The system was improved and Usui was added, along with an official set of rules making Rhyme what it is t today. But I don't play Rhyme, so it isn't really my business. That reminds me, I know a lot of people are saying Hypmic. It reminds me of that one that came right after SAO, where it's like a virtual game. The main girl is named Snow White. The main guy's avatar is like a little tiny pig. God, I can't remember the name of that anime. But you would get summoned into battles in that one. And then with Excel World, thank you, yeah. And then when you got summoned into battles, he became like a huge, strong, overpowered character. I think gank means something like jumped. Yeah, when you get ganked in a game, like getting ganked is just like getting a whole bunch of people attacking you at once. I was going to say Gun Gale. With Gun Gale, you don't get summoned in through the real world, though. You still have to go by a computer. It's actually by the same creator of SAO, yeah. Yeah, Cell World had that same kind of thing where it happened in the real world. You just suddenly got summoned in. It's a cool idea for a storyline. I remember there are like a lot of apps like that as well. And even like way back, some of the like advanced Tamagotchis you got like towards the end of the Tamagotchis range. Like if they were in a, in a close enough area with other people who had the Tamagotchis, they'd start like a little interaction with each other. Get ganked in the game, get ganked in real life. Oh God. Oh, so nostalgic. Yeah, it is. I head through the alley and come out once more on Aoyagi Street. At the end of the street, I see the sign for the courier's shop. 
Just as I start toward it, I notice a crowd in the middle of the road. It looks like a fight. A bunch of people with nothing better to do have gathered to watch. I keep walking, trying to avoid the whole mess. But then the crowd stirs, followed by a high-pitched scream. Hmm? Mm? I peer through the gaps in the crowd. A large man is sprawled out on the ground, another standing over him. The second man is back to me, but I recognize him immediately. A bright red kimono and a big sword. There's no one else it could be. It's that one guy from the opening movie. <laughs> yep. Oh, he bullied him in front of his girlfriend? Come on, dude. For a big guy, you sure went down easy. Phrasing intended. Way to make a fool of yourself in front of your girlfriend. Please tell me that's not his girlfriend. <laughs> okay, no, it's just random girls. Everybody's got so many piercings in this. I love it. Starry-eyed girls flock to the victor, trampling the man on the ground in the process. Here we go again. That's his girlfriend, isn't it? Please, no. One woman who is keeping a bit of a distance approaches with an apologetic bow. Yep. <sighs> I hate this. <laughs> he doesn't have one. He doesn't have one anymore. This clearly was his girlfriend. <laughs> this is all because I told him I wanted you to do my hair. Who do you think you are? Yeah. Wait your turn. She must be the girlfriend of the man sprawled on the street. I'm guessing the commotion started when they tried to cut in line at Kojaku's shop. Wait, does he cut people's hair with his sword? Because if so, that's fucking badass. <laughs> Calming his angry fans with a gesture, Kojaku gives the girlfriend a smile. Shit. His personality makes him way fucking hotter than his look. His look was kind of cool, but his personality, he just talks like a host. Oh, God. I'm glad you think so highly of my skills, miss. But all of my customers are important. We can't have people cutting in line, you know. I know. <laughs> she sounded so dreamy at that point. Aww. Oh. He even tried to save face for the boyfriend after he kicked his ass. I'm kind of in love with this man. He's he's a bro too. <laughs> he a hoe, but he also a bro. <laughs> Your boyfriend might have taken things too far, but he was doing it for you. Don't be too hard on him, Kay. Anyway, come back later and I'll hook you up. Hi. Thank you. Also, I really love her design. Holy shit. The snake bites, the nose ring, the triple... Oh, the quadruple earrings. God damn. The woman's eyes sparkle, her cheeks turning bright red. There goes another one. Kojaku's other fans are not amused. <laughs> Hey, how long are you going to stand there? Move. Oh, Kojaku. You must be sweaty. I just bought this handkerchief, but... But you're welcome to use it. Nah, I couldn't. You bought it for yourself, right? Keep it. He already sounds so done with these girls. Please, I'm sure my handkerchief would be honored. Well then. What kind of man would I be if I said no to that? Kojaku takes the woman's hands, pulling her toward him with a smile. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you took her by the hands. Are you going to use her as a handkerchief? <laughs> Just casually wipes his face onto her chest. <laughs> Thanks. 
I'll make good use of it. <laughs> there it is. His infamous lady killer smile. Well, that's what I call it at least. <laughs> Somebody get that girl a bottle of water. <laughs> the woman with the handkerchief slumps to her knees, attracting jealous glares from the others. Every woman here seems out for blood. <sighs> Let's get out of here. This isn't the first time I've seen this shtick. Disgusted, I start to move away from the crowd. <laughs> I mean, Alba, y you don't really have much ground to stand on here, my man. <laughs> Fair enough, he's flirting with women in the open. But every time you get a phone call, you're just immediately like, Oh, hey, would you like to buy some S-type parts? I could give you some extra service. Y you can't really blame him for trying to get his money, too. Alba. Oh, they're friends as well. That's even better. Alba. Uh, uh, I can feel all those eyes focusing on me. I'll pretend I didn't hear him. I love his hair clip as well. It looks kind of look like a... I forget what it's called. I think it's an... Ar... Arha? No. It's something like that. Um, a musical instrument with, like, strings on it. I turn around and start walking at a brisk place. Oi! Hey, hold up. But Kojaku runs after me and grabs my arm. It isn't Erhu? Thank you. I, I thought it was something like that. Shamisen, yeah, it could be the Japanese version. The Erhu was what I was thinking of, but yeah, Shamisen. It looks like that sticking out of his hair, which very much matches his style. He looks like he would be like a bard back in classical days. Here we go again. Kojak! Kojak! Alba. <laughs> yeah, Alba? I knew it! It's Alba! Oh. Yo. What's with the cold shoulder? You should have said something. Uh, uh, yeah. I was just passing by on a job. A delivery? Kojaku smiles indulgently, which of course makes the women around him swoon again. His smile's like a weapon. He's been using it for ages, but women still fall for it. <laughs> I do love how you've got like all of the women fawning over him and freaking out. And then you've got the men just looking so uncomfortable, just like, Yo, who is that guy? I don't know. Why is he wearing that old school outfit? He's got a fucking sword with him, bro. I don't know what he's up to. Fucking cosplaying. It's good for him, though. I really don't feel like talking here. There are too many people around, and the women's eyes are scaring me. Your favorite one is the girl just behind in the pink the tree. Oh, him? Her? Them? I don't even know if that... Oh. I guess, yeah, it's a schoolgirl uniform, actually. I thought that was another guy, but yeah, it's just one girl who's just like disgusted by her friend. <laughs> you got like the normie hanging out with the Fujoshi. It's just like... Oh, God, not again. Really? <laughs> the guys are like, maybe we should start cosplaying too. Yeah, I mean, they could at least dye their hair blue. Come on, guys. You got your basic anime hair? Come on. Throw it out. Style it. Color it. Then you'll be better. <laughs> the lesbian? Maybe. Maybe she's into her. You know what? Tag yourself in this image. I think I'm... Um... God, I don't have one for me. I'd be like... Not disgusted, just interested. Not fangirling, just like, ooh, oh look. Aren't you supposed to be working? Uh, I guess that might be hard with all this. Ah, yeah. This guy thought he could skip the line. I took care of it. You know, if you don't cut this stuff out, Sooner or later, someone's gonna cut you. Cut me? Who would do that? Just take a look around you, bro. Anybody who was with a girl before is gonna possibly stab you. I sweep my gaze over the women glaring at me. It was clear that they weren't about to let anyone, man or woman, get close to Kojaku. It's scary. Um, it's <laughs> You know what? I like the gender equality. They're like, fuck you. I don't care if you're a man. You stay away from my man. That's mine. 
Oh, well, I'll be fine. Do I really look like such an easy target? Kojaku punctuates this with a smirk. Seriously? <sighs> I guess I can't argue with him there. Kojaku's pretty much always been aware of how handsome and popular he is. He's not the type to brag about it, but he has a casual confidence about him. And he knows his way around a fight. He's a wandering hairdresser. All he does is cut and style women's hair. But apparently he's developed quite a reputation for it. He sets up shop wherever and whenever he feels like it. He doesn't advertise or take reservations. But he always has a line around the block. They all say that when Kojaku touches your hair, it feels like you've died and gone to heaven. I just don't get it. If you told me a guy like this existed, I wouldn't believe you for a second if I didn't already know him. <laughs> I love how he's a traveling house hairstylist. He just goes wherever he feels like. Hairdresser, he looks like a samurai. Yeah, I need to see an anima animation of him cutting someone's hair. With the blade, preferably. <laughs> anyway, you should call it with the player routine. How many hearts do you think you've broken? I'm not Easier said than done, bro. I'm not gonna turn down an offer. Women are one of life's greatest pleasures, yeah? Oh, he's one of those. The bisexual one in a BL drama who's known for giving women countless orgasms. <laughs> then it's like, oh, come on, you kind of look like a girl. I'm sure I could play with you, too. <laughs> Beautiful, sexy, gotta treat him right. <laughs> they're openly hearing this and they're happy about it. He just admitted that he taps like everything that lives and they're all just like, oh, that could be me. I could be the thing he taps. You're so cool. Nice. I love you. Uh -huh. Whatever floats your boat. I gotta get going. Oh. Right? Kodaku, hurry. Hey, it's my turn next. <laughs> They're really fighting over who gets to go first. Jesus Christ. He's not a by disaster, he's a by bastard. I mean, uh, if he even swings that way, maybe Alba's like a special case. Uh, yeah, I agree, Alba. <laughs> so used to that kind of character. As soon as I end the conversation, the women swarm Kojaku. He shoots me a look from the center of the crowd. Oh, almost forgot. But tell Miss Tae I said hi. I'll swing by again soon. Hey, hey. Yeah, sure. I shrug and walk off. Still, the guy never gets enough, huh? I mean, he must like it, but I know I would hate to be the center of all that attention. I guess he's a special breed. I head for the courier, leaving the crowd behind. <laughs> Homosexual? Holy shit. Delivery works. There it is. I step through the automatic doors. Welcome. Oh, Alba dear. I'm so happy to see you again. You too. I bowed to Miss Yoshie and set the paper bag on the counter. A small dog with long, shiny fur sits proudly on the counter, watching me intently. That is some smug look for a dog. Get Ren out right now. I'm already shipping her and Ren. That's Clara, Miss Yoshie's all mate. I'd like to send this. Certainly. Let me take that from you. Miss Yoshie checks the address with practiced hands, then pushes a nearby button. A box next to the counter opens. She tosses the bag inside. The outfit specializes in oh, this outfit specializes in delivering packages within the old residential district. A welcome service in a town where transportation isn't readily available. In any case, my work here is done. Shipping the dogs. I mean, <laughs> it's just the, 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 this dog looks so fancy and like over the top with the giant eyelashes and the, the, the freaking 
<laughs> jewelry and shit so yeah send red in it's lady in the tramp style let's go <laughs> what happened to real dogs we don't think about that in cyberpunk worlds i, I i've read do androids dream of electric sheep nothing good ever happens to the cute little animals thanks see you later are you heading back to the store alba yeah nah i'm heading home mr haga said he'd be closing up early today his <laughs> voice is so over the top. Oh, well, isn't that lovely? The final episode of AWTR is tonight. You can watch it live. Dumb. What is it? AW. What? Oh, come on. Didn't I tell you about it the other day? Alright, um, old lady talk. Oh, what was it again? Dorama, yo, Dorama. Words to remember. <laughs> oh, dear God. It's one of those ones. So now we've got an otome, but a drama, a live action drama. You forgot, wouldn't you? I mean, every time somebody tells me about a Durama, yeah, I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, K drama, J drama, C drama, goes here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's lots of hot guys in it. That's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. surprising. Didn't expect that. It's a soap, a soap opera. Awards to remember. Today, she's finally going to decide on her partner. <laughs> I mean, I can't really say shit. We are currently playing a BL, which is basically, yeah, an Otome just with a male character. I'm totally rooting for Kaiser Matsuoka. An easy smile is just to die for. Not to mention his slight sadistic streak. Okay, now I'm getting where you're coming from, lady. Uh huh. Miss Yoshie twirls her hair around her finger with a dreamy girlish look in her eyes. I mean,. She's not a bad person or anything. Well, I'd better be... There we go. She won't let him leave. <laughs> this is the next two hours of his life. He's just going to be... Uh-huh, a drama. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I heard about... Um, Can I... Li I gotta... Uh, um... By the way, dear, have you heard? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Or maybe you don't. Maybe if you finish the sentence. Miss Yoshie beckons me closer, a serious look on her face. She's really not a bad person. <sighs> Swallowing a resigned sigh, I lean closer. There are no other people in the shop, but for some reason she speaks in a whisper. <laughs> You know, Kyogadani in the north, the bad part of town. <laughs> okay, her face is so fucking sending me. <laughs> you never hear anything good about that place, but lately the rumors have been particularly nasty. <sighs> yeah. Okay, that's a flag if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Apparently, there's a gang there led by a man who escaped from death row. Oh, oh. Not romance flag, I guess. Just plot flag, because yeah. I don't remember anybody talking about a character named Scratch. Just noise and some other ones. Oh, Scratch, right? I'd heard he's put together some really bad guys. Could be either, could be both. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that's him. They say the gang has entirely escaped criminals. Actually, weren't some people kidnapped in that area a little while back? <laughs> 
夜道なんて落ちよって一人で歩けないわよ。That's so scary. You can't even go out alone at night. I don't know, man. If you're liking the sadistic character, part of me's thinking she's bringing this up and listen to the story so loud just because she's like, <gasps> kidnapped by a bunch of ex criminals. Oh, how devilish. We can't depend on the police at all. I mean, they could be just as bad. What an awful world we live in. She's not wrong about that. The old residential district police are no better than gangsters themselves. Rub an officer the wrong way and you could get beaten or even arrested. But rub them the right way and, oh God, they'll treat you right for the rest of your life. I freaking knew it, man. Oh no. Should I hurry home before it gets too late? I mean, what will I do if someone tries to have their way with me? <laughs> what? The fucking glimmer. She's like, oh, you know what I mean. If a bunch of those rowdy rough houses pushes me up against a wall holds me down and <laughs> miss yoshie shoots me a meaningful look i think you'll be fine <laughs> i love how he basically just said you, you kind of ugly you don't have to worry about that Fine, fine. How can you say that? I'm obviously in danger here. Well, um, I've got to be going. Um, thanks. Oh, is this the little dog girl? Hold it. Another voice stops me before I can leave. Uh huh. Oh, I knew it. The ship is fucking sailing. How's that blue fellow doing? Also, why does this dog have a better voice than any of the girls who were fangirling over the... The actual humans had way worse voices than this female dog. Can I call her a bitch? She's quite literally a bitch. I mean... <laughs> okay, Clara. I can call her Clara now. <laughs> Oh, Clara, do you miss Ren? Oh, that's right. You two are the best of friends. My ship has sailed so hard. Taking Clara into her arms, Miss Yoshie shoots me an expectant look. Uh, oh, sorry. I left him at home today. Does Ren not like Clara? Wait. <laughs> Did they just sink my ship instantly? Or is Alba just trying to get the fuck out of here? <gasps> oh, you got caught. You got caught by the Hime. He's in that bag of yours, isn't he? Were you going to leave without having him say hello? No way. No way out. I'm sorry, Rin. Ren, you'll just have to grin and bear it. Yeah, okay, it's Ren that doesn't like her. <laughs> no! I take Ren out of my bag and gently pat his head to wake him up. Alba. Dosta. Yes, Alba. Ren. Eh, to. Clara chan ni goaisatsu. Ren, um. Say hi to Clara. Uh. <laughs> his face! He's not up for dealing with the Ojo Osama. <laughs> Ren's ears and tail drop. Clara stares down at him from her place in Miss Yoshie's arms. What's wrong? Still sleeping? How do you do, Clara? I'm quite well, Ren. <laughs> She's so cute with him, though. I still ship it. <laughs> Clara wags her tail happily. Miss Yoshie smiles too. She, she just needs to break him. Give it some time. Give it some time. <laughs> For Chan, this is a BL game. There will be no straight romance. Then give my boy Ren a nice dog to hump. Don't be leaving him alone. <laughs> you 
The two are just adorable together. <laughs> Now that you've said hello, I'd better be. Bro, I've already tried to leave three times. Oh, wait. Wait, dear. Eh? I'm sorry. I know you're on your way out. I just need one more thing. I promise it'll be quick. <laughs> what now? Wow, it's day. It's nighttime now. It must have been like five hours. We left work at 3 p.m. We didn't travel far. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> also, this music, this build up. Oh, it's such a bop. It's night by the time Miss Yoshie lets me go. Good job back there. Yeah, no, that message doesn't get deleted. That person gets banned. Thank you. Now I know the secret of Alba and Ren. Fantastic. You are banned. Read the goddamn pinned comment. We do what we must. Ren is curled up in my bag, exhausted from his ordeal. Despite the attitude, Clara seems rather fond of Ren. She asks about him whenever I see her. While users can adjust their all-mates' personalities to some degree, they're largely shaped by their environment. As a result, you can never tell when two all-mates will connect. Ren doesn't seem to like Clara very much, but unfortunately for him, I find the whole situation kind of funny. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> Especially since he's such a well-respectable dog. He hit her with the Goki Kenyo. <laughs> How are you doing, Alba? <sighs> I'm alright, I guess. After she stopped me the last time, Miss Yoshie made me eat this whipped cream slathered monstrosity she made in cooking class. My stomach is killing me. I guess we should head home. Feeling like a couple of soldiers who narrowly escaped death on the battlefield, we start heading towards home. Night is in full swing on Ayagi Street, the darkness washed away by lights and brilliant neon signs. There are no zoning laws in the old residential district. Even in the middle of the day, the crooked skyline ensures that some parts of the city never see the sun. But when night falls, things really change. That's when the ribsties come out of the woodwork. The ribsties? I was going to say, am I supposed to know that word? <laughs> the ribsties are young men who form gangs or teams to brawl with each other over turf. This game, if you can call it that, is also known as rib. Rib was popular before rhyme, so the rib gangs look down on their digitized riber cousins. They think they're just a bunch of nerds trying to act cool. Still, more and more ribsties are making the jump to rhyme, and that means everyone's looking for a fight. Suddenly, someone grabs my arm from behind. <laughs> oh shit. It's time oh, to fight already. Is that what it's supposed to say? Brain nuts? It definitely didn't say that. <laughs> hey, that's a brain nuts jacket, right? It's a man with dyed red hair. He looks younger than me. Isn't that brand worth a lot right now? A grinning green-haired man approaches next. Red and green. Is it Christmas or something? It's not Christmas, Alba! Give me another month! Give me another month, please. Shit, man. That jacket's totally my grail. Yo, dude. The red-haired one gives me a phony smile. You can buy one in front of the station. Yo, the voice switch up is so damn good. I was like such a nice voice character. Like he goes from super high pitched to super low pitched out of nothing. I try to jerk my arm away, but the red-haired glares at me and grips me tighter. Uh, hold on, man. What's with the attitude? I want this jacket, and I want it now. Are you deaf? Bug bomb. <laughs> you think I've got a better fucking naming sense than you, at least? What the hell is that? <laughs> you know who we are? 
Bug bomb. Yeah, that's right. So what? Think you're better? The green-haired guy flashes that tattoo on his wrist. A winking woman with enormous breasts saddling a pink, pink, a big pink bomb. Wow. I'd kill the guy who put that on my skin. <laughs> yeah, that's so... That's like 1920s painting pinups onto the side of a blimp. God damn, dude. In any case, I haven't heard of Bug Bomb. Obviously, these two are small time looking for fights to build their cred. That's it. That is one ugly tad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fuck you say? That's it. Done there. I said your tat looks like shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. What gang do you roll with? I finish. Don't got one. Huh? <laughs> Motherfucker, you're unmarked. Majika. No fucking way. Red and green look at each other, grinning like idiots. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Rip gangs always have a tag, a piece of art members tattoo on their body. If you don't have a tag, it means you're not in a gang, and that makes you an easy target. <laughs> unmarked, yeah, this is feeling very... Ownership. Ownership, Kinky. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're unmarked? Unblemished. I like them that way. I can't wait to mark you with my own. <laughs> that means we can take him out right here. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Let's go for a little walk. Uh... Wow, they even called him Onisan. The fucking disrespect. <laughs> Fuchan, this is an Omegaverse. It is an Omegaverse. That doesn't mean you can't slip Omegaverse into there. Omegaverse doesn't own ownership kinks. You can 100% have markings on people that don't have to do with, you know, womb tattoos <laughs> or Omega tattoos. You can have tattoos where it's just like still a euphemism for like, oh, you haven't. It's the same thing as like Loveless. Loveless with the ears where you lose your ears after you lose your virginity. It's just like, Oh, you still have your ears? Oh, that's so adorable. I love them like you. I can't wait to take them away from you. Same thing in this. It's like, oh, you're unmarked. I can do whatever I want to you then. You have no experience. And then I'll mark you as my own. That kind of shit. Anyway, new character. Better quit while you can. Uh? The fuck? Red looks over my shoulder, glaring at the man who's appeared behind me. He is liable to curb stop the both of you. Huh? Who the fuck are you? Oh, it's the guy I liked from the intro. Green, meanwhile, has turned white as a sheet. Yo, this ain't good. What ain't good? Mizuki. Okay, you have my interest. That's Mizuki. I'm the boss of dry juice. Huh? Huh? Dry juice? Dry juice? こいつの必殺技知ってるか？狐のかかと落としっつうの。一発食らうと顎砕かれるぜ。I didn't expect this voice from him. I expected something a little more light. Do you know his killer technique? The fox heel drop. But just one, and you'll be eating through a straw for the rest of your life. Dry juice なら最初からそう言えよ。why didn't you say you were with dry juice? He goes in. Let's bounce. The man behind me laughs as the two punks run off with their tails between their legs. <laughs> Losers. Don't start where you can't finish, right? I turn around knowing exactly who I'll see. Yo. Yeah. I mean, they did say his name, so... <laughs> the names are so cringe. Yeah, Dry Juice, Bug Bomb. Oh, God, they really need better gang names. <laughs> they need to look up some VTubers. We'll teach them how to name sense. Sap. Yeah, okay, he's badass looking. The purple hair as well. The bright green eyes. The teardrop tattoo. That means he's killed a dude. So tuny. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Long time no see. Alba. Mizuki! Mizuki! Oh shit. Dorai Jusu! I really love the name thing. Mizuki! <laughs> it's Mizuki, leader of Dry Juice, 
the largest of the rib gangs. Oh, of course he's the strongest. He has tan skin, black hair, uh, uh, purple hair, but okay, and green eyes. The symbol of his gang, a teardrop, is tattooed beneath one eye. What the hell is a fox heel drop? <laughs> I'm talking about that fancy footwork of yours. Forget the name, I just made it up on the fly. Point is, you crack jaws. Not in years. Oh shit, so he didn't just used to be on the streets. Like, he used to, like, fuck people up. Okay, good to know. Sir, so you name your dog dog? That just makes things easier. Look, look yeah. <laughs> Naming dog dog and cats cats made things easier. That's all that matters. <laughs> well, I remember it like it was yesterday, you know? I don't usually see you around here at this hour. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Have you finally decided to join us? Dry juice. <laughs> do you want to? <laughs> what do you think their recruitment line is? Something like, come on, guys, let's all get dry. <laughs> or, come on, daddy needs his juice. <laughs> I don't know. He grins welcomingly, but I just shrug. <laughs> Not happening. I keep telling you. <laughs> You might be surprised how much you'll like it. I used to run with Mizuki back in the day, but we got into all sorts of trouble. Though he's usually pretty laid back, he's also a guy you can depend on. Who knows when it's time to get serious? Rib fighters all think they're hot shit, so it's pretty impressive that he's managed to unite so many to form the largest rib gang. Still, I have no intention of joining. <laughs> anyway, it sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. Things have been hard for us too lately. Yo, that face. God damn. Hard how? Isn't your team as strong as ever? You know what I'm talking about. It's rhyme. Rhyme? Rhyme? Mizuki's expression darkens. Even we're losing members now. I mean, they like to say rhyme takes brain power, but that's just another way of saying it's all in your head, right? I mean, at least you don't actually get hurt. That's better. <laughs> I don't get it. Can you protect your turf with your imagination? Oh well, yeah, you got a point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you play a game rather than fighting each other, you're not really putting your all into it. It would save a lot of trips to the freaking hospital, though. I honestly can't blame Mizuki for feeling the way he does about Rhyme. I mean, you could make the same argument about Rib, that it's just a bunch of kids playing Capture the Flag. But I know Mizuki really cares about his team. That's probably why he can't just let Trend Hopper slide. And then there are those disappearances. Disappearances? You've heard the stories, haven't you? Entire rib teams going missing? Yeah, but isn't that an urban legend? It's over a decade old, too. Well, I don't know what's going on. But gangs have started disappearing again. Damn, whole gangs at the same time? That's pretty fucking impressive. You sure they didn't just piss off some Yakuza? Okay, that sounds like people being kidnapped and used for human experimentation. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the rich people are involved in this. <laughs> Maybe they're digitizing them for the game. Ooh. That's the weird thing. Guys will show up after a few days. So guys will show up a few uh, after a few days after. 
Guys will show up a few days after they disappeared. Not all at once, just a few at a time. But they don't remember a thing. <laughs> it's aliens. It's totally fucking aliens. <laughs> Like, nothing. Not even their own fucking name. It's like their brains were fried or something. Oh, that's far different than I thought. I thought they were just like, they didn't remember while they were gone. They don't remember anything. That's fucked. They probably got probed? Yeah, they did. <laughs> didn't they say morphine was behind it last time? I mean, I guess Morphine's practically an urban legend, too. Hey, see, that's a good name for a gang. Morphine's sick. Ma, so yeah, but still. Oh, it's a good freaking tag as well. Let's go. Morphine was a legendary rib gang that dominated the scene a decade ago. Their tag was a hard and a cross, all in back. All in black? Whoops. The gang was cloaked in mystery. All anyone really knew was that they were invincible. Naturally, rumors gathered like flies. One popular rumor said they were behind the disappearances. If morphine's not behind it, maybe it's those rhymers. Isn't that kind of far-fetched? <laughs> It was pretty amazing to me that he went from those are a bunch of nerds who just fight in their heads to maybe they're the ones kidnapping everyone. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just that those guys have been getting real cocky lately. But I mean, do you really think they could make people disappear? Let alone wipe their memories. If shit like that were happening, this would be up in arms. Yeah, <laughs> No, I know. That's why I said I was kidding. Oh, another fight. Just then, we hear cheering nearby, followed by the thunder of footsteps as people race to the scene. Mizuki scowls. Rhyme. Fucking rhyme. Ah, <laughs> Better bounce before I get the urge to break some heads. See you later. Make sure you stop by the shop sometime. Oh, so this is the typical <laughs> dude who is really good at one thing and suddenly something else is becoming popular. <laughs> He's not the hip cool kid anymore. He's the one who just punches people. Now everybody wants to play video games and beat people. Nah. Sure. Njana. Later. Mizuki waves and stalks away, pushing through the gathering crowd. Once Mizuki's gone, I turn towards the center of the commotion. While Rhyme isn't exactly my boat, I don't have anything against it either. I was actually pretty curious the first time Mizuki brought it up. What's the matter? Nothing. Let's go. I pat Ren's head and start to make my way out of the alley. But then... A white light swallows the world. Mm. Hmm? Before I can figure out what's going on, a ball of light appears in front of me. It gradually assumes a human form and reaches out toward me with one hand. Its fingertips stroke my cheek. Or at least... I think they do. Mm. Huh? The next thing I know, I'm at the center of the crowd. Whoa! Looks like so this, this is the urban legend they're talking about where you get summoned by someone. This is what you get for not checking your spam mail, dude! Bodies press in from all sides. I'm trapped. Usui! Usui! I'm one out, Usui. Yo, you got the crazy shoes too! <laughs> a circle of light is floating above the ground, and inside it... Oh, that is badass looking! Usui! Not what I was expecting when I heard the name Usui. 
I was thinking more... What's that anime called with the dude named Usui? The Se Seito Kaicho one. Seito Kaicho one made someone? Hatsune Miku with eight arms. <laughs> Spider lady. <laughs> Spider Miku. Pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much Spider Miku. <laughs> a woman with eight arms appears, swaying slowly before coming to a stop. And that is not the voice I expected. That's the Mizuki voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's time for what you've all been waiting for! RHYME! Today's first battle! Player vs. Route 44! I'm pretty sure we saw this guy on the right near the samurai at the beginning as well. Unless it was just someone with similar hair and piercings. So this is Rhyme. I've never seen it up close before. The eight-armed woman is Usui, who presides over all rain battles. His opponent, Route 44, is new to the scene. I say woman, but for some reason it has a deep manly voice. Yeah, it does. Trip kind of going crazy. Yeah, I like his hair too. Pretty basic, but I mean the glasses, the... Leather jacket with all the spikes, the piercings. Looks sick. Usui's hands flicker. The light grows brighter, and a huge virtual, a huge virtual screen appears overhead. The fighters are already in the ring, preparing their all mates. Will the rookie break player's winning streak? Let's find out! Also, I love that cat. Oh my god, look at this little cutie. <laughs> he looks so angry already. Players ready for battle! Route 44, are you ready to go? Alright! Let's get this party started! Game starts! Usui lifts its hands with a gentle grace. Its elegant movements are sharp contrast to its booming voice. The monitor switches to a view of the field. The audience hoots and cheers. <laughs> uh. Suddenly a sharp pain shoots through my head. <laughs> what the hell? Is the noise getting to me? Clutching my forehead, I glare at the crowd. Alba, Dajuka. Alba, are you all right? I'm fine, but we should get going. That would be for the best. I finally managed to muscle my way out of the roaring throng. Leaning against a nearby wall, I sigh and catch my breath. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, are these the ones that I'm for? Oh, it's the twins! Which one, chat? This one has a more manly jaw, but this one has glasses, which are way better. I'm going for suit glasses. This one? Manlier jaw, at least. Left, please, both of them. <laughs> Just immediately, people are like, we have two hands, man. Why would we need to choose? <laughs> The Da Vinci twins. God damn it. Now I want neither one of them. You've ruined it for me. <laughs> I look up to find a familiar duo standing in front of me. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Hey. Yaho. Hey there. Doshitandeska? Kibun demo waruku narimashita. What's the matter? Feeling sick? Hitoyoi demo shita. Crowd getting to ya. Wheels and three. Virus. Oh my god. You got named Virus, my poor boy. <laughs> you too. Nah. Ma, so that gonna. Yeah, must be the crowd. The four eyes is Virus. The big guy is Trip. I've known them for ages. Alba. Holy shit! 
They made trip huge. Standing slightly to the side, you couldn't see it. You could see the more chiseled jaw, but god damn, he big. Alba, how are you feeling? Mama, daijoubu. Not great, but I'll be fine. Konna tokoro de dou shitan desu? Rhyme nante mezurashi. What are you doing here anyway? I thought rhyme wasn't your thing. Iya, dou te kodo mo nen da kedo. Just passing through, not much. Moshikashite. Perhaps are you thinking of joining? Not a chance. So it's a coincidence you're here when a fight starts. I'm telling you I'm not interested. What about you? What are you two doing here? We're here on business. The rhymers have been getting a little out of hand lately. I like these two. <laughs> that, that's definitely the same voice doing both of them, right? It's nice, though. And they do contrast each other quite well. You've got the one who's clearly sounding a bit more posh and a bit more high-pitched. And then you got the one who's pretty straightforward and just could snap you like a twig. Trip looks like Dio. You can kind of see it. He's like half his size still, though. <laughs> The old residential district is home to some pretty dangerous groups. These two belong to one of them. I met them ages ago when I was still a stupid teenager. Back then, I was always so pissed off about something, I'd spend my nights trolling for brawls in Wanibashi. In the end, all that adolescent posturing got me was a trip to the hospital after I picked a fight with the wrong guy. Oh, they have different voice actors? Holy shit. I thought they did. The same one was doing the same. Damn. Anyway, I'm going to be right back. I need to go to the toilet real quick. It should only take like three to five minutes. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys.
You guys talk about the craziest shit when I'm gone, man. <laughs> the fuck? Discussing my fiber intake? Are you... Are you okay? <laughs> okay, back to normal chat. Let's, let's do this. Oh my god. Welcome back, everybody. I was not gone that long. So what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's just continue this. I'm not even going to talk about what I read while I was gone. Ugh. In the end, all that adolescent posturing got me was a trip to the hospital after I picked a fight with the wrong guy. Yeah, I was kind of a loser. Well, the only people who really know what I got up to back then are these two and Granny. I lost touch with them until we reconnected a few years ago. By then, I'd gotten a part-time job and they had joined the Yakuza. Considering that the police here are basically Yakuza too... It's never really bothered me. Anyway, you two look the same as ever. Like twins. <laughs> okay, fair enough. See, I, uh, yeah, you can tell the separation of their voice. I just really thought it was one person doing the same voice, but okay. Well, let's do our usual thing. We're not twins. We're, We're not, not twins. twins. Things going well at work, Alba. Uh, no <laughs> well, we're not there anymore, so I guess. Well, the ice cream shop, right? With the penguin aprons? I thought you got fired on your first day. I made it three days, thank you very much. Now I work at a junk shop. Uh... <laughs> dumb dumb. <Yodo? laughs> How did you do that? With my Go XLR! I mean throat magic. My throat too lets me record audio and reuse it. Right. What was it again? Dum dum. Hey, bom. Hum drum junk. I've been there for a while now. That name doesn't suit you. If you ever want to let loose again, then you know who to call. We've got a lot of power. You could do worse. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like these two as a pair. That's freaking great. Him just being like all smiley, but also fucking scary with the whole like, you know, you could join us. We are part of the Yakuza now. We can make it worth your while. God damn. <laughs> well, I appreciate the offer. I keep thinking how much I'd like to see you fight again. Yeah, yeah. We're your biggest fans, Alba. Oh! 250 damage to Route 44! Is it over already? A roar goes up from the audience. But then... Hey, you hooligans! An even louder voice cuts through the charged atmosphere. Akshima! Akshima! What is it? You were detect. Uh, fuck. You know what the sad thing is? Uh, I bet you can't fuck this guy. But this guy. <laughs> this is the one I want. Motherfucker rolling around looking like Constantine. Yo, I am so down. <laughs> he looks underpaid. Yeah, he looks underpaid. He looks overtired. This is my type right here. He just needs a beard and then he's perfect. <laughs> Maybe slightly better hair. Oh my god, the face is selling it for me. <laughs> Brandishing a megaphone, a man charges in with several police officers in tow. Ah, uh, uh, just what we needed. Where you fuckers think you are? You're all under arrest! The match is over. Usui vanishes in a puff of smoke, and the fighters and spectators scatter. The guy with the megaphone is Akashima, a hard-ass detective who's as crooked as they come. <laughs> yeah, that's my type. 
He's jailed or beaten dozens of people on blatantly false charges. Fuck yes! They call him the Grim Reaper of the old residential district. I think we'd better be going. You probably should too. Nah. Yeah. You like him crooked? It's more the fact that he probably would beat the shit out of me for no reason. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bye bye, Alba. Bye bye, Alba. Wait, you scumbags! Get back here! We're gonna arrest every one of you shitheads! I like him. <laughs> Akashima looks like he's about to burst a blood vessel. I ignore him and take off running. Aoyagi Street is just ahead. Imagine this is how we die <laughs> Just immediately As I round the corner A motorcycle nearly runs me over I stumble and fall backwards <sighs> The bike pulls up a short distance away I stare at the driver in a daze He doesn't get off But his eyes are focused on me Something about those eyes Sends a shiver down my spine the man speeds off without saying a word. Oi! <clears throat> hey! I jump up, but he's already gone. <sighs> Son of a bitch! He nearly ran me over and he didn't even apologize! I mean, near misses like that aren't unusual in this part of town. But it still pisses me off! Alba, Dajuka. Alba, are you alright? It's the poor puppy. I wonder if they just reused it because he's pretty much said that line like 12 times. <laughs> yeah, barely. Well, that was a close one. I'm glad you're safe. You and me both. Ren's concern soothes my anger. I'm safe. That's what matters, right? I start back toward home. And yeah, chat, please do not drop any spoilers or even hints in chat. There's a lot of people going through this completely blind, me, in, me included, so do not spoil us. You will get perma-banned on the channel. I enter my neighborhood and soon reach my house. Ta-da! I'm home! <laughs> Holy shit! Is this the woman I was supposed to- Oh my god, her hair's in a love heart. That's adorable. She's got a pearl necklace. This is oh, such classic Obasama energy. Yeah, is this the one we were supposed to send our good messages to from Mizuki? <laughs> What's wrong with you, you stupid boy? Tae! Yeah, that's Tae. <laughs> a clap of thunder greets- A clap of thunder greets me the moment I open the door. I know from experience that the rigging won't go away anytime soon. You have to shout! Oh, I love her. How else am I gonna get it through your thick skull? Granny is perched menacingly on the landing, fuming as she scowls at me. I've always wondered how such an old woman could make so much noise. What are you mad about now? Don't you know? The lock! The lock! The lock? How many times have I told you to lock the door when you go to work? Ah, uh, Oh, did I forget? Sorry. I was almost late for work this morning, so I ran out of the house in a hurry. Oh, sorry, me. What did I do to deserve such a forgetful grandchild? What do you want from me? I forgot, okay? 
That's some respect, dude. That's your grandma right there. At least he's not fighting in the streets anymore. That's something. <laughs> because you overslept again. You're 23 and still completely hopeless. Are you trying to make your grandmother cry? I said I'm sorry, didn't I? God, everyone screws up sometimes. You could get a gold medal in screwing up. How many times is it now? Uh, uh, um, around six times. <laughs> Holy shit, the enunciation. She's so mad. You are completely hopeless. Granny is shaking with anger. The veins on her forehead are bulging. This is serious. She's fainted after getting too worked up before. I get it. I get it. I'll be more careful, so stop shouting already. <laughs> She's just trying to teach him a lesson. She won't be around forever. She needs his ass to grow up, man. <laughs> How many times have I heard that one? How can I rest in peace if you still can't take care of yourself? Granny snorts and stomps back into the kitchen. Hola. Oh, there it is. There's the caring side. It's first like, hey, fuck you. You left the door unlocked. Do you want me to die or you to be robbed? And then she's like, get in here. You're going to catch a cold. I made you dinner. Come get some good food into you. You're still standing there? Come in before you freeze. She seems to have settled down for the moment. Relieved, I take off my shoes and head inside. But we might get into shouting matches like this on a daily basis. But we actually get along pretty well, all things considered. The fact that she can still yell like that is proof that she's healthy. I think her yelling is one of the things I'm going to miss when the time comes. I'm really grateful to her for raising me all by herself. Not that I'd ever say that to her face. Oh, he's so sundere as well. That's a really cute, like, quick introduction into their relationship. How do I save in this game, by the way? I just realized I haven't saved yet, and there is no way in... Oh, there's no full save. I guess because it's a demo. <laughs> oh, wait, no. There we go. Perfect. Just in case my computer's been known to crush. But yeah, I like that introduction. And the fact that he's like, I think I'm going to miss that if she goes. Yeah. Every time you do something wrong, you just imagine your grandma's voice shouting at you again. Oof. Granny is in the kitchen in the middle of serving up whatever she was sauteing in her frying pan. I wash my hands at the sink, grab two sets of chopsticks off the shelf, and set the table. You might be wondering where my parents are. They were never the type to stay in one place. Even when they lived here with us, they would up and vanish for months, even years at a time. It was always like that, even when I was little, so I eventually got used to it just being Granny and me. When they stopped coming back altogether, I was surprisingly okay. I guess I have Granny to thank for that. After all the trouble I caused growing up, I just want to treasure the time I have left with her. A simple life is all I need. Oh, that's cute as well. Him just being like, yeah, my parents kind of sucked. But I always had granny, so I never really cared too much. I didn't care if they abandoned me. They went to get milk. Fuck. He's burying that down, but that very clearly does weigh on him a bit still. Let's eat. She lines up the food. Soma noodles, tuna, stir-fried shiitake mushrooms, and boiled greens. Fried fish and miso soup. Holy shit, that's so much. I sit down with Granny and put my hands together. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Wa-chan, omai. Granny, <laughs> this is delicious. So okay. Is it now? Being chased by the police made me hungry, so Granny's homemade cooking really hits the spot. While stuffing my face, I feel a sharp pain shoot through my skull. Here we go again. Ow. 
Another headache? Don't forget to take your medicine after you eat. Ugh. I won't. I've suffered from frequent headaches ever since a youthful indiscretion landed me in hospital. This is the second one today. No one's ever been able to figure out the cause. Ever since it started, I've been taking the medicine Granny prescribes. Did I mention Granny has her medical license? Yeah, she's kind of like the village doctor. Always giving neighborhood folks checkups and meds. I guess you could call her a drug dealer. <laughs> she has quite the reputation for being safer than other less competent doctors who just take your money. Uh, I can vouch for that. Her pills are the only thing that have ever helped me with my headaches. Gochisousama. Thanks for the meal. After I finish eating, I take my medicine, clear the table, and head upstairs. Professional drug dealer? Yeah, she's licensed. It's okay. <laughs> it's nothing nefarious. Oh, shit. See what you got in here. Looks like just a bunch of junk. Old school computer. Lots of magazines. I really like the UI in this game, too. Oh, these text boxes are nice. In my room, I pull Ren out of my bag to wake him from sleep mode. My head is killing me. Thinking fresh air might help, I go out onto the balcony. Cool breeze feels nice. Leaning on the handrail, I sigh and look up at the sky. The overlapping buildings obscure my view. It hasn't always been like this. The island was once a beautiful place. Jesus! Whoa, I didn't realize lunatic pri l l whatever prison <laughs> Luna prison is as like bigger than the actual everything else. Jeez. And it's all just one tiny island. This place is crazy. Platinum jail. <laughs> you think I'd remember that by now. But yeah, it's like as big as the main slum area. That's crazy. I wonder, I guess the rich people there come from all over the world then if it's so expensive. God damn lunatic prison yeah i just i don't know where that came from <laughs> platinum jail <laughs> midori dima is a remote island to the southwest of mainland japan the island is known for its blue seas white sands and lush forests or at least it was well, that's ancient history now now platinum jail dominates the island occupying nearly a full third of its landmass. a huge wall separates platinum jail from the old residential district so no one can even see what's on the inside Oh, it's that rich guy we saw in the intro. He feels very dangerous. <laughs> you see big shots from the Toei Corporation, the company that built Platinum Jail on TV all the time. Back when I was a kid, the Toei Corporation, the, the Toei Corporation was trying to evict people from the island so they could start development. They managed to convince most of the island's residents to leave with the promises of luxurious homes and exorbitant amounts of money. But there were still some people who were too stubborn to go like us. We weren't about to abandon our homes no matter what juicy bait they dangled in front of us. And for a while, Toei let us alone. Toei's public stance on the issue was that they didn't want to force people out. In reality, however, they were already plotting to show us the error of our ways. It began with a reduction of their basic utilities, explained as maintenance that never seemed to end. The livable sphere slowly shrank until the remaining residents were forced into what is now known as the old residential district. Ah, uh, such a real world thing. God damn, they're just like, hey, capitalism, baby. And they priced us out. Wait, what's the word for that? Oh, I can't remember the word. When like rich people buy up everything and then poor people get moved out. Gentrification. They got gentrified. Fuck me. It looked like it was a nice island before that too. Look how green those forests are. That shit sucks. This once beautiful island is in shambles. How could the government allow this? The government? I mean... Realistically, it's everyone that's allowing it. You could break down that wall, I'm just saying. Some of the islanders begged the government for help, but their petitions were all rejected. Finally, three years ago, Toei started reacquiring residents of the old residential district to get permissions before they could leave the island. Permission they wouldn't grant. Ever. I'm sure Toei's justification is that it's our fault for not leaving when we had the chance. Shit, that's fucked up. So they're actually stuck there too. Wow, even if they want to leave, that's fucked. A noise at my feet snaps me out of my reverie. Oh, 
What do you want to do with the data from that email that you downloaded like an idiot? Download? Email? Ren's question startles me off the handrail. I completely forgot. Back at the store, while those kids were giving me trouble, my coil downloaded some kind of file. Was it some sort of virus? I didn't detect anything. So what is it? It's the type of game where the player character gains experience points and levels by doing battle with enemy characters. Ah, RPG, ne? Oh, an RPG? Does it cost anything? No, it's free. Huh. At least those stupid brats didn't make me buy something by accident. Is it a trial version? That is unclear. Well, if there's nothing fishy about it, I guess I could give it a try. Not like I have anything better to do. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna play one of those terrible games where it advertises with the shitty, like, can you get through the problem? You only have to, like, go from the numbers. The stupid things where you have to pull out the pins and get the hero to the princess. Ugh. Is that how you get scammed? Yeah. You play five minutes of this, and by the end of that, it knows your credit card number. Shall I start it? Please. Understood. It's got to be a gacha. Oh, probably. They give you five minutes for free, and then they take away your soul. Cradling Ren in my arms, I go back inside and sit on the bed. 99% can't finish exactly. <laughs> there she is! Save me. Someone. Please. Save me from this place. Okay, so we got that kind of shit at the beginning of the game too, which is worrying. Zelda. Zelda don't play like that no more. Princess Zelda is a strong woman who has a sword and magic and seals Ganon by herself nowadays. Thank you very much. Okay, Princess Peach. That one I can't argue. Although the movie came out and they might be changing Princess Peach in the future now too. <laughs> Maybe Princess Peach is about to be super strong and badass too, so... Um, Jump King. It's Jump King. It's the princess from Jump King. There we go. <laughs> Talk about retro. I bet those kids have never seen anything like this. Even I've only seen games this old in videos. This game's logo appears after the message from the princess. Oh, that's very Dragon Quest. Silent Oath. Wait, wait, wait. Boom. Yeah, okay. That's very Dragon Quest, that's very Final Fantasy, that's very Zelda, that's just, it's just so fucking classic. <laughs> Man, it's so old, it almost feels new. I press the start button. Oh, it's, yeah, okay, now it's Final Fantasy AF. Or Zelda 2, I guess, but mainly Final Fantasy. This is a terrible... Ooh, we're just gonna go through this labyrinth forever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's mixing a bunch of things. Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, Castlevania, Zelda. Bro, you can't keep going down. Alba, you okay? To be continued! Okay, it is Final Fantasy. <laughs> It's like, hey, you got to the good part. Sephiroth appeared, there was a big fight. We'll see you in three years, kiddo. <laughs> huh? To be continued? It's got episodes or something? That's the way it looks. Oh, well, I guess it was the perfect length to kill some time. I mean, all I did was go down for ages, and nothing ever happened to me, so I guess that's a lot like my own love life, I mean. <sighs> I don't really know if it was all that entertaining, but I might play some more when the next installment comes out. A yawn spills from my mouth as I close the game. 
I was so focused on the game, I didn't realize how tired I am. So, 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 the next day, I'm sitting behind the counter at humdrum de junk like usual. Damn headaches. Rub the bridge of my nose. My head's been pounding ever since I woke up. I even took my medicine after breakfast. Maybe I'm getting sick. Aoba-kun, just Aoba kun you think you could make a delivery? I hear Mr. Haga clattering around in the back of the store. Tetsudaimasu! Oh, sure. Let me help. <clears throat> I try to stand up, but my legs wobble. I quickly grab the counter. Aoba-kun, are you okay? Aoba-kun, you all right? Ooh, ooh. I didn't know I could do that. Sick. Scroll wheel. Sorry. Sorry. Just a little dizzy. Sit down. <laughs> I don't think he can do it himself. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Please sit down. I could do it myself. <laughs> What's the matter, Albert? <laughs> Oh, I was just thinking I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> yeah, if you make him angry, he'll throw you straight over the fucking building. <laughs> cleaning, cleaning. Mr. Haga's all mate Junker dances around him in circles. Oh, I love him. Ah, Bonjin. Oh, Junker, please clean the black the back. 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 Junker returns to the back of the shop. So, 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 all right, could you make a delivery for me? Mr. Haga pulls a small paper bag out of his pocket. The order didn't come in until the middle of the night, but the customer requested express delivery. I look at the slip on the package. It's going to an address in the East Quarter. It definitely would be faster to deliver it directly from the shop. One of our suppliers will be here soon, so I can't step away right now. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll leave right now. Thank you so much. Mr. Haga smiles and goes down in the basement. My head still feels like a brick, but I have work to do. I have to tough it out. I smack myself lightly to clear away the funk and pick up my bag and the package and head outside. I'm just worried about the fact that it was ordered, like, at night and for express delivery. So I'm wondering if this is the person who called and tried to pick up Alba that's now getting him to come right to his house. Possibly gonna kidnap him. <laughs> if I remember correctly, all mates used to look like robots. The new ones started to replicate pets. That would make sense. I'd imagine that. You would normally go for, like, robots to do basic chores and then you'd go for, like, cuter things and, like, fashion accessories. And then maybe the ones that just look incredibly human and are like companions in more ways than one. Are you sure this way's faster? Huh? Yes, I am human. Don't question me, you bitch. Do you have a map in your brain? I make my way down Oyaki Street, Ren navigating. As I walk alone, I notice a familiar tag all over the walls of an alley. The only road that I have ever known. Benny Shigure, the Crimson Rain, Kojaku's gang. Hua Chung? Crimson Rain Salt Flower? 
These tags are how rib gangs stake their claims. This is part of Kojaku's territory. Kojaku's gang isn't that big. Not that many people know that Kojaku is a ribsteez in the first place. Thanks to Kojaku's popularity with women, he's often wound up in brawls with jealous men. But he's never lost. Over time, his strength earned him some male fans as well. And this became his gang. <laughs> I fucking love that. He beat the shit out of so many people that a lot of people were just like, yo, kind of badass. He, he's my sensei now. I'm joining his gang. He doesn't have a gang. I'll make him a gang. <laughs> this is our gang. <laughs> I think the way he looks after them shows the kind of guy Kojaku is. He's not the one to turn away from people who look up to him. Many Ripsties join gangs because they admire the leader. Such members often take up often take after their idol, which is why you see so many men wearing kimonos in Benny Sugare territory. I don't see a single one, my man. <laughs> they might look like bad news at first glance, but they're all good people. They help old ladies carry their bags and lost children find their parents. Oh, that's adorable. They're not a gang. We're a freaking village protection service. <laughs> that's why Benny Sugare is pretty popular in the old residential district. Kojaku is to thank for that, too. Probably. Yo, Alba. Yo, Alba. Yes. What's up? I exchanged greetings with a couple Benny Shigure members who were chatting with a police officer. The police in the old residential district are corrupt, but some will mingle with the regular folk if they're in the right mood. Or there's money involved. Some ribstage takes such, much, blah, takes such opportunities to fish for useful information or get a pass on some misdemeanor. Whatever works for them, I say. As I make my way further down the street, I hear some excited voices coming from up ahead. It's a man and two women walking arm in arm. <laughs> oh, here we fucking go again. No, oh, you're terrible. <laughs> That's why we love you. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Whoever said he looks enough like Hua Chung? He does not look enough like Hua Chung. He looks nothing like Hua Chung. <laughs> the only thing similar is the color scheme. <laughs> I knew it. It's Kojaku. I really don't want to see him right now with his fans around, but it's already too late to escape. Oh, Alba, isn't it? Hey. I try to creep the grimace off of my face. Oh, you've got a bird. Okay. Alma, how's Ren? Kojaku's old mate, Benny, is flying next to him. Ren pops his head out of my oh, bag. Yeah. I'm right here. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Okay. Oh, ah, is he a friend of yours, Kojaku? The women look at me, sizing me up. Ah. Yeah, we go way back. Oh. Is that real? That's so nice. <laughs> Even their voice acting is so good. You can hear the like, Oh, is that true? He's not bad looking. He better not get in my way. Well, sorry that the amazing Kojaku's friend doesn't measure up. Well, I've known the guy since I was little. It's not like we spent our whole childhood together. Kojaku is originally from the mainland. He came to the island with his mother, then went back to the mainland a few years later. We lost touch after that for a while, until suddenly about three years ago, Kojaku came back, this time by himself. He'd grown a lot, but the way he talked and smiled was still the same old Kojaku. We started hanging out again after that. Kojaku often stops by my place to get a taste of Granny's cooking. What's the matter with you? Huh? You don't look so hot. I'm fine. Reminds me of Krim from Dot Hack Sign. Very similar to that, actually. Damn. I haven't thought about Sign in forever. So, Not a yo. Yeah? If you say so. I tried to play it cool, but I'm actually surprised. Do I really look that sick? Are you working? So, Yeah, we can all live like you. The women react to my jab before Kojaku can. Oh god, they're so annoying. <laughs> hey, it's not like he's fooling around, you know. 
今だってお仕事の途中で送ってくれてるだけなんだから。Yeah, he's just walking us home on his way to work. まあそう言うなよ。確かにこんなに可愛いお嬢さん方と一緒じゃ仕事も手につかねえからな。Hey now, he's not wrong. How could I possibly work with such lovely ladies at my side? Kya! Kojak san tada! Oh, damn it. I'll never understand how he spouts crap like that. A man must never refuse a woman's affections. So no tori! Onna wa kono yo no takara da. Yawara kai shi yasashi shi, otoko o tsumi kon de kreru. He has paying vibes he does. Yasashi suru no ga otoko no gimu te mon da. So da ro? In fact, I don't remember who actually ended up sub,、uh, uh, dubbing Pei Ming in the Japanese version of Heaven Official's Blessing, but this voice would be perfect for Pei Ming. <laughs> just the, oh, well, I never said we were going to be in a relationship. We were just being light, you know? Perfect voice, perfect voice. <laughs> These fans do be parasocial. I mean, they're hanging out with him. They can't really be parasocial. <laughs> but yeah, they, they clingy as fuck. They, they're kind of obsessive. That's what they are. Exactly. Women are a treasure. They're soft and gentle and warm men with their embrace. That's why we have to protect them, right? Kojaku. Kojaku puts his arms around the women's shoulders. I'm not doing those voice lines. <laughs> I should get going. Oh, wait a second. Before I can leave, one of the women stops me. Here, look! You've got some trash on you. The woman reaches out with her slender fingers and brushes something off my collar. Oh, thanks. I do love a woman with a keen eye. <laughs> huh? The woman suddenly looks at me like she's noticed something. Wow, your hair is pretty long. Am I going to get a haircut from Koji, Kojaku? Because I'd be down. Oh, you're right. <laughs> It's kind of cute. Just like a girl. Giggling, one of the women reaches for my hair. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to slap that bitch away. But I might get in trouble for that. <laughs> I smack her hand away. Stop! <coughs> hey! Oh. Shin. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't that rude? It's much more fucking rude to touch somebody's hair without asking them first, actually. Worry. Sorry. Welcome to gender equality, bitch. It's only been 10 years. I can hit a girl if she tries to touch me. You hit a girl. You think that sorry's gonna cut it? Oh, here we go. Saved by the pretty boy. <laughs> Settle down, ladies. He's sorry. And look, I'm sorry. Ojaku cuts between us and grasps the hands of the woman I smacked away. But Kojaku. I'll let you in on a little secret. This guy here, he doesn't have a lot of experience with women. So he doesn't know how to act around pretty ladies like yourselves. You understand, right? Kojaku shoots me a look. He's asking me to play along. I mean, I expected that from Alba, actually, so I don't feel like he's really throwing us under the bus so much as he's just like admitting, like, yeah, we, we, we don't hang out with girls much, which is fair. Could you find it in your hearts to forgive him? For me? Well, if you say so. Yeah. The women look at me with eyes full of pity. <laughs> oh my god. They're really judging me so hard. They're like, oh, he's never been with women? Wow. How pathetic. What a loser. God. 
I like my guys to have been with like 50 women every week. Like, Kojaku Shama. I feel a little annoyed, but mostly I'm relieved. Kojaku really saved my ass. He knows how much I hate it when people touch my hair. Kojaku smiles at me. Hey, what's up, Alba? Falling for me because I'm such a nice guy. Shut up, dumbass. Oh my god, Kojaku, if you don't put them on a fucking leash and take them away, I'm so done with them. Hey, where you get off calling Kojaku a dumbass? I flash Kojaku a grateful smile. He responds with a wink. He's really got his cool guy act down pat. <laughs> well, I have to get going. Oh, Right. Be careful. He can put me on a leash. Okay, Maureen. <laughs> can these girls leave the... Uh, that, uh, I think they'd enjoy that, Fuchan. That's what I'm saying. Put them on a leash and get them out of here. They clearly cannot act normal in society. <laughs> I wave goodbye to Kojaku and get on my way. My destination is close. A left turn and then a straight shot down the street. Just as I round the corner, I see a man hunched over on the side of the road. He's mumbling something, but I can't make it out. You see a lot of that in town these days. People sitting on the ground, staring blankly at the sky, or mumbling themselves like this guy. Oh, are these people who have had their minds erased, I'd imagine? People who disappeared for a while, then came back and know nothing of nothing. Very Persona 3. It's not exactly a new thing, but it feels like there are a lot more of them lately. Anyway, best to keep your distance. I quickly walk past. Hell yeah, apathy syndrome. The alleys are narrow here and particularly dark. There are a lot of restaurants too, so the area is full of savory smells and smoke. Man, now I'm kind of hungry. If you do not do something to remedy that situation, in approximately one hour you will likely be suffering from acid indigestion. Okay, Poppy. What are you talking about? Is my stomach upset? It's a side effect of what you ate yesterday. Plus some degree of sleep deprivation. I told you you shouldn't have eaten that weird sour cream covered thing that auntie gave you. <laughs> ah, Yoshie san no. All right, Miss Yoshie's cake. Uh, that thing was ridiculous. Mm. Huh? A strange feeling stops me in my tracks. I could have sworn someone was staring at me. I look around, but no one in the area stands out. I must have imagined it. Alba! Alba! Uh, it feels like missing a step on the staircase. The world around me freezes in place and streams toward my feet at an unbelievable speed. My bad. A sharp pain rips through my skull. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, we're going through the Doctor Who universe. I know of this. <sighs> My thoughts are muddy. My hands and feet are tingling. In the database, the database, living in the database. Suddenly the world changes. <gasps> Oh no, a Mega Man Battle what Network. What? Where am I? A glowing wireframe floor extends as far as the eye can see. It's like I'm in some kind of game. Oh, and now it's Tron. Give me my bike. Rhyme Configuring oh, no, rhyme what? Rhyme? I'm in rhyme? A blue glow appears in front of me, growing into a human shape. Yo, he's got the tattered cape. He's gonna look so badass. Oh, yeah, he does. Let's fucking go. I almost topple over when I see who it is. Ring? 
What, what do you mean, Ren? Puppy Ren? Ren? Oba. Bujika. Why is the dog hot? What the fuck? Um. Alba, are you okay? What the hell? What's going on? Why do you look like that? It would seem that all mates appear in online mode here. Online mode is is an online mode for Rhyme? I've only seen your online form in your settings panel. Come to think of it, that voice just now said something about Rhyme. That appears to be the case. However, our physical location has not changed. Rhyme field set up. Deploying field. Oh, this is a predicament. It's only a predicament because the hottest character so far is the puppy. <laughs> he just needs to take that hat off. I'm fine with the cape. The cape stays on. The, you know what? Yeah, the cloak stays on. The hat needs to come off. What Alba. the fuck are all these bunnies? Alba! It's a bunny rabbit! Can I chase the bunny rabbit, Alba? God, I want to chase the butt. Can I sink my teeth into it, Alba? <laughs> Ren pushes me away, and I tumble to the floor. A powerful blast of air passes just above my head. What was that? Alba, this is a public rhyme field. We've been pulled into a rhyme match against our will. What? Is that even... Alba, Alba something's coming. My eyes go on ride when I see what it is. A, a really creepy fucking rabbit. One eye super huge. Um. No? A person wearing a rabbit's head. Where? Really in rhyme? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming on this felicitous occasion. Shall we get the party started? Alba, Kuzo. Alba, here it comes. Here what comes? What am I supposed to? This is so fucking cool. Nobody ever, t nobody ever talks about the actual cool parts of this storyline when they ma mention dramatical murder. What the fuck? It's always just the sexy guys and the sexy fucked up scenarios. I never hear anything about it being you drawn into a life or death game. We're sorry. No, no reason to be sorry. It's just this is fucking awesome. Coming into this blind, it's like this is what this game is. Life or death video game bullshit where your doggy comes in with you. Ah, oh, me and dog would wrap up in this world. Set. Death. Yaja. Yaja. Oh my god, they're gonna try and murder me, all these little bunny rabbits. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was close. Hey, wait a minute. I don't play rhyme. Cut it out. Handle. Sly Blue. Huh? What? Seragaki Alba. Seragaki Alba. How do you know my name? I know this is Sly whatever. Void. I've never even played Rhyme before. Void. I said, I've never played this before. Fight. Nah, I don't think he can. <laughs> He's not listening. Let's run. Ren, isn't there something you could do? Like some command to get us out of here? 
ログアウト自体が無効化されているようだ。I tried, but the logout function has been disabled. Don't worry, it's a feature, not a bug. They told me all about it. マジなんなんだよ、ライムって。What the hell is going on here? うわあうわあでぇアオバ、大丈夫かアオバ、Are you alright? I really don't like that they took Alba out of all of his translated voice lines. It's very much him. It makes him a puppy. Like all puppies would just be like, Oh man, are you okay? Alba, are you doing alright? Yeah, but it hurts like hell. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I guess what I'm saying is you're acting like a little bitch, Alba. Suck it up and stand up, you wuss. Danga, Kono field of damage to no seguga, none like no liu de hazarate yoda. Nah, I'm kidding. Somehow those limits have been removed. So it did somebody. You mean. Cochira de damage o kirto. Nictai ni mo none like no eko o oyobos o soringar. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Sayak janegaya. We're totally screwed. Nigate mo muda. You can run, but you can't hide. I look up to see the rabbit peering at me from a nearby block. Set lost! Raja! Raja! They're so cute. We're gonna die, but they're so cute. Shit. There's no way I can dodge in time. But just as I brace myself for impact, Ren leaps in front of me. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's best boy. <laughs> He's best boy right here. <laughs> Ren, are you okay? <laughs> my... My head... Have I got like a secret? Ren. Here we go. I've got like a secret memory locked inside me, huh? That's gonna be a badass version of me. Ren, set, jubilation. Oba. Oba. Just do it. Hurry up. Damn! You got that top voice coming in as well. Let's fucking go. Alba just switched from Uke to Seme. Yokai. Yokai. Now it's time to fight. <laughs> Holy shield attack. <laughs> oh, his voice isn't glitched anymore. Oh, wait, no, that's Alba? Holy shit. <laughs> what a joke. An obsolete Almate with no armor? <laughs> what kind of noob does he think I am? <laughs> No armor? Must think he's some kind of pro. Let's show him who's boss. Oh, that was the bunny boy. <laughs> Yo, the shadowed face. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you haven't seen Ren be jubilant yet. None. None here. Oh, God. That was very bright. Yo, his arm turned into a fucking cannon. Yeah, get wrecked, buddy boy. Get three units lost. Defense down 12 points. That son of a bitch. What did I just do? No, Alba, go back. Go back to the other mode. Please, my boy. We don't need you right now. We need whatever weirdness is sleeping inside of you. Ren, what the hell was that? You ordered me to attack. Are you, are you okay, buddy? You lost your mind? Attack? How? I don't know any attacks. It almost felt like... When my mouth had a mind of its own. It just wanted. It did what it wanted to do. Without my command. Alba, 
Alba, he's coming again. <laughs> Better use your mouth. <laughs> Shiju. Your orders. Shiju って言ったって。Orders? But I... <laughs> でもやんねえとやばいんだよな。I guess we're screwed if I don't do something. さっきみたいに。Just have to do it like before. レン、ボヨだ。That's not the other voice. That's him. Ren. Lock. 了解。Understood. Good morning! Raja! Raja! Oh, kiddos. Oh, you're hurting your doggo because you don't know what to say, damn it! <laughs> Shit! Oh no, we lost immediately. Poor Papa. Ren didn't deserve this. Enemy shield is depleted 100% I guess he wasn't all that after all. Let's get out of here. Aye aye. Or not. Hold on. Enemy shield recovering. Crazy fast. 40, 50, 70, 90. What's going on? Did he pay for the DLC? God damn it, I hate pay to win players. Uh, what's happening? Alato! Alato! Kiken! Kiken! Alato! Alato! Danger! Danger! Come on, show me scary Alba. Death and destruction. <gasps> Man, we're going to cut away at that point. <laughs> I want to see what happened. Did he murder it? <laughs> uh, my head is killing me. What the hell happened? <laughs> When I come to, I'm lying on the sidewalk. I slowly push myself up, fighting the pain in my body. A little wobbly. I managed to stand. Ouch. Seriously. What happened? Clutching my head, I struggle to make sense of my jumbled memories. I was making a delivery, when suddenly I got pulled into a rhyme match, and then that weird guy with the rabbit head showed up. <sighs> I'm back at the shop. Hope I delivered the fucking package. <laughs> Did the demo cut that out? If any, no, the demo should be like an uncut version. The only thing that it cuts out is like the violence and um, sexual stuff. So if it was something very violent or very sexual, it would have cut it off just from the basic Steam version of this game. Um, which I guess means, yeah, something dark was supposed to happen there. <laughs> and they just skipped over it. Ow. What happened to my delivery? Nothing got cut. Oh, okay. Nothing got cut, apparently. Other people, okay. People were talking as if they knew things were supposed to have happened. Okay. <laughs> so nothing actually got cut. We just don't get to know about Alba's other friend just yet. Fair enough. Thank you for letting me know, chat. <laughs> now look around and see a furry blue lump on the ground. Ren. Ren. I pick him up, but he doesn't respond. Ren. Oi. Hey, Ren. I tap him gently on the head. Oh, thank God. Aoba. After a beat, Ren opens his eyes. Relief washes over me. Are you okay? No serious issues to report. Really? 
Nothing's broken? Some of my data is corrupted. Isn't that serious? I mean, it's no more than what just happened to us, bro. He lost the same memories we did. The rhyme battle must have damaged Ren, too. I'll take a look at you once we get home. Please do, just to be safe. Yeah, it feels like some of my data has been corrupted, too. I remember fighting with that rabbit head guy, but... What exactly happened at the end? Those memories are corrupted. Huh? Hang on. Maybe I can remember something. How long is the demo? Somewhere between three to five hours. I mean, it's pretty damn long. We're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Fighting through the pain in my head, I close my eyes and search my memories. But the harder I try to remember, the more it slips out of reach. Damn, I can't remember anything. You can't help that. Really? What makes you say that? <laughs> We're doing this again. If we value the average human male's mental storage capacity at 100, the value of yours would be... Is this really the time to be uh, cracking joke? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. So it sounds like there's actually a pretty damn good reason for him having slow, well, small memory. Something about there being something else in his head. A part of himself he's hiding. A dark part. Alba. Alba? Oh. Uh, 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 I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Rim, you... Hey. Have you always had eight legs? Alba. Alba. Uh, why is everything spinning? Which way is down? I can't... I'll wait here for a moment. As Ren runs off, I start laughing. Oh, three Rens? Need. And that's when I black out. Yep, too much memory in his brain. Shut that shit down. Three Rens? Neat. Yeah. If they were in human form, it'd be very neat. In puppy form, kind of adorable. Afterward, Ren gets Mr. Haga and he takes me inside to rest for a while. Even though I lost the package he asked me to deliver, Mr. Haga just smiles and tells me to go home for the day. I take him up on the offer. Rennie must not be home yet, as the house is still dark. After flipping the lights on in the entryway, I head for the kitchen, grab my medicine off the shelf and take a bigger dose than usual. It really should be taken with food, but I need to get my headache under control. Maybe I'm just relieved to be home, but it feels like my exhaustion has suddenly caught up with me. I can barely move. Desperate to collapse into bed, I trudge up the stairs to my room. I take Ren out of my bag and set him on the bed, then take off my jacket and lay down. Phew. Lost the package I was supposed to deliver. Even ended up leaving work early. So terrible. Especially after the kindness Mr. Haga showed me. What <laughs> What's going on with me? It's all because of that weird rabbit head guy. And Rhyme. Is that what everyone's so worked up about? I slowly sit up, thinking about the virtual space is just making me feel worse. My headache hasn't gone away. The medicine must not have kicked in. Fortunately, I have just the thing for times like this. Oh, it's that image. I was wondering. <laughs> this is the one that everybody redraws all the VTubers has. <laughs> hmm. Why is this so important? Let's find out. Pick up my headphones from the pile with my jacket and put them on. 
I select one of my favorite songs on my coil, close my eyes, and let the music take me. Music has always helped me relax whenever I'm feeling restless or unwell. It's just me and the music. Everything else fades away. Mm. Slowly, the music melts with my heartbeat. I feel myself drifting on the waves. Uh. <sighs> the melody whirls around me, softly caressing my body. The sound soaks through my skin and into my blood, circulating gently through my veins. <laughs> Multicolored lights flutter through the darkness like delicate pieces of film. It feels pleasant, comforting. This is a place for me alone, where no one else can trespass. Uh. <sighs> the discordant pain in my head and body grow distant as the peaceful sound spreads through me. Faint sighs spill from my lips, almost like the music is pushing them from my lungs. It feels so good. I'm in deeper than usual today. The world around me has ceased to exist. If I can just fall asleep like this, I know I'll wake recharged and refreshed. If I can just... fall asleep... Mm. Mm -hmm. A sound. I open my eyes slightly. I'm still pretty out of it. I don't know what I heard. Well, whatever. I close my eyes again. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of moaning for listening to music. <laughs> this place. I know it well. I was sitting on a sandy beach, talking to someone. Someone whose words are more precious than gold. Words that seem to glitter in the sunlight. What did he say? I can't remember. Can't remember those precious words. Okay, so he has serious lost memories. He doesn't just have another him in his head. He's had a lot of shit erased. Which is probably through the same technology in which they're erasing people's whole damn brains. Um so yeah, he's had like a limited version of that. They've like taken a character out of him or they've taken another person out of him or something. Just his memories of someone. Ouch. Something sharp is poking me. Wake up, you. Hey, get up. Ow. I said wake up, or I'm gonna kick your ass. Damn. What the fuck? I jump up. The thing, that, uh, the thing that was poking my face tumbles off and I catch it in midair. Oh, I Benny! I didn't know this Benny has little the wooden sandal things. That oh my god, that's so adorable. Benny, you're so cute. Benny. Ah, let go of me! Is this how you treat a guest? Many glares at me, flapping his wings against my hand. So, Kojaku's here. Of course he is. Let go. I stand up, still clutching the shrieking Benny. Ah, uh -huh. where's Ren? I find him curled up in a corner under my bed. He's in sleep mode, which reminds me, he said he'd lost some data. I gotta look at him sometime soon. But first, food. I'm feeling much better thanks to my nap. Even my headache is gone. My joints still ache, but I can move. When I leave my room, a delicious smell greets me from downstairs. Granny is back. When I look down at my coil, I realize it's always it's already dinner time. 
How'd it get so late? You wouldn't get your ass out of bed, so I had to take matters into my own talons. You got that, punk? I ignored Benny's whining and poked my head into the dining room. Granny's at the counter. Kojak was sitting by the table. He grins when he sees me. Yo, ohayou san. Yo, good morning. Ohayou. Morning. Sono kao. Kyo mo zekkojo da na. I see you haven't lost your sunny disposition. Okage sama de. No thanks to you. Wow, he's so rude to him. Dude, he's being so nice to you. You don't have to be such a dick. I can't hold back a yawn. Kore. Here. I toss Benny across the room to Kojaku, who catches him easily. I go out of my way to wake you up, and this is how you treat me. You better watch your back, Alva. Take it up with your master. He's the one who makes you run his errands. What do you expect? You're a pain in the ass when you wake up. I am not. Yeah, you are. You are a total baby girl. <laughs> Alba, is your mother? Go set the table. Food's done. Hi, hi. Okay, okay. The sweat drop again. He's just like, they're teaming up on me. God damn it. <laughs> While Kojaku laughs, I hurry to do Granny's bidding. <laughs> Miss Tai never changes. That booming voice of hers puts me right at ease. You try getting yelled at every day. It's no cakewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I glare at him as I set the chopsticks out on the table. This only makes him laugh out harder. Granny brings over the food while I pour three cups of tea. With dinner ready, I join everyone at the table. Itadakimasu. Okay. Good enough for me. Dinner tonight is blanched fish, kombu stir fry, and pork belly. Ooh, that's a good combo as well. Granny does so good! I start with the pork belly. Delicious. I find the food tastes especially good after I've had a nice nap. To my right, Kojaku shoots Granny a smile. <sighs> Absolutely delicious! Your cooking really is the greatest. <laughs> you come into my house uninvited and that's all you have to say. I thought you knew I was coming. I told Alva. I glare at him again. All you said was you'd swing by soon. <laughs> Kojaku just really threw me right under the bus there. <laughs> and what's with you sleeping like a log? I called and called and you wouldn't get up. <laughs> I... Okay, I guess you're right. But... You don't know how grateful I am to have a proper meal like this. <laughs> She's so Come on, man. You made extra food for him. Just, just, just own it. Don't get the wrong idea. I just happened to have some food that was about to expire. That's all. That's why I love you, Tai san. Shut up and eat! <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Granny stuffs kombu into her face while Kojaku watches with a smile. Granny's actually surprisingly fond of Kojaku. Even though Kojaku came to the island with his mother, when we were kids, he was alone more often than not. That's why he spends so much time hanging out with me. And of course, he ate plenty of Granny's cooking too. Knowing Granny, she might even think of him like a second grandson. Are you spending the night? Without missing a beat, Kojaku stops shoveling rice into his mouth and nods. That's the idea. I'm not going to let anybody else have a route chosen for them. <laughs> Just be shoved right down the Kojaku route, huh? Don't you have any shame? 
朝はお前が寝てても叩き起こすよ。Are you really surprised? Anyway, I have work in the morning. So I'm gonna kick you out of bed in the morning even if you're sleeping. 逆だろなかなか起きねえお前を俺がいつも優しく起こしてやってんじゃねえか。Don't you have that one backwards? I'm always the one who wakes you up. Gently, of course. だよな。That's that right. Oh my l o v e Wow, even the birds working against him. <laughs> Sharing the bed? I mean, there's only one bed, to be fair. Gotta share a bed with the homies. You guys. Kojaku flashes an infuriatingly charming smile and goes back to stuffing his face. The banter continues until the food is gone now. This has a really good soundtrack, too. I just notice how many times I'm just bobbing to different BGMs and it all works. Phew. After showering, I head for the living room while drying my hair with the towel around my neck. Granny's watching TV while sipping tea. Kojaku isn't there. Kojaku? Where's Kojaku? What if he went to your room, Granny? You never know. <laughs> he went upstairs to your room, I imagine. So, so, oh. By the way, Granny, oh my god, I just, yeah, fucking LGBT flag. <laughs> Damn, they were ahead of the time for real in this game. <laughs> what? I was busy staring over here trying to figure out who this was a picture of. It must be Granny while she's younger. Or like maybe her ex husband that passed away. Yeah, I didn't even notice the pride flag for ages. <laughs> I've been getting these really awful headaches lately. I've been taking my meds like usual, but it's not working. Mm. Mm. Granny finally pulls her eyes off the TV to look at me. She's always told me to let her know if anything changes with my headaches. It's not working at all? Mm. いつもみたいには聞かなかった感じ。I don't know about it all, but it's definitely worse than usual. そうかい。それじゃあ薬の配合を少し変えようかね。I see. I'll try adjusting the formula a little. 頼みます。I don't know what I'd do without you. I bow deeply. Granny snorts, returning her attention to the TV. All right. So Kojaku's in my room. I head upstairs. My whole body throbs each time I take a step. Did the... Ow. I may not have any visible injuries, but I feel a dull pain deep in my core. Is it because I took damage in Ryan? For a fight that's all in my head, it sure hurts like a bitch. During that battle with the weird rabbit head guy? Ran said that the damage limits were disabled. Is that even possible? But despite the pain, I finish climbing the stairs and head into my room. Huh? Kozaku isn't there. Neither is Ren. But then I notice that the door to the balcony is open a crack. Oh, that's a nice CG, actually. Oh, look, he's got both Ren and the little bird wrapped up. Ren looks so happy. Good shot. I look out to find Kojaku leaning against the railing. He's gazing at the city, a thin cigarette between his fingers, blowing white smoke through his pursed lips. I don't know why. Kojaku only smokes in my room. Well, on the balcony in my room. He never does it in front of women or at work, or when he's out drinking. Just here. I guess he feels like he can let down his guard here? In public, he never drops his confident smile. He always looks like he's having fun, but maybe it's not so easy to have women hanging off of you all the time. Kojaku brings the cigarette back to his mouth. Though his hands are angular and masculine, something about the dim light makes his fingers look long and beautiful. Those fingers must be very nimble given his line of work. Kojaku is holding Ren with Benny on Ren's head. They both appear to be in sleep mode. I'd be worried about dropping them, but I trust Kojaku not to be careless. I grab the ashtray I keep in my room and open the door to the balcony. That's mm. why he has an ashtray. I was wondering about that as well. He has an ashtray. It's pretty clear he doesn't smoke. He doesn't seem like the type. 
But yeah, so he always keeps one just in case this guy drops by. That's kind of adorable. It's so domestic already. <laughs> but yeah, he looks way better from the side. From the front, he gives too much Sasuke energy. That's why I was insulted when somebody said he looks like Hua Chung. I was like, no, 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 no. He, he, he's Sasuke coded. That's what he is. From the side, though, god damn, he looks badass. Kodak smiles softly upon seeing me. Oh. Yo, it is your bath. I thought you'd be in the living room. Ah, I just needed a little pick-me-up. Kodak gestures with his cigarette. You really like it out here, huh? So So Do I? Hmm. Maybe you're right. It's not like there's anything to see. Give him the line. Give him the line. Okay, he's not giving him the line yet. He, he, clearly, the reason he likes this area so much is because it has Alba. But he didn't do the whole, like, mm, I don't know. I think there's something pretty attractive to look at. Instead, he kept it, like, cool. I guess. But isn't it better that way sometimes? Mm? Really? I don't quite get it. Kojaku Kojaku chuckles. Here. Is this BL like actual BL? It's incredible BL. It's incredibly BL. There's not even a slight chance that this isn't incredibly BL. <laughs> I present the ashtray and Kojaku stubs out his cigarette. I set it down by my feet and enjoy him at the railing. Ah. Ah. Kojaku frowns at me. Aoba. Oh my mata. Aoba. How many times do I have to tell you? Hmm? Hmm? Your hair. You have to dry it better. Kojaku reaches out. He's going to touch my hair. I flinch at the thought. But it's not my hair he's going for. It's my nose. Uh. <laughs> Listen to the guy who cuts hair for a living, damn it. Stop it. I shake him off, but he just smiles. Kami <laughs> It's gotten pretty long. You still cutting it by yourself? Yeah. I'm not really looking for criticism from a pro. I just do whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's not half bad. Everything's more or less where it should be. Yeah. <laughs> I love these two. For real. Oh my god, Kojaku complimented me. I could just die. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just imitating your fans. Man. Kojaku laughs. I have a good reason for not getting my hair cut. I don't know why, but I was born with feeling in my hair. That means cutting it is seriously painful. Once it gets past my shoulders, the sensation is dull enough that I can just cut the ends. People teased me relentlessly when I was little, saying I look like a girl because of my long hair. Even a light touch sends chills up my spine, so when they thought it would be funny to pull my hair, needless to say, it was hell. He has feeling in his hair? That's a whole new kind of stimulation just waiting to happen. <laughs> you could just tell that's going to happen down one of these routes. Is somebody's got to like grab his hair all in one hand and just like pull on it while he. Mm, yeah. Fair enough. When bullies tormented me, it was always Kojaku who came to the rescue. Uh, actually, Kojaku thought I was a girl at first too. He was pretty surprised when he found out he was wrong, but his attitude towards me didn't really change. I have to admit. That made me happy. You know, you're lucky to have such beautiful hair. You better take care of it. 
いつも思うけどさお前よくそういうこと平気で言えるよなそういうとこはほんと昔から変わんねえな I've always wondered how you can say stuff like that That's one thing that definitely hasn't changed since we were kids so... 本当に思ってるから言ってるだけだお前だって昔は俺が褒めると歯に噛みながら喜んでくれたんだけどな I only say it because I mean it As I always knew it made you happy Even though you tried to hide it Ojaku affects a far off dreaming look And I give him the most annoyed glare I can master When I was a kid I don't really remember A dull pain shoots down my shoulders As I gently tie it dry off the tips of my hair Ow This pain Is it still from Rhyme? What's the matter? Yeah Just Nah, it's nothing Just not そういやさっきもぐったりしてたよな。It doesn't look like nothing. You were out of it earlier too. なあ。ああ、おや。なんだよ。ずいぶんもったいぶるな。What's with you? You've been weird all night. そんなんじゃねえけど。No, I haven't. Should I tell Kojaku about Rhyme? Um. I'm gonna save real quick. <laughs> I feel like telling him is going to put me further down his route. And he seems like a good bro. But so far, Kojaku is not my style. <laughs> These bitches gay, good for them. Yeah, they are incredibly domestic. The fact that Kojaku is just like, oh, I thought he was a girl when he was a kid. And, you know, nothing really changed from then. I still think he's beautiful. Kojaku can be pretty perceptive. And he already realizes something's going on. If I try to lie now, he's not going to buy it. Yeah. Kyo sa. Oh, no, I don't even get a choice. So, no. Nanzu no. Rhyme ni maki komare ta tsu ka. Well, something weird happened today. Like, um. I guess I got forced into a rhyme match or something. Rhyme ni maki komare ta? Forced into a rhyme match? So, rega iki nari desa. Hai tats chu datta nage do. It just happened out of nowhere, you know. One minute I'm on my way to make a delivery, and the next I'm standing on a rhyme field. Are you sure this wasn't a dream? It wasn't a dream. So you're telling me. Wait, is that even possible? That's what I'd like to know. It happened near your territory, in one of those alleys. I've never heard of anything like that. That wasn't the only weird part. Usui wasn't there. That's right. Now that is weird. That thing's supposed to be in charge of Rhyme, right? It brings the screen and ring and stuff. What? What? How did I? So did Right? Also, I tell Kojaku about the rabbit head guy, including the fact that he knew my name. As he listens, Kojaku's frown grows. He lets out a groan when I finished. So it's all my. It sounds like you got ganked. Sujigiri? Ganked? I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Oh, so they've changed the meaning of the word. Okay. I've only heard about it from the guys in my gang, but apparently there are guys who can force you to fight. So it's not a rhyme, it's not a rule, it's not a rule, it's not a rule. There's no Usui, no rules or limits. I hear some guys have ended up in the hospital. So that's what happened to me? I got ganked or whatever? What does ganked normally mean? Uh, ganked used to be like online speech for just, yeah, yeah, getting attacked by a bunch of people. Like if you were running around in an MMO with PvP and suddenly you get attacked by like a whole group of eight that destroy you. Ah, uh, that's when you, you're like, oh god, I got ganked! 
It's possible. Still, I don't like it. Like what? You got away this time. But what if it happens again? That shit can mess you up, right? <laughs> also, for like the 15th person who is asked, is this game really safe to stream? I would not be streaming it if it was not. <laughs> What I don't get is, I don't even play Rhyme. Did he confuse me with someone else? You could have been just a random target. Or maybe, someone just hates your guts. Yeah, right. I'm not you. Ouch. But you said he knew your name, right? Well, yeah. Kojaku? Kojaku? Kojaku feels silent, a troubled expression on his face. A few moments later, he sighs. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm actually going to head home. I forgot there's something that I need to do. Oh, so Huh? Oh, sure. Kojaku pushes off the handrail. Whoa, you're getting a bit close there, buddy. <laughs> you sure you're okay? No. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. But if something happens, you'd better tell me. I know. Yes. Good. Aww. There's a cute smile. At least she's being very protective. At the same time. People need to stop asking me if I'm okay. I'm a big boy. I'm 23 years old. I go pee pee standing up. I don't need people to be holding my pants for me. Kojaku flashes me a knowing smile and places Ren in my hands. And then he collects Benny from Ren's head and tucks him into his kimono. <laughs> well then, good night. No. Night. Ojaku waves farewell and heads out. I go back inside and shut the door to the balcony behind me. After I set Ren on the bed, I lie down next to him. Rhyme. Rhyme. Huh? Was I really ganked? When we were on the rhyme field, Ren appeared in online mode and responded to my commands. Set. Set. Something. What was it? <laughs> no good night kiss. <laughs> Chat! <laughs> He's a childhood friend. We haven't made the moves yet. Give us time. Give us time. Everyone will be trying to kiss us. <laughs> when it happened, my mouth just started moving on its own. Almost like I was possessed. What the hell was that? See? The kiss is coming. Just let him give time to let his mouth do his thing. And why did it feel... Familiar. It felt kind of like it does when I'm turning on the charm with customers on the phone. Like when I know just the right words to say to win someone over. Anyway, I wonder how often gankings happen. Maybe I should look into that. Not that I really want to dig in too deep. A message. The latest Allmate models, huh? Spam. New models are coming out all the time. I skim the message, then close my coil. I've always been the type to develop sentimental attachments to things I use, but I guess most people in the world aren't like that. Whatever. Ren's all I need. Oh, that's right. I need to give Ren a checkup. <laughs> Yo, all that entire time hugging out with Korjaku, and suddenly he's like, Oh yeah, my actual best friend, who lost some of his memories and took a bunch of damage from me. I should check if he's alive. I sat up in bed and tapped the furry blue lump in my lap. Alba. Alba. Ohayo. Good morning. Ohayo. Good morning. I'm going to take a look at you now. Ren is an older model, so fixing any serious malfunctions would be a real pain in the ass. I have to make sure I keep a close eye on him and perform regular maintenance. 
I pick up a long cable connected to my desktop PC and plug it into the port beneath the fur on Ren's neck. Oh, cute. This game has, like, most games wouldn't go to this level. Like, having these little pop-ups and everything. The UI is so good. They really worked their butts off on this one. Ren's old. Ren's super old, it seems like. But we love him anyway. Dog. Male. Rough. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, area and place name. Noise canceler. Medium. Biosensor low. Sensor interval medium. Radar provided. Online interval. D meme? Pachi pachi. <laughs> Tendency kofuku. Good to know he's rough at least. Arm type, single human. Structure, five slash human. Okay. So yeah, we have the ability to turn him into a human. Special option, transform. Puni puni. Arm R. Oh, so that's arm L. So that's the fact that it can turn into a cannon. Interesting. So can the right turn into something? Restart down, log out, lock. I open my coil and run a system diagnostic. Hmm? Hmm. Looks like your reaction speed might be a little slow. What's he working on? I pick up the toolbox sitting on the floor. Potting Ren's fur again, I use a screwdriver to open a small square hatch on the back of his neck. With most all mates, you can do all the maintenance you need from in your from your coil. But Ren is such an old model that I have to fiddle with his insides directly. <laughs> Freezing! <laughs> Using tweezers, I pull some new chips from the toolbox. Swap them out with the ones in Ren's neck. That should do it. I shut the maintenance hatch, close the control panel, and unplug the cable, then pick Ren up. Aww. Look how cute it is. He's such a little baby puppy. How's that? Anything feel weird? Hmm? Hmm? Something does feel a little strange. However, it is in within acceptable parameters. God damn it, Alba, you clueless idiot. The thing that feels strange is my feelings for you. Turn me back into a human, Alba. I shall show you. Okay, well, I did just change some chips. Let me know right away if anything goes wrong. Understood. Oh. I stroke Ren's back and nuzzle my forehead against his. I always do this after performing maintenance on Ren. I don't remember when I started, but it's become kind of a ritual, like knocking on wood. Thanks for everything, eh? Yeah? It's my pleasure, Alba. I'm counting on you, buddy. It's my pleasure, Alba. <laughs> you always say that. Is there something that's strange about that? Nah, not at all. It's just like you. I wonder if I should thank you for that remark. You should. It was a compliment. In which case, thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I nuzzle Ren's forehead with mine again and set him down on the bed. Ren never changes. No matter what, we'll always be together. After that, I take my time putting away my tools, chatting with Ren all the while. Oh, that's so cute! Is there a Ren line? I somehow doubt it. I think he only goes human into virtual oh, world. Yeah, well, but Ren's kind of fucking amazing, man. <laughs> Ren's a... Aww. I want a friend's own Kojaku would have a Ren route instead. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. The next day, I go to work like usual. Mr. Haga is doing inventory when I get in. First thing I do after I put my bag behind the counter and set Ren down is go over to Mr. Haga. I have to apologize for what happened yesterday. Tencho. Boss? Hi. Yes? 
I'm sorry about the delivery yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. So no cut on more. Eh? Oh, don't worry about it. That's already been. His expression darkened, scaring me a bit. Maybe the customer yelled at him after I lost the package. If that's what happened, it's all on me. I know. I'm really sorry. I'd like to apologize to the customer too, if I can. About that. Mr. Hager adjusts his glasses, a worried look on his face. The music got a little more dark and uncomfortable too, ruh <laughs> The customer already paid for that item, so I needed to ask whether they wanted a refund or a replacement, but I uh, couldn't get a hold of them. Control center I even tried contacting the control center, but nothing at all. Dame? Nothing? Yes, nothing worked. Since the billing and shipping addresses were the same, I checked the address first, but the person there had a different name. So yeah, they were just guiding me somewhere quiet where they could ambush me, gank me. And no recollection of ordering anything from us. So, it was a prank? There's a good chance that it was. I don't understand why anyone would do that, though. He's right. If it was a prank, what would the prankster even get out of it? They already paid for the item. They'd just be out of money. Uh, I don't think we really need to do anything else at this point. But something doesn't feel right. So Yeah. I was dragged into that rhyme battle during that delivery. Could they be related? An air of unease hangs over us. But there's no more time to look for answers. Oh my! We should open up! Mr. Hager hurries out of the shop. I don't like leaving it like this, but Mr. Hager's investigation turned up nothing, and I have no further clues. I guess I'd better get to work! Resolved to forget about it, I take my place behind the counter. Mr. Hager didn't set us up, surely. <laughs> Surely Mr. Haga wasn't Bunny Man. Nah. But he might have sent us to Bunny Man. Why is Mr. Haga sus to me? Yeah, it felt like he was trying to avoid the conversation there as well. Oh, Shigoto, Shigoto, the whole like. Yeah, I tried to look into it. <laughs> We've already seen him flip from like casual to like real aggressive, so. Who knows? I'm gonna trust him for now. He seems like a nice Oji san. The morning passes uneventfully. After breaking for lunch, I start my afternoon shift. Mr. Hager's out, leaving me alone in the shop. Hi. Hi. Deva, mata no gori o matchi shite orimasu. Yes. Yes. Well, we look forward to hearing from you again. I take a breather after getting off the phone with a customer. The usual voice trick worked on this guy, so I managed to sell him all sorts of crap. It was a little annoying, though. He'd called before and really hadn't wanted to hang up. Still shaking off my disgust when the doorbell wings. Bro, you don't get to be disgusted. <laughs> You're the one making money off of this. Just accept this. This is a talent. This is a skill. Don't be disgusted by it. Just lavish in it. A customer? I stop leaning on the counter and stand up straight. It's the straightest thing I've ever done in my life. Ah, fuck. It's not a customer. Okay. Hi, Alva. Alva, we came to play. <laughs> oh, it's you guys. 
It's just the evil trio. I let out an exaggerated sigh and go back to leaning on the counter. Nothing good ever comes from them showing up. I don't need trouble. Get out of here. Alma's so annoying. Annoying. You just shut your stupid mouth, okay, Alba? God, <laughs> why does he let them get away with this? Where are their parents? <laughs> Three little mice, they are adorable, though. But man, their parents really need to teach them some manners. <laughs> Kusogaki, all oh, fuck it over. Kono Kusogaki. They immediately find Junker and start chasing him around. There it is. Wait, wait. wait up, wake up. Catch it. <laughs> Junker flees as fast as he can. He's clever for an all mate and surprisingly agile too. But it's not exactly easy to catch. But that only makes the brats more determined. Kora, 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 kora. Omaira, hashiru na. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> God damn it. No running! I'm gonna get you! Wait! Catch it already! Come on! Cleaning! Cleaning! Hold on. That shelf is wobbling. And that cardboard box sure looks like it's about to fall. Are we gonna play a game of fucking... What's that game called? Mouse trap? Mouse trap! With the children? Are they gonna go in the box? That'd be pretty perfect. We can send it to some other island and then we'll never have to deal with the children again. <laughs> Just put some, put some breathing holes in it. It'll be fine. I probably should get up and stop it. But the thought is a moment too late. Ah! Ah! No way! Something broke! It broke? And whose fault is that? You brats! Ah! Alva's mad! Mad! I hate quick tempered men. I hate snot nosed brats. Get out of my store! Shut up. You. Hey, you two! I grab the three of them by their collars and toss them out of the shop. Meanie, you're mean! Oh, just shut up already. Or I'll show you how mean a grown-up can get. I put my hands on my hips, doing my best impression of an intimidating teacher. around. Why don't you think about what you've done and get your butts home? Ah, you're so annoying. Shut up, stupid. Stupid Alva! You're so lame, you old geezer! Oh. Yeah, they're actually hurting him a little bit. Doesn't matter how silly the insults are, they can still get under your skin. <laughs> Why, you little? Just get out of here! <laughs> the brats take off running. Damn it. That was pretty immature even for me. Those brats just really get to me, you know? I guess I'd better clean up the mess they left. Sheesh. Hmm? Thought I heard something just now. Whoa! Whoa! That, that's somebody on the ground with white hair. Her face is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. So, something fell out of the sky. What up, buddy? <laughs> it looks like a man. Although, it could be a mannequin. But, 
A man from the sky? He's lying face down on the pavement. He's not... dead, is he? <coughs> oh, he sounds so adorable. <laughs> the man gets up, groaning. Yeah, he's alive. My fleeting, my relief is fleeting, though. When the man looks up, I freeze. He doesn't have a face. No way, that's a gas mask. <laughs> oh, my come on, dude. He doesn't have a face. Oh, no, wait, he's just wearing a mask. How dumb of me. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. The man looks around, ruffling his hair. He seems fine, but it sounded like he hit the ground pretty hard. Why is he wearing a gas mask? Okay, chat. <laughs> For the love of God. When we say no spoilers, that includes names of people who have just showed up that I have no idea who they are. That might give me fake names. Chill. <laughs> he turns to look at me. <laughs> I blink and hold my breath, hoping he'll ignore me and go away. No such luck. He walks right up to me. Master, I'm sorry, I'm your master now. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with that, but explain. <laughs> master, I'm so glad you're all right. <laughs> uh huh? M master? I followed the sound of your voice, Master. Well, what the hell is he talking about? Is something wrong? いや、あの、多分人違いだと思うんですけど。Um, I think you've got me confused for someone else. 人違い? Someone else? 俺、マスターとかいう人じゃないし。I don't know who this master person is, but it's not me. いえ、マスターはマスターですよ。No, you are my master, master. だから違いますって。like I said, you've got it wrong. I've never even seen you before. Kriya! Okay, but it's actually pronounced clear too. That's not true. I'm clear. I carried you back here yesterday. Wait, you're the one who carried me? I thought Mr. Haga carried me back. Oh shit. Kriya! Kriya! Kino Hakonda? You carried me here? Yesterday. Come to think of it, I woke up here after getting sucked into that rhyme battle. Wait, are you the one who pulled me into rhyme? I couldn't see the rabbit guy's face, and I think he had a similar outfit. No, that wasn't me. But I thought you were my master, master, so I carried you here. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> That's an interesting way to live your life. You just decided I was your master? Why didn't you stay with me until you woke up? What the f- <laughs> We're going in circles. There was something very uncomfortable about the way this man just twisted towards me. With the gas mask still on. For the love of God, take it off. It's a nice outfit otherwise, though. 180 cm. Yeah, with his voice, you would think this dude would be like 160. Tiny, small boy. Yeah, he's pretty damn tall. I heard your voice yesterday, Master. Death and destruction. Eh? What? That sounds kind of familiar. Where did you hear that? Gah! Oh, he's becoming wide boy, too. <laughs> oh, suddenly he pinches my cheeks. <laughs> Wait, I can do that. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Master,なんだか昨日とは違いますね。どこが違うかというと説明が難しいのですが。Master, you seem kind of different today. Looser, maybe. It's hard to describe. Did you get ganked? Because, yeah, when you get ganked, you, you end up kind of loose for a while after. 
Um, have you been treating it with ointment, Master? I can understand. Uh, the guy in the gas mask shakes his head with a sigh. What is with this guy? Larry <laughs> oh. Hi. Okay. Damn, that hurt. What is wrong with this guy? He cocks his head to the side, puzzled as I rub my cheeks with tears in my eyes. Just to confirm, you are my master, right? I told you, I'm not. I think you are. <laughs> well, then why even ask me, my dude? You just asked me to confirm. I told you no. Bruh. I take some deep breaths, trying to cool my head. Calm down. He's just trying to get you wild up. I decide to turn the tables. He's playing dumb, but maybe he'll show his true colors if I piss him off enough. If he was the rabbit head guy from yesterday, I have every intention of delivering some payback. Oi! Hey! I launch a kick at his ass. Ah. Yeah, that's a pretty nice ass right there. He arches backwards, clenching his butt. So master. <laughs> the teardrop out of the mask is so cute. What the fuck? Oh, master. Please don't do that. Huh? Huh? Oh, down he goes. He sinks to his knees, wailing. <laughs> no! No! Don't put it that way! Please, Master. It's already cracked. I can't take any more. <laughs> Not the bussy. Yeah, no way he's the same guy. I should get this over with and send him on his way. Anyway, I'm not your master and I have work to do. Bye. What about me? Go home! Understood. He nods obediently and starts digging around in his pockets. Slowly, slowly he pulls out a vinyl umbrella. What the hell did that fit in there? <laughs> These are the choices I have. Are you a magician, bruh? Why the umbrella? I mean, is he going to marry Poppins? He did fall from the sky. Maybe he flies on the umbrella. Let's go with that one. I need to know. What's with the umbrella? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you're holding an umbrella. Oh, yes. What about it? It's not raining. Why did you take it out? Yes, that's what an umbrella is for, Claire. <laughs> Rain? Oh, that's right. When it rains, water falls from the sky. And if you have an umbrella, you won't get wet. I think I'll try that next time. Thank you very much. Well, goodbye. <laughs> okay i mean i should have asked why the gas mask i should have asked why the lab coat i could have asked so many questions i don't think i would have gotten any answers there is nothing clear about clear um he's a fun kid <laughs> he opens the umbrella spins around and walks away what the hell i watch him go shaking my head I'll just go back inside. Feels like I had an encounter with a mischievous spirit or something. I was going to say, he's a cryptid. He's 100% encrypted. <laughs> Let's pretend that never happened. When I get back inside, I find Junker all shaken up. Cleaning. Cleaning. Right, I completely forgot. Those brats made a complete mess of the shop. Ah. Oh, man. 
First the kids, then some weird guy in a gas mask. Today is just one of those days. Fighting off a wave of exhaustion, I start cleaning up. Shouldn't that really be his job, though? I mean, he's the cleaning robot. <laughs> Junker Root? No. No, I'm not that far gone. <laughs> he's not an attractive enough robot. That evening, after I finished work, I head to Mizuki's with a passage. Passage? Package. we just gotten an order from Mizuki's shop, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to stop by. Mizuki's shop, the Black Needle, is just north of Humdrum Junk. It started as just a tattoo parlor. But after he turned the waiting room into a bar, it became something of a social spot, too. Oh god, getting drunk and getting tattoos is not a good combination, my man. <laughs> tattoos are pretty popular in the city, both as fashion statements and to indicate rib affiliation. So Mizuki's shop does pretty well. Of course, Mizuki is one of the artists, so he'd ink me if I asked. I have no interest in that stuff, though. Of course he has the ability to brand me whenever he feels like... It wouldn't be this kind of game without it. <laughs> the sun is starting to set by the time I approach the Black Needle. This is dry juice territory. Gang members dot the area. I've gotten to know some of them through Mizuki, so I usually don't have any trouble passing through. Ah, Aoba-san! Ah, Aoba-san! Oh, it's been a while. Hey, been a while. Mizuki-san, are you here? Are you here for Mizuki? I just delivering his order. Mizuki-san. Ah, Mizuki's at the base now. Got it. Thanks. Wait. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. There's got to be tattoo play. Got to be. Got to be. Yeah, this is got to be the Omega tattoo. Got to be the ownership tattoos. <laughs> it's not far. The dry juice base is huge, encompassing several alleys. It's expanded over time as their membership has grown. The members are scattered through the various alleys, but Mizuki can always be found in the same spot. I like him. He wears his pants too high, though. <laughs> he needs slightly looser pants. It looks weird. Succubus tattoo? Tramp stamp would work, but yeah, one right above the crotch could work too. <laughs> He's standing in front of a staircase covered with a large dry juice, juice, uh, uh, dry juice tag. Talking to some of his members. He waves me over when he sees me. My daddy! Heybon Takubin des! I'm drunk junk, home delivery! Thank you for your business! Oh, Tanon do itska! Thank you! Oh, is that the stuff I ordered? Thanks! Why did I turn Irish? No, fuck you, voice. I hand him the package and send the receipt with my coil. Once Mizuki confirms it, the delivery is complete. Thank you for doing this. I know I can depend on you guys for rare parts. I can't even do his voice. His voice is such an interesting sound to it. Like, it's... I feel like there's a flexion there as well. Like, maybe he has an accent from a different part of Japan than I'm used to. Because, yeah, his voice is very unique. I cannot hit that whatsoever. I'll let Mr. Hagen know you said that. You headed home after this? Yeah. Nothing like the end of a hard day's work, huh? I'm about to head back to the shop. Grab a drink with me, we are. If you're buying... I follow Mizuki out of the alley. Gang members greet him as we walk by. A few even bow formally, to which Mizuki smiles awkwardly in response. No, we're not making him Irish. <laughs> I refuse. Ooh, nice spot, actually. Let's go. Hmm. Tattoos don't look great, but that's just, I would imagine, because... Can't pro okay, yeah, no, fair enough. That's sick. That looks like something out of Final Fantasy. Yeah, no, some of these are sick. They like their tribal styles. Okay. And the bar right next to it. Very small bar, though. I expected a bigger bar. <laughs> the Black Needle is tucked away in a black building, with only a little sign identifying it. Stepping through the door, I'm immediately greeted by upbeat music. The waiting room, which also doubles as a bar, is much bigger than you'd think from the outside. In the dim light, I see a few people lounging on couches, 
reading magazines or chatting quietly. To the left is the front desk, and to the right is the bar. The door in the back leads to the tattoo studio. While I check out the shop, Mizuki starts talking to the part-timer at the front desk. Pretty slow today, huh? I ask casually after Mizuki's finished. His expression darkens. Yeah, it is. What's wrong? Nah, it's just... I told you about it yesterday, didn't I? The disappearances. Oh. Yeah? I think that's why business has been so slow. What, like everyone's scared to go outside? I don't think it's that bad, but the way customer flow has dropped off, it sure feels that way. Yeah, I get what you mean. The 69 hot, I noticed that. It does kind of look like a hot. It looks like it's made up of little baby lizards, too. <laughs> I might be wrong about that, but it's cute, whatever it is. <laughs> I got some more info since then, but I've got no idea what's true at this point. Mizuki beckons to me. His expression grave, I leave in, lean in. People say it really is morphine abducting gangs. No way. I mean, morphines. Someone's claiming they saw him. That's just some idiot trying to get attention. You don't actually believe it, do you? Like I said, I don't know if it's true or not. That's just what I heard. Anyway. What I'm getting at is, now all the rib gangs are getting squirrely because they're scared of getting ambushed, but hey, whatever. Mizuki flashes a defiant smirk. It's got nothing to do with us. Even if it is morphine, not like they're a match for us anyway. Right? I return his smile, but something about this doesn't sit right with me. I think Mizuki's been a little too into rib lately. I hope he doesn't run himself ragged. Why don't we get a drink? Let's head over to the bar. I start toward the bar, but before I get there, a tattoo design displayed on the front desk catches my eye. That one? A fishy fish? It's framed, like it's important. Was this always here? Ah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that? I got it from another tattoo artist I really admire. Cool, right? He's famous, he doesn't have his own shop. Only inks people he knows. Kinda sounds like a tattoo version of the hairdresser we know. <laughs> so everyone else he just turns away? So, so. Exactly. He dropped by a little while back. That's when he gave this to me. He has that aura about him. You can tell that he's special. He seems genuinely happy. I guess he really likes the guy. I'd like to meet him once. If he's amazing as you say. I thought you didn't want a tattoo. Mm. I don't. Ja, dame da. Then the answer is no. Eh? Ah, man. If you insist, it'll be a million yen. A million? What a ripoff. <laughs> Damn. I guess he really does care about the guy. He doesn't want to share. <laughs> My coil beeps while we were laughing. Mm hmm? Hmm? It's a call from Delivery Works. Mush -mush Hello? Oh, that's the end of the sentence. Oh, thank goodness you answered. 
Oh, but dear, is that you? Hi. Yes? I can see that. <laughs> it's me, me, Yoshie. What's the matter? Oh my, it's serious. Very serious. Please don't panic, okay? I swear to God, if she says something about her drama, I'm going to be pissed. They didn't choose my Claude or whatever his name was. Oh no, they went for another man. Alba, please, you, you have to help me. Hi. Uh, okay. <gasps> it's Tae, she... What? Granny? Oh, hell no. How about you get to that before you do that whole full three sentences of, Oh, it's terrible. Alba, it's me. Do you know it's me? God damn it. After I get off the phone, I explain what happened to Mizuki and dash over to delivery works. According to Miss Yoshie, Granny collapsed on her way to a patient's house to deliver some medicine. She was near the delivery works when it happened, so they brought her there. I run as fast as my legs will carry me. My heart is pounding and I'm out of breath. Adrenaline makes my toes and fingers tingle. Granny's collapsed from overwork before. Back then it was my fault because I made her worry. I remember how I trembled with fear at the thought of losing her. I never want to feel like that again. <laughs> Damn, that's some serious panting. I have to get there faster. Granny! She's perfectly fine. <laughs> She's granny. <laughs> You're all making a big deal out of nothing. That's the first thing out of her mouth when I burst through the door of the delivery works. Granny seemed back in a chair. When I see that she's all right, my legs almost give out beneath me. It turns out that Granny just threw out her back. That's why she collapsed. It wasn't a stroke or anything. The way Miss Yoshie described it, it sounded like something far more serious. She apologizes profusely after I arrive. <sighs> to be honest, it does feel a bit anticlimactic, but I'm just glad that she's all right. Screw auntie. <laughs> auntie sucks so much. You do not do that to a person. But at the same time, I'm glad granny's all right. I thought they were just going to kill her off immediately at the beginning of this game and be like, haha. There's some trauma to set you into motion. Now you need more money and stuff, and you're going to run out of drugs and stuff, but no. Good. That said, Granny can't walk yet, so I have to carry her home. <laughs> her Sundare face is so good. How much she's smiling as well. That's so cute. Really? You're all overreacting. <sighs> Granny complains from her perch atop my back. I walk slowly to avoid jostling her too much. Oh, what do you expect? We all worry about you. Myself included. I'm still plenty healthy, thank you very much. I know that, but still. Oh, Ren! Ren patters along behind us. I get a little stiff and you start acting like I'm on my deathbed. Oh, don't kick me. Anyway, let's go to the hospital tomorrow. Please. Granny's age isn't about to stop her from throwing a tantrum. The last thing I want is to drop her. Well, you know, Granny's pretty light. I've always had this image of her towering over me. Was she always this small? Plus, this is the first time I've carried her on my back like this. You used to be the one who carried me around. Hmm? Yeah. Just, you know. Reminiscing about the past. <laughs> I had to do that because you were always wandering off. I'd wander off? Oh, yes. 
Take my eye off of you for a second and you'd be gone. Really? I don't remember that. You were probably just lonely. Lonely? Why do you think that? But you only started doing it after your parents left. Damn, dude. Let's get right to the point of it, I guess. Oh. Oh. Right. I only have vague memories of my parents. I do remember how Granny used to carry me on her back. Her smell and her warmth made me feel so safe. Well, it's understandable. You were pretty little back then. Now you've gone and gotten stupidly big. <laughs> I love how it started off so sweet and then she just had to throw some like sun in there just to make it less of a, yeah, I remember when you were my baby. Now you're just a great big man. So, Rihanna. It'd be weirder if I hadn't changed. Who said you shouldn't change? Did you carry me on your back again just for old time's sake? Why not give it a shot while you've still got your health? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> they are so cute. I like how much they're building up the relationships for all of these characters before they actually get into like the serious shit. Granny. What? Karina. You sure are light. Shut your pie hole. Ouch. She slaps me upside the head hard, but it makes me happy for some reason. I smile to myself. I'm so glad Glani Granny was okay. It makes me sad to think that one day, she might not be there to smack me or yell at me anymore. I walk quietly down the darkening street, feeling her warmth against my back. That's a very real thing as well. Realizing you've gotten taller than your parents. Like, when you're a child, your parents are giant. There's no way you're ever going to get bigger than them. There's no way you're ever going to be smarter than them. There's no way you're ever going to be stronger than them. But then, yeah, you get to that point where, especially if you're a boy, you've grown way bigger than your mother normally. You grow bigger than your father. And you realize they're not as indestructible as you think they are. They don't know everything. They can't do everything. And you start to realize that someday they're going to break down too. And you need to start taking care of them. It's true. Bittersweet as hell. Yeah. But yeah, I'm loving that they're building this up so well. This game's really good so far. The next morning, I carry Granny to the neighborhood hospital. I made sure to ask Mr. Haga about the day off just in case. We call it a hospital, but this is the old residential district. It's an old cramped facility, understaffed and overcrowded. The building is falling apart, and not even the kindest of descriptions would include the word sanitary. Still, everyone there is kind. They've known Granny for a long time. They told us to come right in when I called. Granny hates going to the hospital always insisting she could take care of herself. But today, she behaves and lets them examine her. Maybe she's in more pain than she lets on. Ooh, that actually looks really nice from the outside. Let's go. They tell us she's all right to recover at home, so I carry her back after the examination is over. When I put Granny to bed and sit down to take a break, she yells at me to get to work already. I want to stay and look after her, but she's not having any of it. I call Mr. Haga, who tells me I can come in now and leave early. So I give up and head for work. Damn it, Granny. <laughs> really doesn't want to worry us. Now that's real when your parents actually don't fight about being checked out. <laughs> yeah. When it's not a constant, I'm fine. It's not killing me. I don't have to go to the hospital. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> when you get to the point where they're actually like, yeah, maybe you should take me to the hospital. It's like, oh, fuck. This is really hurting them for real. I'm standing behind my desk worrying about Granny when the message arrives. It's from Kojaku. Mizuki. Mizuki? If Kojaku felt the need to message me about it, Mizuki must have really been acting strange. Kojaku. 
So, I saw Mizuki earlier. He's acting weird. I tried to talk to him, but he just stared at me. I think he might have an easier time talking to you if something's eating at him. Call him when you get a chance. We'll talk more lately. More later. Maybe Mizuki's been pushing himself too hard. I head to the bathroom to call Mizuki. It's weird that he doesn't have a picture on his profile. The backgrounds in this game are excellent. All of the artwork is. They put a lot of attention to detail. The UI and stuff. I guess part of the fact that it's cyberpunk, like it blends so well with the idea of a visual novel of things being able to pop into each other and everything. Hey, Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki. Aoba, what's up? At the sound of his voice, I feel a wash of relief. I mean, seems completely normal to me. <laughs> Nothing really. I just wanted to say hi. What's with you, man? We just saw each other yesterday. You're acting weird. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe he just felt like ignoring Kojaku. I tried to ignore Kojaku the first time I ran into him in the streets. I was like, yo, I don't want to deal with all the fangirls. So maybe. <laughs> um, well, I guess I was just wondering if you were doing okay. Of course I am. Why? I don't know. I guess maybe you seemed a little down yesterday is all. Oh, the smile. So you called because you were worried about me. Thanks. But I'm fine. Hontoni? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, we should talk more later. Sure. Later. Hmm. I wonder why he ignored Kojaku so much. <laughs> Kojaku said he'd like literally tried to speak to him and just got full on blank. So, damn, fucked up. Maybe Kojaku doesn't realize he insulted him last time. I, don't know. I head back to the counter with a sigh. Mizuki's voice didn't have its usual energy. He said he was fine, and I thought it better not to push the subject. But first, Granny collapses, and now I have this to worry about. Well, I hope my concerns are unfounded. They stay with me through the rest of the afternoon. I barely get any work done. I mean, how much work do we actually do? <laughs> it seems like we just take phone calls, occasionally serve a customer and deliver things. So imagine most of the time we're just chilling, waiting for a call to come in. <laughs> the name sounds like a snack. Yeah, it sounds like cognac. Ojak. Cognac. Arriving home from work, I pull out my key with some apprehension. I hope Granny has behaved herself. But just as I put the key in the door... Are oh, that was my house earlier today! Whoa, it looks way better in the daytime. Everything looks so much brighter and more red. Damn. Sorry. Just to do the distractions. Don't tell me. It's open? Granny would never leave it open. The door isn't locked. Did I forget to lock it again? Granny's home. What if something happened? We live in a pretty tight-knit community. But the town being what it is, burglaries aren't all that uncommon. I listen carefully as I enter the house, feeling sick to my stomach. How could I be so careless? No sign of an intruder. I take off my shoes and head straight for Granny's room. I quietly open the door and peer inside. Granny's there, asleep under her comforter. Looks like she's fine. <sighs> I heave a sigh of relief and close the door. Mm. Hmm? I pause on the stairs. Something feels off. Granny is sleeping, so the house is quiet. Nothing's out of place. Maybe it was just my imagination. While pondering this, I climb the stairs and open the door to my room. At which point, I immediately realize that it isn't my imagination at all. No! 
Who the fuck turned my room into serial experiments lane? <laughs> we gotta log into the internet? Is this this doesn't look great. What the Oh yeah, they connected everything together. I'm not exactly proud of it, but my room has never been what you'd call clean. I had books and magazines piled up on the floor. Plus all sorts of other stuff I left out because that was less annoying than cleaning up. I don't remember it being quite this bad. My room is a complete disaster. It looks like a tornado ripped through it. There isn't even anywhere to stand. All the shelves have been pulled out and the table is upside down. But that isn't even the most unsettling thing amid the mess. A man is sitting on my, in front of my computer. He's back to me. Like it's his room, not mine. This has to be clear, right? <laughs> It has to be clear, just turn around like, Oh, master, you told me to go home. <laughs> this is exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> Thief! <laughs> Where do you get breaking off into someone's room? Oh, it's not clear. What a fucked up badge you have on your head. <laughs> Smiley face with blood leaking out of it. You look like you could have been the bunny man. I like the piercings, though. Snake bites and the double on the bridge of the nose. Let's go. He looks up slowly like he only just noticed I was there. I've never seen the man before. He looks about my age. Okay. Oh, the fucking voice. And the chuny bandages over the hand? Okay, you have my interest. No, in fact, you had my interest. Now you have my erection. You're back. Huh? Who my... Who the hell are you? What are you doing in my room? This isn't a beach. I don't need a lifeguard. Look, man. He just ignores me as I stand there trembling with rage and taps the keyboard with his middle finger. Hey, don't touch my stuff. The data on this thing makes no fucking sense. How do you even manage this? And these all made mods are something else. Where do you learn to do this? What's it to you? Just get out! <laughs> oh my. What is this? Out. Oh! I don't like the hat. I like everything else. I feel like without the hat, it wouldn't be stylish enough. So I can't really turn down. Bunny faces are everywhere. This is Bunny Man. Okay. It is the rabbit. Um, Damn, he kind of fucking fine. <laughs> I like this fit. This fit's fucking sick. <laughs> Especially like, oh my god, the early 2000s style. You got the double like scar kind of shit. Chains hanging from the thing, but extra thick. Fuck, man. He rises to his feet with a snort. Are you saying you don't know who I am? Huh? Uh huh? I think that you do know. I have no idea. You got me confused with someone else. Yeah, his voice is amazing. It's surprising with his face, but I mean, he has got like the very narrow eyes, the very chiseled chin chin even he doesn't look like super buff but yeah the super like deep voice is amazing he rocks the hat that's what i mean like that hat looks stupid to me it looks like it came out of south park but at the same time he manages to pull it the fuck off he stares right at me and slowly opens his mouth thank you for coming on this felicitous occasion now well then, shall we get this party started? <laughs> yeah, this fits a way better fit than your one on the online. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? I have a really bad feeling about this. Ah, you still don't remember. He pulls something out of his pants pocket. It's a keychain with a tiny rabbit head on the end. <laughs> It's him. I guess he's satisfied with my reaction because he tosses the keychain aside and looks at me again. 
演出としては結構面白かっただろう宛先間違いの宅配便とか Pretty good to performance, right? Misdirected delivery and all. Oh my! I know talking of Tsujiki. Does it come with gangs me? Taku Hai Binte! And that delivery. Uchini had to stand on my car. That was you too? Not the South Park, how dare? I'm sorry, but I pretty much never see people actually wear hats like that. <laughs> It's a South Park fit. I'm sorry to tell you.、Like, have you seen. The teenagers who like fall in love with the South Park characters and like make them do BL stuff. This looks like a、uh, anime version of like, I don't know. Not Kenny, maybe Bud. No, Craig. Maybe Craig. One of them. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you. People have been drawing the South Park kids like anime and shipping them for like a good couple of years now. And he, he looks like one of them. Doesn't mean he's not fine as fuck, but yeah, I'm gonna ruin you guys a little bit. <laughs> I don't even think it's Craig. There's one that gets shipped with. Tweak a lot, and I forget that dude's name. <laughs> I see the vision. <laughs> He's a fine looking dude. <laughs> that was you, too. No, you know, you know, she's a better. Anta, I know, me said the hotter I did it to a cut the girl. Anta, you kitty more out of what then. Yeah, I found out where you worked, so I figured I'd bring you to me. This oh, it is Craig. Holy shit. So, you know, me said to show. See, I remember my South Park. It's been forever, but I still remember my South Park. I paid in advance, so it's no problem for the shop, right? So you won't die, Jane. That's not the problem here. Anger wells up inside me as I remember how upset Mr. Haga was. Scantosa. My mo so that tandagado. Oretor I'm at Toki. Nani stand there. By the way, he did it before, too. But what was that skill you used in our battle? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I want to know how you beat me. Beat you? Did I win that fight? I can't remember. Are you deaf? Say something. I don't remember. Huh? Huh? Ah, no, I'm not a kid. I don't remember anything about how that fight ended. I don't remember anything about how that fight ended. He scowls a bit before returning to his deadpan expression. So you need a cutter. I don't want to talk. Huh? Yeah. He suddenly grabs me by the collar and slams me into the wall. This guy's stronger than he looks. Then. I guess I'm just going to have to. Eat it out of you. Let me go! Is it true? You really don't remember? No! He stares into my eyes like he's searching for something. I want to rematch. What? I don't even play rhyme! He shoves me into the wall even harder. Do you still think you can lie your way out of this? Well then. I guess I'm just gonna have to take away something important from you. I know what's important to you. I know. Everything. He shoots a meaningful glance at the computer. I don't. I know what he means by that. Ren. He's not bluffing. I can feel the threat hanging in the air. He'll really destroy Ren's data if I don't give him what he wants. But the fact is, I don't want to fight in rhyme. And the guy is starting to piss me off. Well, let me save real quick. <laughs> I'm going to fight him. What? <laughs> you don't threaten my man's dog. Dog is best friend. Therefore, you get murdered. 
I fight back. That's enough already! I launch a knee trying to knock him away, but I'm off balanced. He, back he blocks me with one hand. He pulls my leg out from under me and I slide down the wall to the floor. Ouch! This is exactly what I was fucking hoping for. <laughs> I had no, no possible thoughts of Alba actually being able to win this match. This is exactly what I wanted. Pain shoots up my back as he climbs on top of me. Oi, hey, what do you think you're doing? Shut up already. With a blank expression, he grabs my arm and twists it. Ow! <laughs> You only need one arm for rhyme. <laughs> this guy! If you want me to stop, then you better start fighting. My elbow groans as he twists my arm backwards. I don't want to fight him in rhyme. I don't want to get Ren involved either. What should I do? There's someone on the stairs or on the... Let's go with the roof. That's more silly. <laughs> I hear a heavy thump overhead. I don't have any time to consider what it might be. Wait. I thought I was going to try to lie to him. I didn't know where... <laughs> I actually get to decide where someone's coming from. I better be Kojaku then. Ouch! I grit my teeth as sharp pain shoots up my twisted arm. Uh-huh. Oh, clear. Okay. I, I was probably a choice between Kojaku or Mizuki. Or and clear then. Clear from the roof or one of the other two from downstairs. Okay, I'm fine with clear. Please unhand my master. Another voice speaks. I turn toward it. What? You? Konnichiwa, master. Hello, master. Somehow the guy in the gas mask is there. The blonde man stands warily, putting some distance between himself and the new arrival. I rub my aching arm and get up. Where exactly did you come from? I came from the balcony. Master, is he a friend of yours? No. Huh? You mean... I look at the balcony. The sliding door is wide open. And the lock has been sheared off. What the hell did you do? Wait a minute. They both broke into my house. Claire broke into my house. I, I, I hope to save me. If nothing else, he was on top of the roof. He wasn't even just on the freaking uh, the, the whatever. Like you said he was. Oh my god. Okay, Claire. <laughs> What the hell did you do? <laughs> he did cut it open just to get in. The door is closed, so I open it. That's not what I mean. Master. Master. Damn. These two are into some kinky shit. Menage a trois? Yes. yes. Master is my master. Are you screwing with me? The intruder glares at the man in the gas mask, then at me. Hey, I have no idea what's going on either. Man, what a disaster. Anyway, please don't bully Master. I won't allow it. What a fucking joke. Don't tell me he's actually getting angry. He turns toward the man in the gas mask. I could feel the rage radiating from his back. Oh! Uh, hey! I have to stop them. Who's gonna clean up the mess? <laughs> Alba! Alba! Yo, all my men are showing up for this one. Uh, the door suddenly swings open and Kojaku bursts in. Are you okay? Kojaku? Kojaku? Why are you? I sent you a message, remember? 
And then I saw some widow in a gas mask crawling in from the balcony. So I came as fast as I could. Looks like he brought a friend too. Kotaku glares at the two of them. As far as I'm concerned, you're both getting in my way. So you're not his friend? As if. Our relationship could not be classified as friendly. <laughs> I fucking love them. <laughs> Yo, Pio chan What is up, Scythe Kicks? Welcome to the stream. We're just playing Dramatical Murder. Uh, we're going the way through the demo. We're trying to finish the demo today. Clearly, the D stands for Dramatical. Don't murder me, though. <laughs> Thank you. No, we won't murder you. I might get murdered as Alba right now. This is a lot of man to handle. Um, four men, all for some reason trying to have their way with me. This has been a strange time. <laughs> but I look so into it. It's actually been fantastic. I have never touched this game before. I had no idea any of the things that went into it. Like, I showed up here. I was expecting some day-to-day, -day, like, high school bullshit. And meanwhile, we get into here, like, a death game and shit. And I'm like, yo... This is way better than I expected. All that everybody ever talks about online that I see from like a non-fan point of view, just passing by is just like, yo, clear sex, Alba sex, everybody's sex. Did you see this image? Oh, the CG is sex. And now I'm playing the game and it's like, oh, it actually has a really good fucking plot line too. <laughs> Especially the relationship between Alba and Granny. It's a triple pun, Fuchan. A triple, wait. Really the D stands for dramatical don't murder me though. Chan looks so into I don't get it. Where's the triple pun? I only see the double pun. Damn it. No one talks about the plot. I'm sure they do. It's just like, yeah, I've managed to avoid spoilers, so it's been pretty good. I'm sure they do on like sites other than just throwing images up on Twitter and Tumblr. <laughs> but yeah, the storyline has completely surprised me. Um, if you want to go into this blind, because yeah, I'd imagine I'd imagine Pio Chan's gonna play this eventually. His name is Clea. The triple pun for Chan, a trip Oh, the name? Clear, 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 because of clear. clear clearly, oh. Good chan. Go oh, into clearly, oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, 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 I didn't even think about that. God damn it. <laughs> My brain. But yeah, I think there are going to be a couple of people that are going to be playing this afterwards because we're now all allowed to play the demo. Um, so if you want to go into it blind in the future, I completely understand. Uh, you can feel free to leave, but we are, we're going to continue this and see how far we get where the demo actually ends. But this is fun. Yeah, the story, pretty damn surprising. I'll believe I didn't catch the fucking pun. <laughs> but thank you for the raid, Fio-chan. Welcome, Scythe Kicks. I hope you have a wonderful evening. We're going to keep going through this. Too many men on his mind? Yeah. Kind of mind broken by all the men. God. We haven't even gotten the bunny man's vo name yet, but he's fucking sexy. His voice is incredible. Anyway, you two better beat it right now before I throw you out. Yeah. How are you gonna do that? How do you think? I'd like to see you try. He sneers. Oh shit. He's just immediately trying to dick shame him. <laughs> Big weapon you got there. Overcompensating. Oh, I hit him hard. He's not gonna take such obvious bait, right? I mean, well, there's no way, right? My heart pounds as Kojaku cracks his knuckles. Oh. Oh, shit. So no you have a smart mouth. Why don't I shut it for you? With a ki- I mean permanently! Oi, hey, wait a minute! Kojaku makes a grab for the blonde guy's collar. <laughs> he nimbly dodges Kojaku's attack, drops his hips, and throws a punch. Kojaku shifts just before the man's fist can make contact with his cheek, dodging the blow by a hair. Wait, why am I just watching? Yeah, I said cut it out! This is my room! They sure are strong, aren't they? That's the problem! 
I don't know about the blonde guy, but Kozaku's normally got patience in spades. When something does set him off, though, there's no stopping him. Magazines and trash and knickknacks are flying, or are crushed underfoot as they scuffle. Ah! I don't care about the other stuff. Just please stay away from my computer! <laughs> For fuck's sake! Well, you too! That's when I hear someone storming up the stairs. Oh, Granny's gonna beat their ass. She's got the chunkla. You just know. <laughs> there are four men fighting on fighting over her grandson right now, and she's just like, It's too damn noisy out here! Quiet down! <laughs> The door bursts open and Granny's roar thunders through the room. All four of us stop at our tracks, cowering as we turn to the door. Oh my, Tachi! You little whippersnappers! As she takes in the carnage, her eyes blaze with anger and a thick vein throbs on her forehead. All of you downstairs pronto! <laughs> the sound effect. <laughs> the deflating balloon <laughs> pin whistle. Oh, this is great. Even this dude, whose name we still don't know, who came here and was about to torture us, did the whole like, No, oh, I know what's important to you, and I can take it away from you, has been put in his place by the power of Granny. <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> oh, no, I got my ass beat. A few minutes later, we're sitting quietly at the dining room table. My head throbs where Granny hit me. Of course, I'm not the only one with fresh lumps. <laughs> I freaking love this game. She gave us all a taste of knuckle pudding, saying we were all equally at fault. I was a bit scared that the blonde guy was going to hit back, but he just stood there and pouted. Why? Because she's a frail old woman? Though frail might not be the best word to describe her. When Granny asked how all this happened, I confess that I left the front door unlocked again. That earned me another lump. I'm never forgetting to lock the front door again. <laughs> Granny should be out there running the streets. Everybody's talking about how strong these different ribs are. Nah, nah, nah. Granny is the strongest of all. <laughs> also, somebody asked me a while ago who's my favorite so far. Um, Blondie the sexiest so far. Blondie the sexiest so far just because he tried to torture Alba. Just because he like pinned him against a wall, lifted his leg up, started torturing him a little bit. That was fun. Um, other than that, fucked as it is, the puppy. <laughs> the fucking Ren in human form is second. If Clear ever takes off his mask, maybe we'll get a view and be able to see something. The other two, yeah, they're cool. They're, they're all right. Yeah, all right. What about Microphone Man? Microphone Man was amazing. He would be number one, but I can tell he's not an actual root. I don't know if the other ones are roots. I, we'll see. A white hair for Chan. I can't see his face. I said this during my Monster Fricker stream. They need mouths. I I like Mao. <laughs> this is, anyway. Oh, yeah, this is clear. I think I'd have the honor of sharing your punishment. <laughs> He's just happy to be punished along with us. Okay, buddy. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the guy in the gas mask said his name was Clear. He's just as fishy as the blonde guy. Alba, Alba come here. Hey, hey. I'm coming. I stand, rubbing the lump on my head and head into the kitchen. Danny's holding a basket full of freshly fried donuts. I thought I smelled something sweet. She knocked us all on the heads and then she went to the kitchen to fry us some fresh donuts. I freaking love her. She's like, two people broke into my house. One of them tried to torture my grandson. It's okay. This could be solved with donuts. <laughs> Bring these to the table. Everyone's fine with tea, right? Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, Granny. What? Should you be up already? How's your back? I'm on my feet, aren't I? Stop asking stupid questions and get your butt in gear. I set the basket of donuts on the table and pour cups of tea for everyone and return to my seat. Granny joins us shortly thereafter. 
I, okay. Toto, toto, kuchimaina. That's a good line. I thought she was going to sit down and be like, okay, so which of you young whippersnappers is trying to court my grandson? Step forward now. Don't be letting a granny wait. It's hard to stay angry on a full stomach. So eat up. I thought I smelled something delicious. You know how much I love your donuts, Miss Tai. And that's not a euphemism this time. Just hurry up and eat. Oh, look at the faces. Oh, even Benny's getting in. Wait, they can eat? I didn't think the robots would be able to eat. That's kind of adorable, though. Those aren't donuts. They might be donut balls, but they are definitely not donuts. Kozak can go straight for the basket. This has the same energy as that Pokemon, like, four kids dub scene where they're holding up rice balls and they're just like, Hey, I love jelly donuts. No, wait, I love donuts. Jelly filled are my favorite. <laughs> they're obviously jelly filled. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It might actually be straight up fried chicken. She may have made karaage for us. The blonde guy and Clear, on the other hand, just stare at the donuts in confusion. Because they don't think they're donuts. Eat them or don't. Make up your minds. Clear can't eat without taking off his mask. And the blonde guy doesn't seem interested. Oh, then again. <laughs> or so I thought. Surprisingly, despite his grumpy expression... The intruder reaches for a donut. Oh my. It's sweet. Fuck. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I love him. I'm going down his route. He's number one. <laughs> he went from being so aggressive and psychotic to just being like, mm, I love sweet things. Delicious. <laughs> of course it is. What other kind of donut is there? <laughs> but still, it's sweet. If you don't like it, don't eat it. Oh, he likes it. He's saying like it's sweet and the atmosphere is sweet. He's being poetic. Granny snorts and the man continues nibbling on his donut. I can't get a read on him at all. I turn back to clear. He's still sitting there motionless. Oh, they are. They are actually saying donuts. Donuts too. So yeah, I guess they're just fried dough. Okay. <laughs> Aren't you gonna have one? Granny's donuts are delicious. I will. Then I guess you'd better hurry. Yes, I will. Claire keeps perfectly still. I'll have to take the mosk off to eat, but will he? I watch Claire over the rim of my teacup, wondering what's gonna happen. Oh? A donut is missing from Clear's side of the basket. And it looks like his mask is moving up and down. Did he shove it through the little hole in the side? I swear to God. You. Did you just eat one? Yes, I ate it. Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> you really are a magician. He ate it with the gas mask on? How? Forget it. I grab a donut and start eating too. Granny's donuts are delicious even when cold. But when they're fresh, they've got this mellow flaky sweetness that just fills your whole mouth. Ah, I haven't had my mouth filled that big in... Well, since we were upstairs. Poor Ducky was already finished and gotten up from his seat by the time I start eating my donut. Just before he goes into the hall, he turns back and beckons to me. I point to myself. Watashi? And Kojaku nods. What's up? I leave my half-eaten donut on the table and head out into the hall. <sighs> hey man, this is the safe for work version, which means I can fill in the blanks however I want. I very much doubt there was actually a sex scene between Blondie upstairs and Alba. However, I can 100% imagine that that's what happened before we got interrupted by everyone else. That's my prerogative. And I will stay that way. Ew. Man, talk about crazy. I guess Kojaku wanted to get away from the bizarre atmosphere in there. Yeah, you can say that again. 
水木のことだ連絡取ったかそれか会いに行ったりとか Anyway, about Mizuki. Did you get a hold of him? Ah, they were stuck. Dijabuda to I did a kid, oh, yeah, buddy, just to gain king and I got the kanji. Yeah, I called him. He said he was fine, but he he sounded kind of out of it. So, I see Mizuki Nanika at the no, something happened. Yana Mizuki got him that the Omani made her stutter. I know to keep. うちのチームのやつらとドライジュースのやつらが少し揉めたんだ。Well, remember when I messaged you about Mizuki acting weird? The truth is, some of my gang had a little disagreement with some guys from Dry Juice. その場に Mizuki もいたんだけどよ。あいつ、いつもならそういう時は絶対仲裁に入るだろう。Now, Mizuki was there at the time. Normally, he'd step in to sort things out, right? なのに、なんか上の空でぼーっとしてる感じで。喧嘩も見てるだけで止めようとしねえんだ。な結局、俺が間に入ったんだけどな。This time he just stood by and watched with this dazed look on his face. I had to step in. どうも水木の様子がおかしいと思ってよ。大丈夫かって声かけたんだよ。そしたら、ほっといてくれって睨まれてよ。<笑> Thank you, Maxine Leclerc. That's brilliant. So, yeah, nothing's been changed from the safer work. I mean, the not safer work version, apparently. But yes, we can all believe in our own delusions. <laughs> It struck me as weird, so I asked him if he was okay. But he just told me to leave him the fuck alone. Mizuki? Mizuki said that? Ah, I t s rush good night, Tsuga. Nanika, oh, it's me, Tayona, Kaoshi, and then, ah. Yeah, he didn't look like himself. It was like something was really eating at him. Oba. 思い当たることねえのかあいつが最近悩んでたこととか。アルバー、you have any idea what it could be? Has he been worried about anything lately? この前、水木の店に行った時に、神隠しの話が出たんだけど。Last time I went to his shop, he mentioned disappearances. ああ。あのリブのチームが丸ごと消えるってやつか。All right, the vanishing rib gang. そのこと、結構気にしてた感じだったな。It seemed like it was really weighing on his mind. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk around town about the disappearances. I'm sorry, what the fuck, Bunny Man? Why is your bunny shouting morphine? That's not good. They're the bad guys. Indeed. I feel something against my back, and something falls to the floor. Oh no. My belt came undone and my pants fell to the floor. How could this possibly. That's one of his. It's one of those cubes the rabbit guy had on his belt. Was it tucked into the hood of my jacket this whole time? The cube hops into the living room. Asshole! <laughs> Kojaku chases after the cube. Oi, Ksoboze! Ima no Nusimi Giki Stiagatana! Honestly, good on him. Good on him. That's smart. He's a bit like Batman. A little Delulu, aren't we, Fuchan? Maybe. Maybe I'm just making the story more interesting in my own way. Technically, we're not breaking any rules if I make my own not safe for work version. It's all just audio. YouTube doesn't ban it if it's just audio. We're safe. <laughs> hey, you little shit. You were eavesdropping just now, weren't you? Not like you were talking about anything worth keeping secret. I was hoping for some smut or drama. Instead, I got some stupid disappearance cram. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, he's lucky Mizuki didn't hear that. Mizuki would be pissed. I like this disappearance shit. No one even does rib anymore. You sure it's not just a sad attempt to keep it alive a little longer? Dato. The fuck do you say? Kotaku's voice shakes with anger. Oi. I'm not going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not going to be able to get the same thing. I'm not going to be able to get the same thing. This is no joke, asshole. There really are people who haven't come back. Fuck if I care. 
If you're so scared, maybe you should quit. Motherfucker. Kotaku takes a step forward. The man shoots back an icy glare. What's your name, smartass? You first. Common courtesy, yeah. Where's a jackass like you get off talking about courtesy? Well, forget it then. It's about time you give me your name, damn it. Uh, hold on. This doesn't need to get ugly. His name is Kojaku. And yours is? Noise. Noise. Spell N O I Z. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, this game is so over the top. I freaking love it. Noise! 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 I fucking hate little smart asses like you. I don't really give a shit what you think. <laughs> I fucking love him. Why you? That's enough. Annie breaks her silence to end their sand off with a single word. If you want to fight, take it outside. I'm tired of listening to your bickering. Sorry, Mrs. Tai. <sighs> I'm too cool for this. I'm just gonna casually walk out of here then. I got my donut. Noise glances at Kojaku and stands without saying a word. Hey, where do you think you're going? Home. He marches out of the room. If you're done eating, the rest of you skedaddle too. Clear stands and bows to us. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Master. Hey, wait a sec. I follow Clear out into the hall. Yes, what is it? I don't know if there's gonna be a next time, but if there is, come in like a normal person. Normal? What is that? Can I eat it? Don't fall from the sky or come in through the balcony. Just come in through the front door, okay? Why can't I come from the sky or the balcony? You know what, Noise? Don't let anyone tell you how you come. You can come however you want to. Just, you know, consent is key. Keep that in mind. Don't hurt anyone else. Otherwise, you come however you want. It's just weird, okay? You're gonna give me a heart attack. Wait, did I say Noise? Sorry, I meant clear. <laughs> Look, I'm not used to the names yet. We've only just gotten noise. N noise is still on my mind. <laughs> Heart attack? I see. I think I understand. Clear touches his chest. Did this motherfucker just summon a heart emoji? Wait. <laughs> you mean this heart here, right? Uh, uh, ma, so, da, kido. Uh, uh, it. Yeah, I, I guess. I always learn so much when I'm with you, Master. Thank you very much. So uh, uh, Okay. Deva mata. Until next time. Oh. Sure. Claire bows again, then leaves through the front door. What's the deal with the guy in the gas mask? Hell if I know, man. I thought you knew him. <laughs> Not exactly. At least I don't think I do, but apparently I'm his master or some shit. <laughs> That's not even slightly what he said. It was more like, hey, hey, pull yourself together. After giving me a look, wait, that's his noise. <laughs> wait, after giving me a look, Kojaku awkwardly rubs the back of his neck. Sakura, what a cotana. Tsuya, it's not much. 
タイさんにもちゃんと伝えといてくれ That's okay. You got alpha challenged. I understand it. It was a dick measuring contest and you lost pretty fucking hard, dude. <laughs> Sorry about that earlier. I just kind of snapped. Tell Miss Tai I'm sorry, would you? You apologized earlier. I think it's fine. And I'm sorry for going nuts like that in your room. Don't worry. Another guy went nuts in my room right before you, so. Well, it's not like that was your fault. I haven't seen you that pissed off in ages, though. I just hate guys like that who think they're hot shit. Kojaku sighs, looking a bit deflated. You know, it just hit me. He's in a rhyme game. Rhyme? He is? Ah, Rough Rabbit, really? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Please look at the mirror. See, that's what I was thinking when he was talking about. I hate guys who are so full of themselves. I'm sitting there thinking, brah. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you have fangirls following you. Come on, dude. <laughs> this is your man's fufu? Yeah, it's, he played too much Rayman as a kid. He's still a bit of a Zuma. I'm not going to lie. When he started doing the whole, like, Zuma kind of shit of, like, Oh, you okay, old man? You're living in the past? Still think you're relevant? That, kind of, that shit kind of threw me. <sighs> yeah, they're the rough rabbits. I think I remember seeing him when we got in a fight with some of their members. He knew I was in ribs, so it's probably the same guy. Man, now I'm really pissed off. Rhyme has gangs too? I didn't know that. I think they only started forming them recently. Mostly it's to share information I hear. It just doesn't sit right for me. Only I can be in a gang, not these video game nerds. They don't get to have gangs. They don't get to have sports team. Esports isn't sports. Sports is sports. A lot of ribsties think of their gangs as family. But I guess rhyme's different. Dry, efficient. That's the impression I get out of noise. This guy is full boomer mode. I quite like it. <laughs> I mean, I should have guessed from the freaking kimono and the giant katana. But yeah, him just being like, yeah, it doesn't sit right with me. They don't even fight properly. They fight in their brains and through their computers. No! <laughs> well, enough about him. I'll do what I can to help Mizuki. You let me know the second you find anything out. Nah. Got it? Jenna. Later. Kojaku raises a hand in farewell, then walks out the front door. <sighs> I head back to my room feeling drained. So much happened today. All right. I forgot to tell Kojaku that Noise was the one who forced me into that rhyme match. Also, you didn't tell him that he broke into your house and was playing on your computer and friend and threatened Ren. Sure, okay. Probably shouldn't. That'll just give him another reason to pick a fight. Wondering how things got so messed up, I open the door and suddenly feel even more exhausted. Oh yeah, shit, now we have to... Oh, you can't even sleep in your bed comfortably. They covered your bed and shit, man. Holy shit, is my room a mess. Kusa. Damn it. Remembering Noise's cocky attitude is making me mad all over again. I decide to just pick up some things off the floor before flopping down on my bed. I'll get the rest tomorrow. Too tired today. I let out a sigh and close my eyes. Burr, 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 burr. I don't know why. I thought I'd get a phone call there. Mm -hmm. The breeze makes me open my eyes. Did I get broken into again? I swear to God. I look over and notice a gaping hole in the door to the balcony. Oh, he made a hole? I thought he... 
<laughs> I thought he just cracked it open from the handle. I didn't realize he made an entire hole to get through. <laughs> that idiot. Screw it, I don't want to get up. I'll deal with it later. But yeah, if it hasn't been mentioned in the game yet, it's a spoiler, so don't bring it up. Um, just in general. The next day, I'm so tired, I barely make it into work on time. Mr. Haga heads out right before opening, leaving me and Junker alone in the store. Business is slow, so I have plenty of time to think about what happened yesterday. Noise and clear. I still don't know what the deal is with either of them. But to be honest, the house felt a little empty once they'd all left. Like, it's nice to have something exciting happen once in a while. Hi, Junk Shop Hebon desu. Hi, I'm John Drunk. Drunk? Wait, hum jum drunk. No, hum drum junk. How may I help you? God, I'm not getting my commission from this call. Sir, this is not a sex line. Please take your hand out of your pants and use your big boy words. Mosh -moshi. Hello? The caller hangs up without saying a word. Lovely. What was that? Some kind of prank call? Kamikaze! Toko da! Kamikaze attack! Ai kawarazu dasai mise ne! This place is so lame as usual! The door opens and a chorus of obnoxious voices tear through the shop. What is up, my children? Mata o mae ra ka yo! Mai, you brats again? Oh, Alva da! Ah, it's Alva! Alva! Oh, one of them's really happy to see me. I'm just going to assume you're Sundere, little baby girl. Otherwise, why would you constantly come back to find me? Your face is as stupid as ever. They don't have an endearing bone in their scrawny little bodies. Oh, target found. Lock on. Oh, they're bullying the junk robot again. Now their attention has shifted to Junker. <laughs> Junker screeches to a halt and tries to hide behind me. Wait. Won't that make me their new target? Wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. You better freeze. Oh. Hey, don't climb on me! While struggling with the little imps, I hear the door open again. Expecting a customer, I look up to see... Noise! Noise? You follow me to my workplace now? Damn, he's really into us. This is kind of obsessive. Where are their parents? I... Let's just pretend that they're orphans. That honestly makes me feel better than thinking they have parents that are this bad. Honestly, orphans probably better. Yo. Yo. Why is he here? Noise looks around the shop curiously as he approaches. The fiends let go of me to get a better look at Noise. Hey, wait a sec. Since when do you get customers? A customer? A real customer! Change of target. Charge the customer! Oh god, and I never have a customer again. Oi, <laughs> Omaira! Uh, hold it, guys! Before I could stop them, the brats charge noise. Shit! He's gonna. Oh! Ew. He just dodged them. Kyo and Nao stumble forward. And Mio. Hey! Hey! Let me go! Noise catches her just before she bumps into him. And he lifts her like a kitten. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you deal with rowdy kids. Grab them by the scruff of their neck, just like a kitten. Let me go. What do you think you're doing? Mio pounds on Noise's chest to no effect. He just stares at her. The sight is kind of surreal. And then, as I watch in disbelief, Noise does something unexpected. Something completely unexpected. Is he going to give her head pats? 
Oh, that's... No, that's kind of weird. No, that's kind of weird. He takes Mio's hand, brings it to his lips, and kisses it. Wow. No. Wow. Mio is even more shocked than I am. I mean, of course she would be. Her face turns bright red and she starts trembling. <laughs> Violence isn't an attractive trait for a girl. You see, I didn't mean like he did anything creepy. It's just... If somebody picks up my child and does that, like, I get that for the child, she's like, oh, he's treating me like a princess. He gets it. I'm a princess and he understands that. Meanwhile, yeah, I'm sorry. If I'm a parent and I see that shit happening, I'm putting that dude on a list. I'm making sure nobody ever goes to his house for trick-or-treating. <laughs> it's, it's not like super uncomfortable. It's him trying to be nice. It's just, yeah, you don't know that child. You just met that child. This is just... It's like a very cute moment for a fictional scenario. That's what I'll say. <laughs> what a thing to say. <laughs> and she is now completely in love, which is kind of adorable. <laughs> Mio's mouth flaps aimlessly for a moment. Then she closes her eyes tightly, takes a deep breath. <laughs> And there's the Sundare. <laughs> Let me go, you pierced pervert! Sekuhara Piyasu. Sekuhara Piyasu. <laughs> pierced pervert. That's brilliant. <laughs> Noise puts Mio down without reacting. She immediately darts away, pointing at him once she reaches a safe distance. <laughs> I love her. She's so adorable. What are you going to do if you start bleeding with all those holes in your face? What? There's blood? Blood? Kyo and Nao were laying on the ground, pretending to be injured after their falls. But they jump up immediately upon hearing their sister's comments. Fortunately, it seems like her brothers didn't catch Noise's little performance there. That's a relief. What did you do to Mio? What did you do? Busy. Nothing. Cut it out, you tell Yeah, there we go. She's defending him now. She's like, no, don't hurt my beloved. <laughs> oh my god. Cut it out, you two. Mio quickly waves them off. Her face is still bright red. <laughs> but Let's just run away. But we haven't beaten him yet. We don't have to. Mio bolts out of the store screaming. Her brothers quickly follow. <laughs> That's so cute. Brat's tamed. Oh, God. Yep, he's a brat tamer. Just... You know what? We need to hire him in the store. They'll never come back again. Silence abruptly returns to the store, save for the faint sound of Junker's motors. I stare at noise in disbelief. Oh my. Just what did you think you were doing with that little girl? Noise gives me a puzzled look. Huh? <laughs> You jealous, Alba? Kissing her hand and stuff? That'd creep most people out. Yeah, but she is a child. That's the thing. It'd creep out the parents, but for the child, that's just like a roleplay kind of thing. That's why she was just like, oh, but I am a princess. He gets it. <laughs> I don't think it was weird. No, that was plenty weird. Hmm? Hmm? Suddenly, Noise puts his hand on the counter and leans over it, looking into my eyes with a blank expression. Wait, is he actually going to show it's not weird by doing it to me too? <gasps> Something soft touches my lips. Did... Did he just... Oh, oh my... Oh my... What? Oh. What? He didn't even go for the hand. He just kissed me straight on the fucking lips. Mm. Mm. None. 
Oh, sorry. Hmm? What is it? Don't you? What, me? What was that? What was what? I kissed you. You're so stupid you don't understand what a kiss is? <laughs> Fucking virgin. Huh? What? Noise just watches calmly as I freak out. What the fuck is with this guy? Bro, you're the one with a fucking pride flag in your living room. How dare you say that line? Dudes don't normally kiss other dudes. So. Really? Wait. Does that mean you're. You know. Huh? Huh? Uh. Noise is just so casual about it. I start to wonder if I'm the one with the problem. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> is it normal for dudes to kiss? No. No, it's not. <laughs> However, <laughs> your lines after that didn't go in the right direction. It shouldn't have been, did guys normally kiss? It's, do you randomly kiss random people? Alba, get your shit together. Priorities. <laughs> no. No way. But it doesn't seem like Noise did it to upset me. Pull your shit together, Alba. He's the weird one. Totally. I'm not weird. I only got a half mast. I didn't get a full erection. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with me. At least I don't think there is. I mean, there are plenty of guys who'd get handsy even outside romantic contexts. I guess he's just one of those. Probably. I wipe my lips off with the back of my hand and take a deep breath to calm down. <laughs> Why are you even here? Again, noise looks straight into my eyes. You. I want you to join my gang. Huh? Huh? Where did that come from? Your gang? You mean your rhyme gang? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my options are I'll turn him down or be incredibly rude while I turn him down. <laughs> I mean, uh, let's be honest. Same same way we did this in the bedroom, same way we're going to do it here. We're going to act like a brat. <laughs> we're going to see if he can tame us. I tell him to get lost. Zetayada. Zetayada. Get lost. Noise just looks at me. Well then, I guess I'll just have to come back every day until you say yes. What the hell? It's like a little kid! You used to be really strong, right? You belong in rhyme. I'll come see you again. You got the wrong person. Noise falls silent. His gaze is so sharp that it makes me flinch. What's wrong with him? Well, that's not really why I'm here today. Noise releases me from his gaze and lets out a frustrated sigh. It's gonna be in front of your shop today. What is? Rhyme. Rhyme? 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 Usui's going to appear here today. Our predictions are always on target. I frown, not understanding. Then I hear the cheers from outside. Let's go. Huh? Just come. Noise steps behind the counter and grabs me by the arm. He's not taking no for an answer, Alba. He wants you to... come. Hey, let me go. The shop! Shut up. I barely managed to grab Ren before he drags me outside. Outside, I see that the Yushi deserted alley is teeming with excitement. Noise and I join the gathering crowd. Yep. 
It's almost time. Noise stops once we've entered the dark alleyway. I keep doing that accidentally. <laughs> He's already holding up a bunny cube in his hand. So, Is that your all mate? Oh. Yeah. Sure is weird for a guy like him to be using such a cute all mate. So, so. Here it comes. A faint light blossoms in one corner of the alley. And here comes the big man. So proud you didn't make a cum joke immediately. Well, it's only a matter of time in these kinds of... Well, in any game, really, let's be honest. <laughs> a cum joke is never more than like five minutes away on a Fuchan stream. A ring of light appears in the empty space, and Usui materializes from the feet up. The crowd cheers, attracting even more people from the streets. I told you, didn't I? Yeah. You should go fight. I told you I don't want to. How about now? What the fuck was that random bumpy sound? <laughs> Noise raises an eyebrow, and then I feel my bag rise into the air. I spin around. A bunny cube is holding my bag by the strap. Did they steal my Ren? When did that get there? Hey! Hey! So. Well, what are you gonna do? The crowd is so thick that I can't even snatch my bag back. I won't be able to get away. <laughs> he? <laughs> Just then, something flies through the air and slams into the bunny cube holding my bag. The crowd stirs and parts to allow someone through. Yo! Yo! It's Kojaku. It must have been Benny who rammed the noise cube. Several Benny Shigure members are with him too. He picks up my bag from where it fell. Kojaku! Yo, Kojaku's keeping an eye on us. He knew. He knew this man would be making moves on us today. Aoba, what's up? What's up? Another delivery? Kojaku shoots noise a glare. What are you doing here? Why should I tell you? Rhyme, huh? Rhyme, huh? I could ask you the same thing. Oh. I could ask you the same thing. I could ask you the same thing. Brain dead ribsteeds wouldn't last a second in rhyme. Oh shit, they're still fighting. The fuck? Stop. Ojaku grabs his teammate by the shoulder. Kids shouldn't push their luck. You're walking on thin ice, pal. Just speaking the truth. I said don't push your luck, punk. Whatever. I'm kind of thinking I'm in the way of this now. At this point, it feels like they're going to end up fucking each other. <laughs> it's, do, should I just walk away? Maybe I'll go find Ren. I, this is some enemies to lover shit right here. They are obsessed. Talking to you makes me hate Rhyme even more. Well, isn't that good? We don't want you dumbasses to like it. Well, this got interesting fast. As their hostility ripples outward throughout the crowd, each side's members begin to gather around their leader. Rib versus Rhyme. The two groups glare at each other, a powder keg waiting for a spark. <laughs> hey, maybe you guys should... I mean, who even uses their fists nowadays? Talk about analog. Fighting in your head doesn't mean shit. It's just make believe. He even said Genjutsu. <laughs> I know that just means illusion, but I, you are not beating the Sasuke allegations, my dude. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised a meathead like you is afraid of the unknown. Don't know why I bother. Oi. 
That's rich coming from an egg-headed beanpole. Who are you calling a beanpole? Oh. You sure look like one from here. They have very similar voices. I like this. That's the same dark tone of voice Kojaku used yesterday. Before they started fighting in my room. Noise closes his mouth and meets Kojaku stare for stare. You're in the Rough Rabbits, right? Mujina's Rhyme Gang? I see you guys finally got the balls to come all the way out here. Rhyme no yoso ya toka ya ってる la shi ga. So n na koto de mimichi kane kase de yorokon den ja ne yo. I hear your forecasters. You happy making chump change off that? Tori hiki da. It's business. There's a ton of people in this area who want our info. So, we do a little business. We just happen to use our brains, unlike you. For a few moments, Noise and Kodaku glare at each other in silence. Let's settle this. Right here, right now. I think it's a waste of time. But I don't like you, so. Sure. I'll kick your ass. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> in no time at all, the crowd is split in two. Those gather around Usui for the rhyme battle. And those watching the fight between Noise and Kojaku. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This man sticking out his tongue so happily. Who am I in the way out of? Yeah, these guys, a lot of them dress quite traditional. Over here, nice mix. Very modern, very more cyberpunk, more like relaxed hoodie fits. Interesting, interesting. I could ship this. From the looks of it, the crowd around us is bigger. Things are quickly spiraling out of control. I'll make sure you never open that smart mouth of yours again. <laughs> Not a chance. Noise just smirks and cracks his neck. Shouldn't I do something? Um, cheer them on? Throw them a bottle of lube? Oh, I get to choose? Oh, fuck. I mean, I'm obviously saving it. It's obviously noise, but I'll leave it open that we can come back if we want to. Way down here. This is our first real choice. Let them fight. <laughs> Just Godzilla meme. Let them fight. I want to see their bodies slam into each other. Let them fight. <laughs> I call out to noise. Noise? Noise, enough already. Just calm down. I think he's the one who needs to calm down. These guys need to fuck off already. Trying to send him to the junk heap. Neither man seems to have any interest in stopping. Quite the opposite, in fact. They're both obviously itching for a fight. Alright. Let's do this! The moment Kojaku and Noise make contact, the Ripsties and Rhymers surrounding them start to brawl. It quickly devolves into total chaos, with people who clearly just want to fight getting in on the action. The alley shakes with their howls of joy. Forget the other people. I've got to stop Kojaku and Noise. But before I can cut in between them, a man comes flying at me. You're a fucking rhymer, aren't you? Oh. I jump out of the way as he rhymes up for a punch. He tumbles forward when it misses. I instinctively chop down at his unguarded neck. His knees buckle and he falls on his face. That was close. I'm gonna get dragged into this if I'm not careful. Good yeah. Too late. A man whips his arm towards me. I spot the glint of steel. Seriously? That's not a fucking toy. Yo, they actually brought a fucking knife to this fight. Jesus Christ. 
and he stabs at me again. I catch his arm and pull it down, kneeing him in the chin as he stumbles. Blech. Blech. The man drops the knife as he falls backward, and I kick it away. I also give him a gentle kick in the face while I'm at it. Yeah. Dagger. For fuck's sake. I look around and quickly locate Jukohjaku in noise. They're going at it like a pair of wolves, oblivious to the chaos around them. Kojaku, no! Kojaku, no! Samara, what are you doing? Yo, it's my man. Oh, this is gonna be embarrassing. Uh, noise. Meet my previous boyfriend. <laughs> Instantly, the fighting stops. Everyone turns to face the voice that tore through the alley like a thundercap. And then, everyone starts running. It's Akshima, best boy, sexiest man. Armed police flood the alley. What's going on here? Rhyme? Rib? Either way, the sentence is death! Alba! Alba! Kojaku fights his way to me against the flow of the crowd. Noise! Where's Noise? Long gun. We gotta hightail it too. Kojaku grabs my arm and we start running. Stop right there, criminal scum! That's an Oblivion reference and was not anywhere near a correct translation. They just wanted an Oblivion reference in there. <laughs> Fantastic. I love this game. <laughs> we race down the alley. Akashima shouts echoing behind us. Once we lost him, Kojakio and I stopped to... Uh, them, their words. Once we've lost him, Kojaku and I slow to a stop. I'm completely out of breath. <laughs> <sighs> we should be fine by now. Uh. Yeah. Wow, he isn't even slightly out of breath. God damn. Gorjaku turns around to double check and flashes me an apologetic look. <laughs> if Akushima had a root. If Akushima had a root, the ending wouldn't be good or bad. It would just be called the death ending. <laughs> okay, Cherry Booney, but let me raise you something. Imagine how vocal he is in bed. I'm just saying. Sorry, man. First I made a mess at your place. Now this. I just lost my core. Cool. That little shithead. Kojaku's expressions turn more serious. Alba, you're the He's the one who pulled you into that rhyme match, isn't he? Yeah. I gape. <laughs> Phrasing. He hit the nail on the head. So you knew. I had a feeling. Sorry. Yeah, Nah, I'm not trying to give you shit for it. Well, that guy's been messing with you since then, right? What happened? Well, um... There's no point hiding it anymore. Rhyme's when he dragged me into that match, I was freaked out, you know? I had never played Rhyme before. I guess I passed out or something because I don't remember what happened. But he... He says I won. And yeah, chat, eventually... <laughs> I think we're going to hide the fact that he kissed me in the store. That's... That's a whole different level. I don't want him to get murdered. Like... Oh my god. You won? Nah. Yeah, but... I don't remember a thing. How could I have won anyway? He insists I did, though. 
お前に負けた恨みを晴らすためにくっついてるってのかプライドだけは一丁前だなあのクソ坊主 No, you're just assuming things. You just really don't like it, which I get. You're feeling very Jacob from Twilight right now. I need you to back off and chill. You've been following me around for the last two days as well. So what? He's following you around for revenge?、Uh, I guess pride's the only thing that little fucker has. Lime, that rot, and that rot, Make, and Make, that. He's a good guy, and he's a good guy. He's a good guy, and he's a good guy. Rhyme or not, a loss is a loss. A real man knows how to accept defeat. Scamo, my key, you should not chimat on the roll. Nano Niso no ega caritanoa Tadano Yagara Senishka Kiko in a kid. Maybe he's your childhood friend. Actually, you, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even though Jacob wasn't a childhood friend, he definitely had that energy about him. The whole energy where it's like, oh, I've known you forever. Surely you're going to choose me. What do you mean you're choosing the hot new guy who's new and interesting and more fun and comes from a different place and doesn't already know everything about you? But me, I'm stronger than him. I'm faster than him. I bet I could beat his ass. Oh,、um, I love me. Plus, you backed out, right? It sounds like he's just making up shit to harass you. No, no. I guess. Oh, none of that was shade at this guy, by the way. <laughs> this guy's being far less like, weird than those guys. That was just shade at like, the childhood friend trope character who almost never wins anyway. But is in so many media where it's just like, oh, I'm obsessed with you. What, what do you mean I don't have a chance? I don't understand that some people just don't have romantic feelings for each other when they have friendship feelings for each other. Surely you'll come to love me eventually. You'll realize. What's wrong? Is something bothering you? Rhyme, you don't talk about 16 candles. Holy shit. So. While I was in that rhyme match, I heard a voice. Do you mean that? You mean besides him? Yeah. And I didn't hear it so much as it came from inside my head. So I didn't hear it so much as it came from inside my head. And then I, like, started to give orders to Ren. Like, I just suddenly knew how to fight. But you've never done rhyme before, right? Yeah. I don't know how I gave those commands. It's creepy, man. I grow more and more anxious as I recall what happened. By the end, I'm looking at my feet. Kojaku gently claps me on the shoulder. I'm not going to be a good guy. 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 I love how their expressions change while they're in the middle of dialogue options. The fact that this game is 10 years old. I know a, a lot of modern games that don't do that. They only change like, as you click to a new sentence. So I I'm pretty impressed. Like, this, game, this game had a budget. This I like this. Hey, don't overthink it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. You don't want Ren going, Alba, your head is at risk of exploding, do you? Ah.、Uh, yeah. Kojaku's Ren impression made me smile a little. Oh, I didn't even notice he was doing one. <laughs> Getting dragged into rhyme probably messes with your head. Just remember. You can always tell me if something happens. No, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Tai san niwa itsu mo umai mesh tsukutte moratte ru kara na. Mm hmm. That dot dot dot. He knew what he was saying there. <laughs> It's the least I can do.、Uh, for a taste of Miss Tai's home cooking. So, go ga yo. Ah, that's your real motive. Yeah, it's totally not to keep going back to your bedroom, which is the only place I feel safe. Like smoking cigarettes on your balcony. I like sleeping in your bed. I. Laughing with Kojaku has lightened my mood a little. Yeah, not that I'm an expert or anything, but I guess keeping your fears bottled up isn't good for you. Sometimes it's better just to tell someone what you're feeling. So, do you want to go to the guys in dry juice? Oh, yeah. Want to go hit up the guys in dry juice? Yeah, I'm going to go to the guys in dry juice. Sure. 
I'm worried about Mizuki too. Uh, uh, What's wrong? <laughs> he only just realized. <laughs> My dude. Yeah, you abandoned work for like the second time in two days. And this time, you left the goddamn shop open and unlocked. God damn it. I'm supposed to be at work. I was watching the store because Mr. Hago was out. Oi, oi. If you guys think that moan was sexual, that's on you guys. There was nothing sexual about that moan. Hey, aren't you going to get in trouble? I'll go call him. I frantically call Mr. Haga on my coil. Just don't call him Baldy. He will die. Oh, good. He's in the shop. That's better than it being abandoned. Hello? Wait, no. Hello, you've reached Humdrum Junk. Haga-san, sorry. Mr. Haga, I'm so sorry. I. Oh, Albacun. You weren't at the shop. I was wondering what happened to you. Was there some kind of emergency? This dude is so fucking nice to us, man. He's just like, yeah, I was worried about you, not about the store. Eto. Well, I... Uh, telling them about noise won't help. I have no idea how to explain the situation. So I just bullshit my way through, apologizing profusely. Mr. Haga seems a little perplexed, but he forgives me. Hmm. Don't worry about it. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. I'll be more careful next time. I know you will. After all, you've only done this two days in a row. I mean, the last time, at least you had the excuse of passing out. You said you passed out. I don't know you did. You may have been faking it. Anyway, stay safe. Thank you, sir. I mean, I guess I make a lot of sales, to be fair. I do sell a lot of things over the phone, so... Maybe he just likes me because I make so much money. Maybe it's fine. Maybe the store has cameras. True. Maybe he saw that boy on boy kiss and he was like, I get it, my young child. Go out there into the world. Live your life. God, I wish it was more like that around my time. I would have been so free. Wouldn't have ended up at a junk shop. That's for sure. <sighs> Everything okay? I guess. Mr. Haga may have let me off the hook, but I sure am a failure as an adult. I'll have to make it up to him later. Where is his junk shop kiss? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, when is it my turn? <laughs> After that, Kojoku and I head for Dry Juice's territory. The alley's in the east quarter off Yukisagi, peppered with abandoned restaurants and bars. This is meant to be a casual visit, but the closer we get to Dry Juice territory, the stranger things become. Normally you'd see dry juice members hanging around. But today, the streets are deserted. It's a ghost town, huh? Do you think they maybe moved somewhere else? I didn't hear anything. I have a bad feeling about this. We pick up the pace. When we reach the alley where they usually gather, we find it empty of life. This was also where I got attacked by Bunny Boy. Kojaku stops and catches me by Oi. the arm. Hey. Those... What? Huh? I follow Kojaku's stare and freeze. They're... gone. The dry juice tags on the wall have all been painted over in black. Why? Oh, this totally is the rich people. I didn't even think about the fact that, yeah, if whole gangs are like disappearing at the same time, it has to be the rich people kidnapping them because they want them off the island. They're sick of the fact that there's all this riffraff on their rich people island. But yeah, it looks like dry juice has been kidnapped. No way. Did some other gang beat them? Alba. Are they Alba. Take a look at that. Oh, <gasps> morphine? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm... Well, maybe morphine's... Been, well, yeah. 
Morphine just up and disappeared one time. Maybe Morphine was their test subject. And they've like brainwashed them to be on their side. What if it's Batman? <laughs> That'd be sick, actually. <laughs> Dramatical murder ends being revealed that it's Batman getting rid of uh, street thugs. God damn it. I mean, it is a rich man gentrifying the city. <laughs> it's not far. A new tag has been painted on the wall. Metallic wings and a heart surrounded by a halo. I recognize it. M morphine? Morphine? Morphine took out dry juice? The kidnapping. No way. The story's real. Kodaku's words make my heart skip a beat. That's right. Those disappearances. I thought they were just an urban legend. Or maybe someone was screwing around. Dry Juice is the biggest rib gang in town. I'm sure they have plenty of enemies. Could be a gang trying to lay the blame on Morphine. That sounds more realistic than some kind of magical disappearance. But in that case, how could there be no one left? Hey, is someone there? Hey! I run through the alleyway, shouting at the top of my lungs. No answer. Damn. What the hell is going on? I head toward a nearby alley. The one where Mizuki always hangs out. If Dry Juice members are anywhere, it'll be there. <sighs> I step into the alley, but it's deserted like the others. Even though I expected as much, it still sends a shiver up my spine. Oh, they straight up replaced the entire giant Dry Juice logo. Fuck me. They just stole their layout as well. That's mean. <laughs> at the back of the alley, the biggest Dry Juice tag has been painted over as well. What the hell is going on? I could always find Mizuki leaning on the wall in front of that tag. He'd greet me with a smile when I came by. I want to turn away. It feels like I'm witnessing the ruin of something precious to me. But I fought my face my no. But I forced myself to look. Check, 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 check. The bar and the bijiba. Oh, the tattoo parlor. Maybe, maybe they're hiding there. <laughs> maybe one of them survived at least and hid. Alba, I checked the other side, but there's no one there either. Same here, huh? This is brutal. No. Hey, isn't that blood? I was wondering if they were going to pay attention to that. What? Oh. This is... blood. Yeah, I thought so. I was smudged and darkened by footprints. There's blood spatter on the ground. It looks relatively fresh. Looking around, I noticed shoe prints on the walls and debris scattered about. The signs of a struggle. Shoe prints on the walls? Fuck, they had a rough time. The more I see, the more I realize that only one thing makes sense. Aliens. Or more likely kidnappings. Morphine did this, just like the story said. Disputes between rib gangs are common, but usually those end with a brawl and some tags getting scribbled out at worst. This is different. I feel malice in the air. This was the work of someone with a ruthless disregard for their enemy. What happened here? This alley was so full of life. It was a place where everyone got along. Where you never had to be alone. That's why people joined the gang. Even if it was only temporary. Here people shared a bond. It was home. And now... There's nothing left. Shit. I still can't get through to Mizuki. Kojaku looks up from his coil. What the hell happened here? Fuck. Did Morphine really do this? Mizuki. Mizuki. Still trying to wrap my head around the situation when I hear footsteps at the entrance to the alley. 
やあ誰かと思ったら青葉さんでしたか。ああ、トゥインターン。Let's go. Maybe the Yakuza knows something about this. Well, if it isn't Alba, fancy meeting you here. やっほー、アバー。やっほー、アバー。お前ら。You guys, it's virus and trip. なんでここに What are you doing here? この辺りは我々が担当しているんですよ。This area is under our protection. ヤクザか。Some job you did, mate! ヤクザ、huh? コジャクザ is an arrow. For ribsties like Kozaku, a pair of Yakuza walking around like they own the place isn't a pleasant sight. お前ら、双子か似たような格好しやがって。You guys twins? You're even dressed alike. 双子じゃねえから。<laughs> We're not, not twins. twins. You hang out with Yakuza now. I, I wouldn't say that. They weren't even Yakuza when I met them, back around the time you left the island. Yes. And you could say that we're old chums. So, so, she got to Kanke Neshi. Yeah, yeah, nothing to do with work. <laughs> Why does it feel like they're trying to make him jealous again? <laughs> Something that Some of our colleagues may be less than courteous, but we take care never to violate the rules. It's bad for business. I hope you understand. ヤクザはヤクザだろうがいいも悪いもねえんだよ一度落ちたら骨の髄血の一滴まで染み込むからなヤクザはヤクザ There aren't any good ones Once you stoop to that level it stains you It's in your blood And I can smell it Virus and Trip exchange glances Honestly I'm surprised too by the rage in Kojaku's voice Has he always had such an intense hatred of Yakuza? Nah, he's just jealous. But I don't know what I'm saying. But on this island, there's hardly any difference between the Yakuza and the police. You know that, don't you? You are probably the head of the team of the police. There are many people who are in the police. There are many people who are Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're the head of one of these gangs, aren't you? Surely you must be on friendly terms with more than a few officers of the law. It's not like all police are bad. Some can be pretty chill. And so can some Yakuza. You need to meet you some Kiryu Kazuma. We should go do some karaoke. Let's go. And I hope you can see that we're the same. That we, despite being Yakuza, are chill. <laughs> <laughs> the way the big bulky brother just laughs at the end, he doesn't even need to say anything. Oh my god. By the way, Alba, wasn't Dry Juice your friend's gang? Have they moved on to another area? We haven't seen him around. They're gone. 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 Virus rubs his chin thoughtfully. Morphine. Aren't they like some kind of boogeyman? Yeah, I figured someone might be trying to make it look like Morphine did it, but. That's why I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> kind of impressive, though, too. <laughs> Either way, what a barbaric thing to do. Taking out an entire gang? How distasteful. 
You said this area was under your protection. Don't you know anything? So, this is all territory. As for what we know, Kino no Yorini Mimavat Tatokiwa, Konan Janakata. It wasn't like this last night. Dry juice no member no Minasanwa, Mikakema sent the Stakabone. We didn't see any dry juice members then either. Sorete Nanjigurda. What time was that about? Kuji Grai Jane. Suka, Sono Atoni Yaratan Jane. Around nine, I think. What's the happen after that? Dato Stemo, member of Hitori no Kurazu Yukai Tova. Perhaps. Kidnapping such a large number of people is no simple task. I know that. So, maybe Morphine really did take them all. Just like in the stories. But I don't dare say that out loud. Alright. We'll be sure to let you know if we find anything. Thanks. Oh, they know more than they let him on for sure. <laughs> Still, you should be careful. But things have been dangerous lately. As this latest incident illustrates, There's a lot we don't know about. Can't keep up with everything. Rib's just another source of income for you assholes, so you don't give a damn about us. Otaku spits on the ground. Virus lifts an eyebrow, amused. He really needs to stop trying to start fights with everybody I'm friends with. It's slowly getting on my nerves. We understand that our livelihood depends on this city, which is precisely why it's so important to have a solid foundation. He's just possessive, I think it's cute. I can get that. He's also got like the himbo thing. It's just, he seemed so relaxed at the beginning. And now it's just every time I'm around another person, he's like, I don't like the look of you. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> Whether this is truly the work of morphine matters little. When someone causes trouble in your territory, you deal with it. Am I wrong? <laughs> Poor Jaku looks away. Hmm? <laughs> If you'll excuse us, we'd like to make a more thorough inspection of the... Hmm? Hey, scumbags, what are you doing there? Suddenly, a group of policemen burst into the alley. They must have been patrolling the area. Freeze, or we'll shoot! They aim their guns at us. Jesus, what is this, America? Shit. Oh, no, no. Oh my, they're wearing awfully tight today. I think that's our cue to bounce. Yes, this presents a bit of a sticky situation for us as well. Alba? I suggest running. Got it. Got it. We'll We'll break through and then split up. On my signal. Each, Nino, Sun. One, two, three. A trip signal. We all start running. Samara! Shoot him! Wow! They actually. Oh, rubber bullets. Okay. <laughs> this game was just, I was just like, wow, they're just gonna gun them down for running, for evading capture? Okay. The officers unleash a hail of rubber bullets. Fortunately, they've been neglecting their training. Not one shot even grazes us. You... Take to. this. Oh, 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 oh. Virus and Trip barrel into them, and the officers topple like dominoes. See you later, Alba. I'm going to keep calling your name out loud just in case the police want to find you later. It's Alba. Sh sh I forget his last name. He works at the junk store. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Ikuzo, Alba. Let's go, Alba. I'm gonna shout your name too, cause I think you belong to me. Stop right there, scumbags! 
Virus and Trip broke right, so Kojaku and I dashed left. Logical. We hear gunshots and shouting behind us for a while, but by the time we get out of Yukisagi and onto Aoyagi Street, sounds have disappeared. <laughs> yes, indeed, Alba. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Different Alba foo? Wait, what? Setagaki, yeah. Different Alba? <sighs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's Sa Saigaki? Saigaki? Whichever one. <laughs> oh, man, what a disaster. You can say that again. I close my eyes as I try to catch my breath. The scene in the alley rises from the darkness. Dry juice tags painted over in black. Bloodstains on the ground. Where did Mizuki and his gang go? Is he okay? Who did this? Was it really morphine? What the hell is going on? Damn it! Oba. Oba. My rage grows hotter with every passing moment. Nothing could justify something like this. This isn't how we do things. I'm gonna find whoever did this. No matter what. Yeah. I'll ask my gang if they've seen anything. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know if it's morphine, but someone did this. I'll find them. And if Mizuki and the others are hurt, then they're gonna pay. Ooh, angry Alba's back. He's finally ready to fight. Let's fucking go. Kojaku leaves to go talk to his gang, so I head over to Mizuki's shop. Hmm? A message. Spam call? Fucking damsel in distress again. That's the game I downloaded. Spam? The subject says, please save me. The sender is damsel in distress. Damsel in distress? I could swear I got a spam message earlier with that same name. And delete. Hmm? Another message? They really huh? want me to play chapter two of this game. <laughs> the same message again. The delete. Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, what the? Answer it, dude. This shit's fucked up. They just kept coming. What the hell? I quickly open my bag and wake up Ren. Alba. Alba. Ren, my coil is acting up. What is this? Some kind of virus? One moment, please. I'll look into it. Ren falls silent. While I wait, the mails keep coming. Ren, madaka. Ren, anything yet? Analysis complete. It's not a virus. I've taken measures on the off chance that my analysis was on my analysis was incorrect. So there's no way to stop these messages from coming in? The sender's address is unknown. What the hell? Perhaps you should try opening one, just in case. You sure about that? Sure. Probably just an upgrade to my video game. But I get the feeling the messages will just keep coming if I ignore them. The notification chime is starting to drive me nuts. Fine, I get it. You win. Desperate for relief, I open one of the messages. Huh? They stopped. How is that possible? Puzzled, I turn my eyes to the text. But the message is empty. So it really was just spam, but the, the attachment, my dude. <laughs> my coil chimes again, only this time it isn't a message. 
It's a game download. Game no high scene? No. A game download? Oh. That's right. The game I played the other day. I guess this is the next chapter. Am I really going to play this when I was just about to go check if Mizuki was at his shop? Is this more important than Mizuki? <laughs> okay. When the download finishes, the title screen appears. Yeah, it's the same game. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? There's no start button. How is this supposed to work? A few seconds later, the screen changes and the game suddenly starts up. I try pushing the keys on my coil, but I can't move. Then, Ren, I don't think it's working. Try walking around in the real world. I bet that's what's going to happen. Maybe it's a non-playable demo? Demo play? <laughs> a demo? What's the point of sending that out? Says Alba while I'm playing the demo <laughs> of a game. Okay, Alba. Sure, sure. Take the piss out of me. I jab at the controls for a while. Finally, the main character starts to move. Is it working now? When I take my fingers off the keys, the character keeps moving on its own. God, he's stupid. Does he not know how to use a door? Oh, hey. You princess. Being kidnapped by vampire bats. Damn, they fly fast. Why is the real world getting glitchy? Why am I getting VHS lines in the real world? What's going on? Wait a minute. What was that supposed to be like Mizuka? Mizuki being kidnapped? Looks like Taie. Oh, it did look like Taie. But hot, because it was 16 bit, so there were no wrinkles. <laughs> what the? The game ends abruptly. I guess it really is just a demo. What was the point of sending this out? Was it a mistake? It doesn't make sense. I have no idea what kind of game that was supposed to be. I see. I was right. It was just spam. What a waste of time. Let's go home. I I forgot about Mizuki now. I'm I'm good to go home. Yeah, actually go it. Wait. No, wait. You weren't going home. I know you were going to Mizuki's. You said you were gonna to go to Mizuki's shop. I close the game and start back toward home. Is this game fucking with me? <laughs> or did that game brainwash him? <laughs> As the sun sets, delicious smells begin to fill the town. Did it time already? I wonder if Granny's at home. Sometimes she goes out with friends around this time. Granny. I wonder what it is. I've been anxious since I played that game. An old woman was kidnapped by bats. Was it just a coincidence? I know I'm just being paranoid, but I can't shake the feeling, so I call Granny on my coil. Ah, shit. No answer. I try calling the house. So some bats kidnapped my Granny. That's not great. Nothing. I try getting Granny's coil one more time. She's not picking up. Granny doesn't really use her coil much in the first place. She even leaves letters for me by the front door instead of texting me. She must be out with some friends. That's probably all it is. It has to be. So Shit. I try not to think about it, but the image of the devastation at Dry Juice's hangout keeps coming back to me. All that blood? Maybe the whole thing is just making me a little anxious. It's totally crazy to think that Granny would be connected to that in any way. But still, I can't do this. I have to go home. 
I'll feel better once I get home and see that Granny's safe. I run home as fast as I can. <laughs> Bata! Granny! I unlock the door and burst into the house. It's pitch black like no one's home. Bata! Granny? I call for her one more time, but no answer. This is bad. Feels like my blood's about to boil. At the same time, my body is racked by chills. The blood stains on the wall of dry juice's hangouts. The old woman in the game kidnapped my bats. My mind keeps flicking between the two images. They get to Granny Bata! too? Granny! I run into the house, not even bothering to take off my shoes. Huh? Whoa! Something catches my foot. I look down. Huh? What's that big lump doing? There. A person is lying in the hall. Granny? The person is laying face down, motionless. Another one is lying on the floor a little further inside. I swallow my fear and tiptoe closer. They're both much bigger than Granny. Probably men. Relief washes over me. But if they're not Granny, then who are they? Looking closer, I notice a tattoo on their necks. It looks like a gang tag. Actually... <gasps> this tag... <sighs> fucking morphine. Morphine. That's kind of a badass tattoo though, I'm not gonna lie. Morphine. So Granny took out two of them? God damn, she's a beast. <clears throat> Feeling someone behind me. I spin around. A man is standing there, framed by the dark hallway. The man is so tall that I have to look up at him. For a moment, I just stand there and gape. Stop using the word gape. But the thought that he might have done something to Granny Sue blows away any fear that I was feeling. Where's Granny? The man doesn't answer. He just stares at me through the darkness with icy eyes. I take a step closer. I said, where is she? Someone grabs my shoulders from behind. Suddenly, I'm surrounded by people holding me in place. <laughs> Let go. Let me the fuck go. A heavy blow slams into my stomach, knocking the breath from my lungs. And who are you, pretty man? Another one with green eyes. The huge man's fist sinks into my gut. How about you fucking do that without your boys holding me back, you... Ugh, coward. I topple forward. Can't breathe. My vision fades into darkness. Damn it. Not here. Granny. Granny. Okay, good. I thought that was going to be the end of the demo. I was so ready for that to be the end of the demo. I was like, that's where it's going to be, huh? <laughs> I wake up with a splitting headache. Did I? Black out? Even after I open my eyes, I can't make out anything in the darkness. Somewhere I hear the rhythmic drip, drip, drip of water. Is it raining? The cold surface against my cheek must be a concrete floor. Where am I? I try to stand up, but my body won't move. <clears throat> my arms are tied behind my back. I struggle, but the bonds hold firm. When I manage to lift my head off the ground, I come face to face with a pair of boots. Kinda sexy. Military style boots, long red and black cloak type of leather jacket. Fuck yeah. I slowly drag my gaze upward from there. Oh, pipe isn't a good look. Everything else is though. Damn it. I don't like the hair either. 
<laughs> what is that bird, my man? Has that bird got a cigar? It does have a cigar in its mouth. Amazing. You should meet my samurai friend. He would love that bird. <laughs> that pose is so good. The pose is good. The outfit is fucking amazing. Uh, everything's amazing except for one, the pipe. And two, I don't like the hair. The hair could be better. It's him. The guy who waltzed into my home and knocked me out. Up close, he's even more intimidating than before. Damn, you can really see everything. As I watch, the man takes a puff from his pipe. Smoke disperses into the gloomy air. That's right. I remember now. He took Granny. Where's my Granny? What'd you do with her? Answer me! I struggle to contain my rage. The man just stares at me in silence for a while. And finally he rises with a creaking of springs. Before I know what's happening, he crouches down and yanks my head up by a clump of my bangs. Oh, fuck yeah. My face twists in agony as pain runs through my sensitive hair. Oh shit, I forgot he could feel his hair like it's actual flesh. Shit. He stares at me as I squirm. His eyes are pitch black, like two spots devoid of light. Um... I don't think they are, Alba. <laughs> Maybe you got hit very hard. How the fuck does everyone in this game have the same sexy deep voice? How am I supposed to separate them? I'm not a good enough voice actor. Also, yeah, there's a lot of like deep voice men in this game. I expected like a nice balance of like light voices and deep voices, but it's like 90% light, 90% uh, deep voices. The BL, what did you expect? I mean, I expect a little bit of balance. <laughs> Clear, that's what I was going to say. Clear is the one who has like a super high pitched voice. And then the one twin, the one twin has a slightly higher voice. They're tops, Fuchan. Tops can have light voices. Bottoms can have deep voices. <laughs> we don't have to follow the stereotypes. <laughs> Do you understand your position he tugs my face to the side. Two grungy looking men are standing there holding submachine guns. Okay, that's a much longer sentence than I thought it was. I just have to raise my hand and you can kiss your ass goodbye. I guess he takes my silence as understanding, as he lets go of my hair. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, I know about like the gender role thing and everything about like, oh, the UKs is supposed to be paler and shorter and weaker and with higher voices and semis are supposed to be more tanned with shorter hair and bigger, broader things and deep voices. It's just, I mean, uh, yeah, this is from 10 years ago. I, 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 uh, I'm not so much complaining about the whole thing. I'm more complaining about the fact that there's too many deep voices. I can't do them all. If these three guys get together, if noise... This guy and Ku Samurai Boy get together. I'm not going to be able to separate their voices at all. <laughs> my chin hits the concrete with a loud thunk. I nearly bite my tongue. Damn. I'm in some seriously deep shit. Boy. Hey. The man calls his men over and whispers something to them. They nod and leave the war room. Meanwhile, I search my brain for a plan. I have to get out of here. First to do something about these restraints. I struggle against my bonds. I can feel them loosen slightly, but they aren't coming off. I poke around with the toes of my shoes, thinking there might be something by my feet I could use. But all I feel is floor. There's nothing. What is this gang's, gang's name? Scarato? Oh, Scratch. If there's an H there, we'll just Scrack. <laughs> Probably Scratch. Shit. I have to do something. As I flounder, I can feel several sets of footsteps vibrating through the floor. A new group of men enters the room. They have a similar look to the two who left. Yare. Do it. Scarato? Scrato. Oh, it's an O, not a C. Okay. Scrato. 
The giant jerks his chin at, chin at me. What? Are they gonna beat me? I watch the men approach and steal myself for a beating. There's nothing else I can do. The men form a loose circle around me. I brace myself for the first hit. One of them grabs my jacket. Another pins my legs and arms. What are they doing? I look at their faces. Well, they seem... excited. Oh, fuck! Um... One thing, chat. No, no, no. None of that. No TW. None of that. Read the goddamn pin message. But yeah, it seems like we're getting to some actual sexual parts. I wonder how they're going to cut this away. They're breathing hard. And their eyes are bloodshot. Hold him down good. <gasps> yeah, this is fucked up. Oh... My blood goes cold. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Let me go! I try to free my arms. The ropes are looser than before. Just a little more. A little more. I'm out! <laughs> but before I can do anything, someone grabs my arms and pins them to the floor. Hey. What are you doing? I told you to hide him down. Okay, yeah, this is going to be possibly graphic, non-consensual, sexual content. So be warned. Let, let go. I see the giant standing behind them, arms folded, watching me with cold, detached eyes. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame us for this. We can't disobey Mink's orders. Mink, is that the giant's name? The only thought occupies my attention for a moment, and I tremble at the feeling of hot, sticky breath against my cheek. She said, let me go. You're fucking crazy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh shit, they're beating him too. One of them smacks me across the face. Pain and the taste of blood fill my mouth. Where the fuck is my samurai boyfriend? He's been following me all day for the last three days. He manages to miss this. God damn it. Uh, guys aren't really my thing, but I'll do him if I have to. A meaty paw gropes at my chest. Look at how pale he is. And his hair's long, too. He totally looks like a chick if you squint, don't he? I don't know, man. A dude's still a dude. Exactly, I'm a man. Now let me go, assholes! Feeling a surge of rage, I spit a wad of blood at the man next to me. <laughs> you little shit. Hands off! <laughs> Kick him in the stomach while he's distracted and he lurches forward in pain. Serves you right. <laughs> he pays me back with a slug to the face, twice as hard. Shit. <laughs> I've got him pinned. Hurry up and strip him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. That was immediately the sound of a belt buckle. Stop. Don't touch me. He tears my belt off and starts unbattening my pants. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Another hand sneaks in from the side and grabs my shirt. Fling it up over my chest so hard it almost rips. <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> Shut up. Gag him. <laughs> I stuff a rag into my mouth. The way the cloth sticks to the inside of my cheeks makes me want to vomit. I try to shout, but only groans emerge. Oh, <sighs> Ah, uh, oh, fuck. I think I could actually get into this. Look at this hard on man. Jesus, dude. Just fuck him already so I can have a turn. I'm next. 
Okay, I'm gonna... Um, I don't know how far this is gonna go from here, but this is right about to approach the point where I have to pull the plug. Um, let me hide the image for a moment. <laughs> and let me go a couple of things forward without any audio and see if this keeps going. Because if so, we're gonna have to stop the demo from here. The demo is supposed to be safe for work, but goddamn. Let me just mute that desktop audio. One of the men pulls off my pants and underwear. That's the last line I'm going to read unless this stops like immediately. Um, uh, the... One minute. One minute. Hmm. It's still going. It's been safe for work this whole time. It's just been very disgusting. It just still feels like it could still happen at any second. One second. Oh, I just heard the loudest moan. Huh. Did that actually happen? Okay, well, we're back. Um, should be fine from here. Do, 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 Um, I can definitely recap the audio in my sounds. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if that was super close. Um, so essentially, that scene kept going on. Um... And then it looked like somebody attacked them from behind right when it was starting to get real fucked up. Um, but yeah, it was, it was some pretty disgusting shit. Um, from where we stopped with one of the men pulls down my pants and underwear. Yeah, we got like a... Oof. Though I flail my legs, I can't offer much meaningful resistance with my arms pinned. Soon my lower body is fully exposed. <laughs> Man, seeing his junk is really harshing my boner. Not mine. Oh shit, wait, you ever done it from behind before? Yeah, they, they, they were real disgusting. Rough hands slide up my thighs to my ass, and then fingers press. Yep, yeah, nope, okay, nope, nope, nope. That's where we stopped that. Anyway, then we kept hearing little voices in the background. He said disappear, and then we woke up here. <sighs> What's that smell? It feels familiar. Some kind of spice? Cinnamon? Slowly opening my eyes, I see someone standing a short distance away. Safe for work, huh? I mean... <laughs> to be fair, they did cut out what could have been a very gratuitous sex scene. I don't know how far the safe for work version goes. But yeah, as soon as... They didn't technically say anything about penetration. They got real fucking close to it, and then they stopped. That was pretty wild. I did not expect it to go anywhere near that far. I thought, if anything, like, we were going into that scene, I was like, they'll cut it off soon. They'll stop when they start saying something dirty. They just kept fucking going, man. Slowly opening my eyes, I see someone standing a short distance away. The giant. What was his name? Mink. What is he doing? He's gazing solemnly at a burning candle. Is he saying something? I can't make it out. I wonder what he's saying. What is he doing? And yeah, this demo is huge. I said three to five hours, but man, we've already been going for six and a half. I wake once again with a splitting headache. I open my eyes to a cracked, filthy ceiling. Where am I? What happened? That happened. Right, they were about to rape me. What happened after that? I'm fully dressed. At any rate, this looks like a different room. Okay, so it didn't actually happen, thankfully. They got real fucking close. And then, yeah, it looks like Mink probably knocked the other ones out. At least they did, like, yeah. Cut that off where it was supposed to. And yeah, people are saying the CG was probably what made it like a safer work version. It shows like more in the CG. Yeah. 
At any rate, this looks like a different room. I have to take my medicine. Wait, my bag. Where'd my bag go? Ren was in there. <laughs> Thankfully, nothing happened. Yeah, for now. I mean, worst case scenario, look at that. Uh, we, we've done the entirety of Fada Morgana. Fada Morgana had a pretty dramatic, uh, pretty graphic scene that was like that. So we've done worse on the channel. It's just, yeah, that was not fun to watch. I heard the door open and bolt out of bed, momentarily forgetting the pain. Who is it? Mink? No, it's some other fuckboy. You're awake. A gangly slouching man pokes his head through the rusty metal door. When he sees me, he grins and enters the room. Who the hell? How you feeling? <laughs> You've had it rough. <sighs> It's nothing personal. No one can defy Ming's orders. Not that we have any idea what he's thinking. <laughs> I have no idea what the man's on about. I glare at him, willing him to go away. Don't look so scared. I'm not here on Link's order. Daro. You're... Alba, right? How do you know my name? Oh shit, this is the guy from the phone! Oh, that's not good. That may be worse than anything else. I knew it. You're Alba from Humdrum Junk. You know Humdrum Drunk? Ah, uh, Yeah, I used to be a pretty regular customer. He smiles happily. Maybe it's just because of what I've been through, but the shop's name is music to my ears. Knowing he was a customer makes me feel a certain kinship. I want to drop my guard. Do not drop your guard, Alba. But I don't. There's something off about this guy. He can't seem to sit still. And that's not all. I can't believe I ran into you here. I'm so excited to finally meet you. Oh, uh, uh, oh yeah. What is that? I know, right? So, like, I heard we were holding you. I had a brilliant idea. You're gonna let me go to be my hero? <gasps> what if I let you go? Why'd you say that so aggressively, though? Are you serious? Of course I am. So what do you say? Good idea or what? I'll let you go, Alba. I'll let you come home with me. I'll never let anyone else ever get near you again, Alba. You're only for me. But isn't this place crawling with that mink guy's people? Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. I'll come up with something. Come up with something? Like, what specifically? I said don't worry about it. Yeah, but what are you going to do? You don't know when to quit. I told you I'd handle it, didn't I? Did he just shoot me? That sounded like a gun click. Yeah, I'll, uh, fair. Suddenly, the man's expression changes, and he pulls a gun on me. He smiles, but it doesn't reach his eyes, which are wide as plates. 
もっと声を聞かせてくれよなあ Look, it'll be totally fine. I'll get you out of here, so just let me hear your voice some more, please. Koi, my voice? So da yo. Ebon ni denwa suru to daita itsu mo anta ga deru da ro. Yeah, you're the one who usually answers the phone, aren't you? Anta no koi. Hajimete kiita toki ni kiki hore chatte sa. それからよく電話したんだよ。あんたの声を聞くために。I fell in love with your voice the first time I heard it. After that, I kept calling just to hear your voice again. So his only interest in the store is me. Admittedly, he's not the only customer who calls because of my voice. もっとさ俺のためにいろんな声を聞かせてくれよ。聞きたいんだよな。I just wanna hear you use that pretty voice for me. I wanna hear it all, please. The man climbs onto the bed, gun still in hand. He shoves the weapon in my face when I try to get up. 動くな。逃げようとしたら撃つ。Don't move. If you try to run, I'll shoot. Betsy, Dado, Elmonjanesi, Orevatada, Antano Coenga Kitai da Kenandayo. What's the big idea? I just want to hear your voice. You can talk, can't you? The man gropes my face, panting heavily. Oh, gross. Why does this keep happening to me? Ah, my head. Shit. Why does it have to start up again now? <laughs> the door flies open. The man goes wide as a sheet and spins around, dropping the gun. There in the doorway stands Mink. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry! Mink marches into the room and grabs the panicking man by the collar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get your ass over here. Ow. Mink grabs me by the arm and hauls me off of the bed. Mink drags us both into the hall, attracting curious looks from the men standing there. He pulls us through an open door at the end of the hall. It leads to the room where those men attacked me. Several men are already there. With us plus the Gorkas from the hallway, the room is filled to capacity. <gasps> Mink tosses me aside and throws the other guy to the ground. Mink, sir. Mink, sir. Mink, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All the color drained from his face. He crawls backwards on his ass, staring wide eyed up at Mink. Mink! Mink! I don't think I like the sound of that. This whole fucking part has been very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. Looks like someone's gonna get disciplined. Sure does. But what did this chuckle fuck even do? Well, so why is this dude so good looking? <laughs> in the middle of like everybody else in this place, this one dude is just like bishy as fuck. <laughs> Beats me. Must have been a massive fuck up. Whatever it was, Mink is pissed. Think that other guy is in for it too? Wait, I is here? Oh, my normal comment grabber didn't grab her. Oh, YouTube crashed. That, yeah, we have been oh, going for a while. Shut up, second Fu Chan. Oh, I missed Aya's comments. She likes Mink. <laughs> she likes the guy who just had us ganked, for lack of a better word. We'll go with ganked. We'll go with ganked. <laughs> we got ganked because of Mink. <laughs> she said she has a figure of Mink. Fair. No problem with that. He's a fictional character. Fictional situations, you can enjoy whatever the hell you like. 
I like his bad end, okay? Don't judge me. I ain't judging you whatsoever. I, <laughs> right now, it's a very raw wound for me. <laughs> I had to censor that shit. This is supposed to be the censored version of the game, and I had to be like, nah, nah, nah. That's gone far enough. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, that's a fine. Yeah, no, if you like Mink, awesome. But yeah, like whatever you like. I don't even know his character properly yet. I mean, he did some fucked up shit to us, but he stopped it before it got too bad. I mean, too bad is a, a weird way to... He stopped it before it got absolutely fucked up and messed up in the worst kind of way. But yeah, we'll learn more about him as we go on. <laughs> Gotta be. Disciplined. That can't mean anything good. But thanks for swinging by, Aya. Wait. Why is the creepy guy so good looking? That's not right. Please... Have mercy! Mink looks down at the man stone-faced and grabs him by the collar. Ah! There's a dull thwack, the sound of bone against bone, and the man's head snaps back like a ragdoll's. He twitches once, twice, eyes rolling back to show the whites. Blood spurts from his mouth and pieces of tooth drop to the floor like grains of rice. This mink guy has to be crazy strong to knock a man out with one punch like that. While I'm staring drop dumbstruck at the spectacle, all eyes go to me. I really don't like where this is going. Some of the men are grinning. Their smiles say, You're next. Oh, hell no! First I'm almost ganked, and now I'm gonna get beaten to a pulp? What did I do? <laughs> As if to make matters worse, my head starts throbbing too. I don't have my bag, so I don't have my medicine or Ren. There's no way I'm making a break for it. Not with this many guys surrounding me. I'm fucked. Not yet, buddy. So far, it's only been foreplay. The channel commends you for having the balls to stream this game. <laughs> I mean, I heard how bad it was. I thought the censored version would cut away earlier than what we got. But yeah, this has been wild. Mink takes one step toward me. <laughs> Fuck off. Just leave me alone. I drop back and Mink follows, closing the gap with his long sides. I could still see the man out of the corner of my eye, lying in a pool of his own blood. I don't want to end up like that. I brace myself for the impact. But then... Mm -hmm. You're coming with me. Instead of punching my lights out, Mink grabs my arm and starts walking towards the door. The fuck? He's not getting disciplined? Ugh. You mean Mink didn't bring that guy to beat on him? Fuck if I know. How else is he good for? The fuck does he want? I think he dragged that guy out here to beat him to death in front of me. To show him like, hey, this guy touched you, I murder him. You don't get touched. So yeah. <laughs> the crowd shoots piercing glares at my way as we pass. I guess they were all convinced I was in for a beating. Hell, even I thought so. Mink obviously hears what they're saying, but he doesn't react in the slightest. What's going to happen to me now? But he ordered them to? Yeah, that might have been to send him a message. I don't know what's up with Mink yet. Is that romantic? Oh, it's definitely not romantic. It's a power play, if anything. He's showing him he's in control. Beating the other guy to death may have just been like, Hey, nobody gets to touch you that way but me. You are mine. You belong to me. He has got a giant collar around his throat. Maybe he's going to collar us too? And also, yeah, to anyone who, like, feels uncomfortable and needs to leave this stream, feel perfectly fine. This isn't really creeping me out in any huge way. I've seen much worse than this in media, and yeah, it's like, it's a game. Like, if you can't take it as a game, fair enough to leave. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's a game. It's a bunch of criminals fucking around and doing fucked up shit. We've seen worse, but yeah, we actually have seen worse than... That sex scene was pretty fucked up. It didn't actually lead to sex. It still wasn't as bad as Father Morgana, where we ended up crying our fucking eyes out at shit that happened, so. <sighs> we do it okay. But yeah, if it makes you uncomfortable or anyway, feel free to head out. It's all good.
Do not worry about it. This is a very adult game. Mink takes me back to the room I woke up in. Let go! Once we're inside, I shake his hand off. Mink moves away from me and takes a seat on the bed, staring at me with his unreadable eyes. I'm more than a little intimidated, but I meet his stare with a scowl. This is the kind of man who can strike without warning, without a hint of his intentions showing on his face. He has an almost eerie calm. When he looks at you, it's like he can see exactly who you are and what you're thinking. Like a predator staring down prey. That's why I know I can't show any weakness, even if that means bluffing. What are you after? Why'd you bring me here? Where's Granny? Why'd you bash that guy's face in? He was just following your orders like the others, wasn't he? So why'd you do it? No, not him. No one was supposed to enter your room. Not him. You think I care? What do you want? You want to watch me get ganked? You need to learn where you are. Huh? Huh? What about the three guys from earlier, buddy? I'll say it one more time. That man was not acting on my orders. He did that all on his own. Because your voice enthralled him. Are you slut shaming me right now, sir? <laughs> my voice? I resist the urge to ask what he means. It's true. That man was obsessed with my voice. But how does Mink know that? Ultimately, why he did it doesn't matter. He disobeyed my orders, and I can't let that go. Rules are rules. <laughs> now I'm even more confused. How do you know about my voice? Answer me. And tell me what happened to Granny, too. I don't know. You were my only objective. Huh? Huh? And what about Granny? While I'm still struggling to wrap my head around this, Mink pulls something from his coat pocket and shows it to me. Now what is this? <gasps> it's my headache medicine. I reach for it, but he pulls away. Kaze! Give it to me! Not something you want to say when you've just... <laughs> oh shit. Dude, everything's an innuendo. Answer the question. It's just headache medicine. It's this isn't something you buy in a drugstore. Granny's a doctor. I don't know anything else about it. You're like a junkie. Huh? Huh? Mink tucks the medicine back into his coat and gets up off the bed. He opens the door and speaks a few words to someone in the hall. A few moments later, two men enter the room, dragging something behind them. They drop their cargo in the middle of the room and leave. The cargo is people. Two men dressed in black are laying face down on the floor. Looking closely, I can tell they're still so breathing. Be. Meet him, Two more members of Morphine? Well, look at their necks. Necks? I lean forward. Yeah. <gasps> two more members of Morphine, maybe the two from my house. Which clearly is not his gang, so he's up to something else, my dude. Morphine's tag. And that's not all. 
Each has a black square beneath the wings and halo. Another tag was blacked out. I could still see part of the original pattern. Unless I'm mistaken, that's... Do I just... Oh, shit. They repurposed them immediately. They brainwashed them already and made them morphine? Holy fuck. I left one of the men by the shoulder to get a look at his face. I know him. He's a member of Dry Juice. They were in your house before we got there. Most of them had already gone by the time we arrived. They were the last two left. Do you get it now? We had nothing to do with your grandmother. But then what happened to her? I don't know. But we did track down the others who were there. Really? Then... First, we need to come to an agreement. Like I said, you're my objective. I brought you here to confirm my suspicions. I got the answers I needed. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I, I just realized. Um. How do I get. Oh, that. I don't think I'll be able to go back far and. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, that's way back. Um. Need to go back to the ganking scene. Because when they were doing the the voice that was like shouting at the people trying to gank me. Like there were all these dot dot dots. But while there were dot dot dots, there was a very quiet voice in them. I'm sorry that I, I mean, I had to skip that. I don't think that would have been fine for YouTube. But throughout the voice, there was like a voice that eventually said, Kaiste, disappear. But it was like slowly coming in. It was like, Kaiste, Kaiste, Kaiste. Um, I'm wondering if that was Alba's like voice power. The thing that, like, can control him sometimes, can help him get out of problems. And maybe the drugs are what's keeping that from taking over. Maybe the drugs are stopping him from slipping into his other personality. His alter ego, whatever the fuck it is. And that's it. He, this guy's trying to detox him to wake him up. Now, you're going to do whatever I tell you. And in return, I'll help you with your little problem. Oreno? What? problem I'll help you find your grandmother no. how am I supposed to believe that for all I know this might become some kind of sick game he already put this they already been in that he already put me through this once before wow that doesn't explain what happened to the dry juice guys blacking out the dry juice tags and putting morphines over the top that's not something he could have put together this quickly, right? If you don't believe me, you can look for her for yourself. It's up to you. I hate to admit it, but I don't think I can find her on my own. If Morphine really was involved, I wouldn't even know where to start. You said I was your goal. What exactly do you want me for? You don't need to know that right now. What you need is to decide if you're on board or not. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't really have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> oh, God. Mink is interesting, to be sure. If, yeah, if he knew I had that power, interesting. The demo ends before the actual routes begin. Yeah, I know that for sure. They wouldn't like let us go down a route in the demo. That would be silly. I think they wanted to introduce every character and they were just like very slow into getting into everything. 
Um, but yeah, to the person who asked how long is the demo, we don't have any idea. I, I thought it was like between three and five hours. We've now been going for six and a half, so <laughs> we'll see. If you have to go to bed, go to bed. Don't worry. The VOD may disappear. I I'm not going to lie. Like with everything we did see, it may disappear. But we'll see. You're going to keep playing offline? We'll see. I, I want to be able to play the whole game, but Ugh, I'm not sure if we'll get permission for that. But yeah, this was supposed to be like a way to open up, maybe get in positions, but we'll see. I don't have a choice. Normally, I'd want nothing to do with this guy, but I don't have a choice. Okay. We're leaving. Get ready. He takes my pills out of his pocket and tosses them at me. I barely managed to catch the bottle. I think about taking some, but then I realize what Mink said. We're leaving? But where's my bag? As Mink leaves, a colorful cockatoo flies into the room. It's carrying something in its talons. My bag! I did not expect that voice, but honestly, I'm so down. That's sick. Here's your stuff. The bird's an old man, obviously. I'm not mistaken, I saw it on Mink's shoulder earlier. You're Mink's old man? That's right. After replying, it flies back out through the door. While trying to wrap my head around Mink's surprising choice of companion, I pick up my bag and look inside. Everything's there. My coil and my ball of dark blue fur. I don't see any damage to my coil or to Ren. First, I pull out my coil and slip it back onto my arm. The missed call notification is flashing. <sighs> oh, Kojaku's been worried about me. <laughs> Whoa, he really needs to learn how to trace my phone number like a good stalker. My call history is full to bursting. All the calls are from Kojaku. I quickly call him back. Yeah, he must have been so worried, the poor boy. Alba? No. Yeah. You, where the hell have you been? Sorry. You didn't pick up. I was going crazy here. I just got a little tied up. I'm heading back now. I'll explain when I see you. Got it. I'm at the humdrum junk right now. So I'll meet you there. No. Okay. The sound of Kojaku's voice has brought me back to reality. Dry juice, granny, my kidnapping and near gank. It felt like a nightmare, but no. It was all real. And it's not over. Time to get going. I down some pills, pick up my bag, and leave the room. I feel like that would be a good place to end the dem. Nope. Damn. This part of the city's been demolished. Holy Fuck. Once we get outside, I realize that we're in the North Quarter. Together, Mink and I heard from the East Quarter. I don't know how long I was in that gloomy building, but now the sun is high in the sky. Mink leads me through the back streets like he's trying to avoid attention. I'm not sure if this is just his preference or if he has a good reason to stay out of sight. My headache has largely subsided, but I'm still not feeling 100%. So my pace is slow and I start to lag behind. Every time he turns a corner, I worry I might lose sight of him. Yeah, as usual, we'll continue the route of Alba being a brat. Hey, wait. I hurry around the corner. Wait, why am I doing that voice? I hurry around the corner expecting Mink to be almost out of sight. But Mink is standing there, staring down at me. As I freeze, he immediately turns away and resumes walking. <laughs> I love him. He was like, oh, he called out to me. I better stop. Nope, he caught up with me. That's fine. Let's keep going. He's a man of few words. Very simple. <laughs> we walk for a while in silence. Eventually, the scenery turns familiar. We're almost at humdrum drunk. The thought nearly brings tears to my eyes. Just as the store comes into view, a shadow falls over me. And he came from the fucking sky again. <laughs> Clear? Is he okay? 
He landed face first. But a second later, he jumps up and embraces me. Master, How did none of my stalkers? I have two stalkers. And one person who's just kind of showing up where I show up. Not confirmed a stalker yet. But I have two stalkers. How did both of them miss me? <laughs> Master, I'm so glad to see you. Where did you go? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well. Oh, there we go. He heard the voice again. So he heard me telling the, uh, the, the, the dicks to get the fuck away from me, to disappear. He can hear that voice from wherever he is. Oh. As long as you're safe. Last night I heard your voice from far away. I was so worried. My voice? Hi. Yes. Last night. That's when Mink kidnapped me. Did you really hear me? Oh my god, I've completely erased all of my past memories i'm just like ah, did, you, did you really hear me i'm so confident again everything i went through last night i'm just bouncing back like it's nothing at all did you really hear me yes i did i could never mistake your voice master <laughs> really thanks i guess Ore? huh Claire stares at me strangely for a moment and grabs my cheeks and tugs. Not again! Now I'm extra loosey goosey? What the fuck? Oh my god, no! No! Not after what happened! Don't say that line! You know, Master, you're kind of loosey goosey today. I wonder why. You of all people should know better, Master. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? I step back to escape his grasp. That's when I noticed Mink watching us. I have a sinking feeling. Like I know exactly what he's thinking. Walk about awkward. Well, please come inside, Master. Wait, wait, was Mink thinking it too? Okay. Oh, damn it. Hey, buddy. Aoba. Aoba kun. Aoba kun. Oh, my family. Except for my kidnapped grandma. Potaku and Mr. Haga's face light up when they see me. They run up to me breathless. Are you okay? More or less. Thank goodness. Hey. And Manu here is okay too? I'm right here. Ren pops his head out of my bag to look up at Benny, who's sitting on Kojaku's shoulder. That guy in the gas mask found me, saying you'd been kidnapped or something. I didn't believe it at first, but then I couldn't get a hold of you. I didn't believe it at first, yeah, about Tai. She's in some trouble. I tried Tai, but I couldn't get through to her either. I mean, I know she's never been a fan of coils, but... He looks past me, skull... Staring. Hey, isn't that... Oh, right. Damn it. Damn, he really does hate everyone. <laughs> everyone he comes across, he's like, Teme, Kono. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're the leader of Scratch, aren't you? Scratch? Wait, isn't that the Rip Gang made up of escaped prisoners? Oh, shit, we did hear about that earlier. This is the guy who broke out of prison. Right. Huh? How did you not know? I mean, I've never really seen Scratch's tag before. <laughs> Mink lets out a contemptuous snort. The building he had me in was so dark and dirty, I couldn't get a good look at anything. But thinking back, maybe I did see a tag. Oh, so it is Scratch, we just couldn't see the H. Somebody told me it was Scratto! 
Why did you guys tell me it was cut? <laughs> I got like anti vaccinated. That's funny. <laughs> I recall what I know about Scratch. Supposedly, it's made up of guys their leader busted out of prison. The police are barely functioning as it is, so as long as they don't make too much trouble, it's not worth rounding them up. Oh, that explains the discipline thing. Keeping hardened criminals in line can't be easy, especially not in a town like this. Especially not when they're... Sunny Brisugo! They need rules for the gang to function, and harsh punishments for anyone who breaks them. New meat, huh? <laughs> Don't challenge the cockatiel, my friend. Betty is glaring at the cockatiel. The cockatoo turns away like he couldn't care less. What a lovely cockatoo. <laughs> it really is beautiful. I love how everybody's just being so nice about the cockatoo. Meanwhile, Ming's probably sitting there like, Don't look at my bird. What's my bird? <laughs> Think you can get away with ignoring me? Punk ass bitch. <laughs> This one's got a mouth, huh? Not much use for a sparrow that can't swing sweet, sing sweetly. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Who do you think you are? Then he puffs himself up into a ball. I guess he's got an especially short temper when it comes to other birds. God, they act just like their owners. <sighs> This has been such a long stream. Things were bad enough already. Now I have to deal with this shitbag. Why don't you be a good little criminal and scurry on back to your cell? You're in no position to talk. What? Why the fuck are you here with Alba? Just try laying a finger on him. I dare you. That's none of your business either. Huh? Huh? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? I don't like where this is going. This is literally every time Kojaku meets anybody. Now, now. Calm down. Why don't we go inside already? We're blocking the door. Kojaku shoots Mink another glare, which Mink meets unflinchingly. Great. We just got here and I'm already exhausted. Fantastic. Humdrum's basement has a couch and a table which we use for informal meetings. We all gather down there. Mr. Haga seems to realize something's going on because he heads right back upstairs after showing us down. Mr. Haga is way too nice to us, man. <laughs> the fact that he lets us skip out on work, just leave in the middle of the day. And now this. Two people show up and seem like they're about to murder each other, plus a third one who's adorable. And he's just like, well, I'll let the boys be boys. Bye. What a CG, though. Nice. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm over here next to them. I've got my own seat. Perfect. Kojaku, Clear, Mink, and I sit on the couch. Right. Let's pick up where we left off. What happened to Miss Tae? I couldn't get a hold of her, and considering what happened to you and all. I know she hates coils, and I'm hoping that's all it is. But if it's not... Sorega. Yeah. As I trail off, Kojaku flashes a frowning... Ra frowning a, a knowing frown. Naniota. A frowning no? What's wrong with my brain? Something happened, didn't it? <laughs> she was kidnapped. Dare ni? By who? Morphine. Morphine. Kojaku snorts at this. <laughs> huh? What? You're a funny guy. 
Morphine? You're gonna tell me they disappeared her too? She ain't got nothing to do with Rib. Kojak. Kojaku, I saw it with my own eyes. I saw Morphine's tag. Seriously? I tell him about how I arrived home to find Granny gone, and about Mink, and about those Morphine Dry Juice members. I know mentioning that Mink kidnapped me would just add fuel to the fire, so I gloss over the details. I definitely don't tell him about the almost ganking. Kojaku listens intently. Once I've finished, he lets out a small sigh and leans back into the couch. <laughs> the burb looks so grumpy. <laughs> that makes me happy. I still can't believe it. You sure those morphine tags weren't just this asshole fucking with you? Kojaku glares at Mink. This guy's a fucking criminal. <laughs> I fucking love Claire being in the middle of all this too. Claire just doesn't know what's going on. He's just like, huh? Morphine? Huh? Master, what's going on? Anyway, do we want food, Master? I could get some food for us. <laughs> Believe what you want. Yeah. Where do you get off telling us shit? Whatever you're planning, leave us the fuck out of it. That's up to you. That's up to him, not you. Mink points to me with his pipe. He accepted my conditions in exchange for my help finding his grandmother. The deals between him and me. First I've heard of it. What the hell are these conditions? I don't have to tell you that. I will say I have a lead on his grandmother's location. My men tracked down the guys who kidnapped her. If you don't believe me, that's your problem. <laughs> Kojaku turns to me. His eyes are asking, what are you going to do? I already know the answer. I totally understand Kojaku's suspicions. It's not like I trust Mink either. But Mink is the only one with a clue where Granny might be. I don't have a choice. Kojaku, please. I just want to save Granny. I don't know what else to do. Please. Help. Alba. Alba. Gradually, the anger fades from Kojaku's face, but there's still a fire in his eyes. Well, shit. <laughs> Kojaku's growing on me. That was pretty good. That was very princely, very knightly. It's very... It feels like he should be the sweet hero of this story. Other than maybe Claire. Claire seems to be the only one who's like more adorable than Kojaku. Fine. If you're that intent on doing this, I'll help. I'll just have to take your word that this guy's on the level. Thanks. No problem. After all, it's for you. Kojaku shoots Mink another glare. Mink blows out a puff of white smoke, then glances over at the stairs. Oh. Hmm? Oh, my bad. At first, I think he's just trying to rile Kojaku up by ignoring him, but no. His eyes are sharp, like a hawk's. Is something there? No. Show me noise! Hey. Mink gestures at the cockatoo with his chin. It flies through the door to the stairs. There's some clattering, then the bird returns with something in its talons. Oh, he's just been spying on us. Okay. What the hell is that? Some kind of block? That's... 
The bird is holding a cube. Wait, I've seen this thing before. Okay, so I do in fact have three stalkers. How would none of my three stalkers able to stop me being fucking kidnapped? <sighs> Noise. It's him again. Someone needs to be taught some manners. Him again. Is he dropping his hobby or something? Oh, so that's what I heard at the door earlier. You know this guy, the guy this belongs to? I guess you could say so. Hmm. A guy who knows the value of intel would be useful. Mink grabs me by the arm and whispers into my ear. Get him to join us. Huh? Persuade him like you do on the phone at work. I do have voice powers. I can, like, yeah, do siren kind of shit, make people bow to my will. Sick. What do you even want with him? We could use someone clever. The more cards we have, the better. Hey, what are you whispering about over there? Ming lets me go and I sit back. I'm pretty sure Mink was talking about my voice. But getting noise on our side? Easier said than done. Will I really be able to persuade him like I do with customers? I face the cube the cockatoo is holding and take a deep breath. I'm not crazy about the idea. I don't know noise or Mink very well. But Granny's in danger. I have to give it a shot. Focusing. How does it feel when I speak to customers on the phone? I make my voice soft and low. Noise. Noise. That's you, right? Can you hear me? So, I'm kind of in trouble. To be totally honest, things might be pretty hard with just the four of us. So, did you think you could lend me a hand? And then, when everything's over... I'll do whatever you want. Over. Damn! Harlot! How could he? In front of all of his other men! Alba. Please. I could really use your help. I wasn't sure if it worked, but a few minutes later, Noise showed up at Hondron Drunk. Ah, oh, shit. They're all here. Well, if it isn't the consequences of my actions. <laughs> Kozaku, Clear, Mink, and Noise. Oh, this is totally where the demo is going to end. Right before. We're going to, like, head out on some mission, and then it will be like, play the rest soon. Getting this ragtag bunch together, it's nothing short of a miracle, really. Kojaku isn't happy, of course, but he's just going to have to deal with it. I give Noise a brief rundown of the situation to get him up to speed. Dry juice is the biggest rib gang. Isn't Dry Juice the biggest rib gang? Yeah. There aren't exactly a lot of places on this island you could hide that many people. Yeah. My guy's a bit searching too, but nothing. I checked the rooftops, but nothing there either. So there's some place hidden. What do you mean? I mean, we've got to consider places that are normally off limits. Exactly. Well, this is why we need an information freak. Mania, Are you calling a freak? Mink makes a casual gesture with his pipe. Your grandmother was taken north towards Kaysen. Kaysen? 
ケイセン確かにあの辺には使われてないビルやら倉庫やらが山ほどあるな。There's a lot of abandoned buildings and warehouses up there. 調べろ。Look into it. Ming thrust his pipe at noise like a general's baton. お前に命令される覚えはねえけど。Since when do I take orders from you? Kokan Joken Skide, Koitsno Harashini not done the Roma. Mendo Nakota, Toto to Kataske. We're never going to get to see Clear's face, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and never rends human form again either. Damn it. I know you're not helping out of the kindness of your heart. I just want things taken care of quickly. Don't you? <laughs> not wrong, though. Oh, the cube's going nuts. You good, Cube? Noise answers with a sneer, then opens the screen on his coil and gets to work. Hey, why do you get to call the shots? No one else is stepping up. Ah? Say what? Just as I'm afraid Kojaku's going to launch himself at Mink, the cockatoo sitting on Mink's shoulder looks up from his preening. All this shouting is a waste of energy. You're not wrong. Ah,、uh, again. You stay the fuck out of this. Then he glares at the cockatoo from Kojaku's shoulder, puffing his feathers up. They say all mates resemble their own. The fuck is that? You think you're hot shit? Everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's busy doing the actual work, dickheads. Cutting in, noise turns his coil stream around so we can see it. The screen shows a map of the old residential district. There's a blinking red triangle on the map. This is Kaysen. I'm getting errors trying to access the network there. ネットワークが機能してないけどここだけエラーのデータに不自然なブランクが混じってる Normally there's no network service at all in restricted areas but the error logs from this particular spot are full of blank files つまりこれはフェイクだ機能してないように見せかけてる Basically it's fake Someone's trying to make it look like the network is down 当たりか So that's where they are かもな Could be There used to be a garbage processing facility there. I should have known that wasn't the end of that sentence. That's the one they shut down a few years ago, right? It's supposed to be off limits. Now, there are still rumors that the place is off limits. I hear people still dump shit there. It's not like anyone's watching. I'm sorry. 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 I'm It's not definite, but it seems worth checking out. Yeah, Hold on, we don't know anything about the area. Charging in sounds like suicide.、Uh, actually, I'm quite familiar with that area. Fucking <laughs> clear finding being useful. Let's go. The same the time for your jokes. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Of course, I really do know the area. I used to take walks around there all the time. Is Clear like an animal or something? Is he, is he like. I feel like he may be like an all mate that's been placed into like a human all mate body. Like maybe he used to be like a puppy dog or a cat or something. And now they've put him in like a human body, but he's still an all mate. <laughs> he's, he's just so adorable, man.、Mm -hmm. And yeah, no spoilers in chat, just in case. I would explain the master thing. Huh? What's wrong? Why'd everyone go so quiet? Don't tell me you don't believe me. Yame te go da sai yo mo. Honto ni shitte run desu yo. Chanto chizu da te kake te shima un desu kara ne. Please. I really don't know the area. I can draw you a map and everything. Indignant at our reaction, Clear shoves his hand into his coat pocket and pulls out a pen and paper. And there. Clear's pen dances across the paper. Hi! This is so adorable. Are you shitting me? Scary dog! Aww. 
Main Street, Main Street, Main Street, Main Street. How are they all Main Street? That can't be right. Light number five here. But the scary dog is so cute. <laughs> Done. Oi, oi. Oh, come on, is this thing for sure, real? Sure. Compare them. Ming snatches Clear's map and tosses it at noise. It does line up. So you're saying it's right? I told you, you're all so mean. <laughs> I fucking love him. He's adorable. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, I guess we don't have to worry about getting lost. Now we just have to go and check it out. We have to check it out. Yeah, this is a weird group. Everybody kind of hates each other. <laughs> Kojaku looks at the others with disgust. You mean this bunch of freaks? Damn. That's rich coming from you. Shut the fuck up. I'm not a matching wavelengths with any of you. If I'm doing this, I'm doing it my own way. So we're splitting up? Better not get in my way, kid. This is what I mean. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? I do not have a deep enough voice. To the point where I can actually separate this many deep voices. <laughs> they all sound the same now because I'm just like, everybody has a deep voice. He's slightly more energetic. He's slightly less energetic. <laughs> everybody splitting up is the best course of action. Even if we come up with a plan, there's no guarantee everyone will follow in. Especially with this group. That's what I've been saying. I was talking about you and the guy in the gas mask. Say what? Oh, me? You're so mean. I just want to be bestest friends with all of you. <laughs> I love him. It's not even just his master anymore. He's like, come on, we can all be friends, guys. I think I threw up in my mouth a little. Yeah. Come on. Nope. I never really thought this was going to work, but this really isn't going to work. They're not even trying to work together. Oh, hey, gas mask. Yo, gas mask, shut up already. This is annoying enough as it is. You do not tell him to shut up. He's a good boy. Take your own advice, why don't you? Oh, you guys are so mean. I'm not annoying. Here they go. They're just going to keep going. Here I am, racking my brain over what to do, and they're bickering like children. This isn't the time for this shit. Granny might be in serious danger. We've already figured out where we need to go. We should be on our way already. But these guys... These guys... Oh, that sounded metallic. Is that his command? He's from Dune! He has the command voice from Dune! Knock it off already! I immediately regret my outburst. It's not like they're gonna listen to me anyway. Uh, Ari? Uh, huh? Suddenly the bickering stopped. Why? Uh, what? Alba's right. We need to knock this shit off. It's a total waste of time, anyway. <laughs> well, let's just move then. Yeah, let's do that. The atmosphere in the room has done a complete 180. As one, the four men rise from the couch. Suddenly, they're all on the same page. Well, whatever. Alright, let's get going. I collect myself and join them. Granny, I'm gonna save you. And Mizuki and the rest of Dry Juice, too. We leave the shop and head for the North Quarter. <laughs> I love how he still doesn't realize the power that he has. He's still just constantly being like, yo. 
uh, they listen to me for some reason. That's cool. Okay, let me check something. I'm going to mute for a minute. I'm going to check how the frick close we are to the end of this because uh, I cannot do much more. If we've got like a half an hour left, I'll be fine. If we've got like an hour to an hour and a half left, yeah, I'm going to have to stop for the day. We're just going to have to call this quits. But yeah, just give me a second. I'll just mute for a minute and look up the only other person I've seen that's played the whole demo. long demo yeah we've got about 40 minutes left by how long this guy <laughs> this guy took to play it so that could be like an hour for me that could be like 40 minutes we're gonna finish it we're close to the end we're so close to the end i say we finish it i should have split it into two <laughs> fucking i should have split this into two but we we've done what we've done we're gonna keep doing kaisen is a ghost town fallen into ruin Ever since it was designated off-limits, it's become a dumping ground for all sorts of garbage. I was a refuse from old furniture to rusted trucks to adorn the carcasses of warehouses and factories. Of course there's no one around. This place is eerie. We proceed quickly, clear leading the way, keeping a watchful eye on our surroundings. As I look up at the massive pile of trash, I remember something. This place looks just like that game. Game? Does it, bro? I mean, that was very fantasy oriented. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> the thing is, the, this thing I accidentally downloaded, it keeps updating itself. For some reason, the last one was a demo video instead of an actual game. It had a character who looked like Granny getting carried away by bats. They took her to a trash mountain. This place certainly fits the description. It's just a coincidence. Bro! <laughs> How could you see that as a coincidence? It's an old lady being dragged away to a trash mountain just like what happened. In a game? Nah, come on, dude. Probably. I just thought it was weird. The garbage processing facility should be up ahead. Ooh, go little cube friend. Definitely doing a thing. Noise shows us the map on his coil. It is. It should be the biggest building in the area. That looks like a good candidate. Alba isn't the brightest. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's right up ahead. Player jogs ahead of us. It used to take walks here? Talk about weird. As we pick our way between the mountains of trash, a massive building comes into view. That must be it. Just a moment. Player holds out an arm. What's wrong? I can hear them. They're there. Inside. Hear what? I can't hear a damn thing. I strain my ears to listen. But all I hear is the sound of the wind rustling through the trash. The clear seems deadly serious. I can hear them. Inside. Yeah, he's being incredibly serious. That's fucked up. <laughs> he's never this serious. Let's go. We approach the building cautiously. Reaching the wall, I put my ear against the concrete. Clear was right. Though faint, I can hear people inside. This is it. I touch the bag under my arm. Ren is sleeping inside. I stroke the top of my bag to assure myself of Ren's presence. We we're in a restricted area, so we deactivated our all mates to avoid detection from the signals they give off. We soon find a metal door slightly ajar. Kojaku peers through the crack, hugging the wall. Someone's there. We're all going in. 
うちのチームのやつらも近くに待機させてる。向こうがどんだけいるかわかんねえからな。I have some of my guys waiting nearby just in case. We don't know how many are in there. On our way over, we decided that Kojaku, Mink, and Claire and I will be going inside. Meanwhile, Noise will monitor the local network and erase any logs of our intrusion. Noise steps back, then goes to work on his coil. No problems here. Walk up to Noise, I glance. Let's walk up to Noise. I walk up to Noise and watch him at work. He just keeps typing, eyes fixed on the screen. What? Nothing. Just wondering how you were doing it. You don't think I can handle it? Didn't say that. I'm just nervous. Sorry to bother you. Ah, fucked up. I was not going to be able to do it, but I was not going to It's fine. I don't make mistakes. You, on the other hand, better not blow it. Crazy! <laughs> I know. Do you? Dick. Still, it's my fault for interrupting him. I head back to the others. Isn't this exciting? Ah, so bizarre! It's no. This isn't a game. Ixo. Let's go. At Ming's signal, Kojaku throws open the door. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Several men, all in black, are standing in the middle of the room. Morphine. They all turn towards us and charge. Kyunikita. Here they come. Shit, suddenly we're in a fucking horror game. <laughs> now we're talking. Bring it! <coughs> Ojaku and Mink charge to meet the men in black. Clear and I follow a few steps Kojak -san. behind. Kojak-san! Several Benny Shigure members enter behind us and leap into the fray. Nice! We've got a whole gang with us. Why didn't the other one, Scratch, bring his guy? <laughs> Kojaku's sword never stops swinging. Even as he signals his men with a glance, he keeps knocking down enemies left and right. Mink, meanwhile, is silent and methodical, flailing two or three men with each blow from his massive fists. <laughs> one comes after me, too. I try to dodge his strike, but his elbow catches my chin. Ow. Hey! He immediately launches another punch. I block it with my arm, but the punches keep coming. <laughs> Why don't you have anything better to do? Oh. Then I see his face. A chill runs up my spine. There's something wrong with his eyes. They're blank. Like a doll's eyes. And I'm sure I've seen him before, too. This guy's a member of Dry Juice. <gasps> He gets me on the shoulder while I'm distracted. The pain numbs my arm to the fingertips. That hurt. Asshole! Zombie? I'm thinking brainwashed. Mad Father's here too. <laughs> no, I'm thinking they're brainwashed by... Uh, probably the rich people on the left side of the island. They probably want to get rid of all of the poor people on the right side of the island and they're doing it this way, slowly replacing them. Acting on reflex, I throw a snap roundhouse kick. The blow nails him in the stomach. He folds over and crumples to the ground. These guys attacking us. Are they all dry juice? Whoa. Another fist flies at me from the side. I jump back hoping to gain some breathing room. Oh yeah. What happened to Claire? Let's look for Claire. Poor sweet boy. Scanning the room, I see Claire facing off with a group of black clothed men. Oh shit, he's gonna be a super badass, isn't he? He's gonna murder everyone. Yeah, here we go. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no more fighting, he says before punching one in the face. Oh my god, it turned into a comic panel. <laughs> He's so freaking adorable. <laughs> Clear's punch lays the man out flat. 
Well, whatever works. Meanwhile, my unease is growing. None of the guys we're fighting have spoken a word. The guy I kicked didn't even groan. They just keep coming like zombies or something, and their eyes are blank and empty. I look around to see if the others have noticed the same thing. That's when I see Kordaku duking it out with several of them at once. I go to help. Side to side, let's go! Kozaku! Kozaku! I run up and take position behind him. As the men swarm us, we fight them off. I with my kicks and Kozaku with his sword. Though he only uses the dull side of the blade. Alba, this is dry juice. Hey, Alba, aren't these guys with dry juice? So I was right. Kozaku noticed it too. Uh, yeah. Why are they attacking us? Shit. They did say they were the biggest gang. We're so screwed. Master, there's lots of noises deeper in the building. I think more are coming. So these guys were just keeping us busy. Mink immediately takes off deeper into the facility. Hey, don't run off on your own. Shit. Before Kojaku can run off after Mink, the men we've already taken down rise up like the living dead. As he mows them down with the back of his sword, Kojaku shouts over his shoulder. They just keep coming. I'll hold them off here. You go on ahead. Got it. Thanks. The sword's kind of badass, too. The way like, it goes down there and it comes back up, it kind of reminds me of Vivi's blade. There's no time to hesitate. I run off to Mink and Clear. I see a passage up ahead. Are they down there? Barreling down the hallway, we find our path blocked by three tall black clothed men. Shogunena. <sighs> Guess I'll have to deal with this. Yeah! Oi. <laughs> you. Get going. <laughs> huh? Mink greets the men running towards us with his fists. <laughs> <laughs> hurry up, gas mask. Hurry up. Wait, hurry up. Gas mask, you're with me. Why? I want to stay with Master. Mink grabs Clear by the back of the collar and pulls him to his side. His eyes bore into mine, demanding response. Um. I'll do as Mink says. He 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 knows what he's up to. Clear, I'm counting on you. Do what Mink says. You better not fuck this up. It wishes my command, Master. Another black clothed man rushes up. Yeah, please stop. <laughs> I love him. Those sound effects of him punching the little. It's so fucking cute, man. Get going already. Buddy. Thanks. I slip past them and run full speed for the door at the end of the hall. The little bubble pops. Yeah. Everybody has different fighting sounds, but Mings are just adorable. <laughs> Bursting through, I find myself outside. Before me stretches a wide, empty lot. Black fan and car are parked there. Several black-clothed men stand nearby. Three people climb out of the back of the car, a small figure sandwiched between two larger ones. When I see the person in the middle, I shout, Bata! Granny! Two men are holding her by the arms, dragging her towards the van's open door. The remaining men see me in charge. Wait... One of the black clothed men stops them. I can't see his face beneath his hood. Oh. This is gonna be my boy, isn't it? Mikazuki Mizak Mizuki Mizuki. The man who spoke steps away from the group and walks up to me. Slowly, with both hands, he pulls back his hood. When I see his face, my heart stops. <gasps> Mizuki, no! What did they do to you? He's got red. Okay, so he has his memories, but he also has red in his eyes. So they've done something different to him. They haven't completely erased him. They've just brainwashed him. Didn't think you'd come sniffing around here. 
<laughs> I should have known better. You always did like sticking your nose in other people's business. Mizuki? Why? Mizuki, why? Why are you... Mizuki watches me as I struggle to speak. An eerie smile on his lips. I was waiting for the guys I sent off to you. But if you're here, I guess they got caught. No. The Mizuki I never would never look at me like that with a sneer of utter contempt. What's wrong with you? What happened? We were worried when you guys disappeared like that. Oh, You've been brainwashed, buddy. That's not... Mm. Oh, that's what's bugging you? Listen, Alba. This shit is amazing. Dry juice has been reborn as part of morphine. Morphine? Morphine? So da. The one and only. Everyone was right. They are legends. Other rib gangs got nothing on them. Shit. They're practically gods. Are you serious? Do I sound like I'm joking? Dry juice will be unstoppable now. But technically, you're not dry juice anymore. You're morphine. Okay. 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 Morphine. Mizuki cackles, his mouth open wide. I can't believe it. Is this the guy I've known for years? The men around him don't even blink. They all have those blank, doll-like eyes. They all... It's almost like someone's controlling them. Mizuki! Step out of it, man! You're talking crazy! Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? You're the crazy one. I was crazy once. They put me in a room. A room with rubber rat. No, wait, a rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. <laughs> mean, you're the one who turned me down. All those times I asked you to join. One. Did you think Rib was just a big fucking joke? Of course not! Then why did you never join? You knew how serious I was. It's, it's not too late. The gang's stronger than ever. Join us as a member of the new Dry Juice. Fuck no, you guys are all puppets at this point. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd rather die. I know how passionate Mizuki is about Rib. That's why I give such a forceful reply. This isn't Mizuki. He frowns for a moment when he hears my response. But that weird smile quickly returns. Ah, so. So. His voice acting is really fucking good. Oh, I get it. You'd rather die, huh? Okay. If that's how it's gotta be. Leave her the fuck out of this, dude. You love your grandma, don't you, Alba? <gasps> no! Mizuki grabs Granny by the arm and pulls her toward him. Then presses something against her neck. A knife. Sweat cold and clammy ro Eh? Sweat. Cold and clammy runs down my back. Mizuki, Yamiro! Mizuki, stop it! I'll stop. Just as soon as you join my gang. <laughs> Granny squeezes her eyes shut, 
like she's preparing herself for what might happen. That only makes me more desperate. Let her go! You really don't get it, do you? I said join us. I said no! No? Anger flickers once more across his face. Oh shit, are we actually gonna get dead granny? Fuck. You think I'm bluffing? All bark, no bite? Fine! I'll show you some bites! Hold on! I hope you're happy with your decision. Mizuki! Mizuki! Stop! Mizuki presses the tip of his knife to Granny's throat. No. Stop! Granny! Granny! <laughs> I charge without a second thought. Reaching Mizuki, I grab his arm and look into his eyes. And then... The world twists around me. I felt this before. That's right. In rhyme. When noise forced me into that match. No. That wasn't the first time. I felt this even before that. A long, long time ago. Time to dive into his brain. Ren time? Yeah, I think we're doing our first proper battle. Oh yeah, now it's red instead of blue. We're like inside a mind instead of inside technology, I guess. I can't just control people with my voice. Oh. What? This is... Mizuki's shop. But something's different. It's packed so full of customers that they can barely move. And they're all... Missing their faces. They have only bright red mouths, open wide in glee. Tongues wriggling like worms. Even stranger. I can hear every word of their conversations. Aww. Uh, so lame. Wait, I can I can do better on this way. This is this one. Yeah, no, I'll take that off. This way over here. There we go. Yeah, rhyme is way better. Everyone's playing. So so. Everyone's gonna leave Rib. Soon it'll just be rhyme. Let's quit Rib already. <laughs> Voices pierce my mind like arrows. The noise is unbearable. What the hell is this? There's no way this is real. Is it a dream then? Am I... dreaming? But now I'm certain that I felt this before. When noise pulled me into rhyme. And before that, a long, long time ago. <laughs> but the voices drown out my thoughts before they can take form. Shut up! Shut up! My head is pounding. The voices... Fuck! I'm going insane! I feel a warm sensation in my ears. When I reach to touch them, something sticky drips out. <gasps> it's slimy. Black. Almost like tar. Letters are floating in the liquid. What the? <laughs> <laughs> the words. They died inside my skull and became this black filth. <laughs> what is this? I really hope this is just a dream, but it feels so real. Either way, I need to find a way out. I look around, but just then I suddenly realize that I'm being watched. When I turn around, I see a familiar face pass by. A face amid the rows of featureless heads. This one has a face. <laughs> I run after him. I push my way through the faceless babbling crowd. Making my way to the back of the shop. The tattoo studio is through this door. I open it and dash inside. 
Well, that's not what that should be. <laughs> when I step through, I find myself at Dry Juice's base. Why? I should still be inside the shop. <gasps> the man who was watching me earlier is standing at his end of the alley, beneath the Dry Juice tag. His head is hung low. And I approach him slowly. I don't know what's going on, but somehow, I know who he is. Mizuki. Mizuki. Mizuki slowly lifts his head. He looks ready to cry. Oh, oh, oh. oh are you still in here, buddy? Help me! Oh, oh. Did he just explode? Oh, shit. Suddenly, the scene shifts. Now the tag is covered in black, and the alley is spattered with blood. What happened to you? I don't know what to do. About what? About dry juice. I love Rib. It's the most fun I've ever had. But that's why I have to think about the future. Dude, just let go. You can find other things to do. You can find a full time. You don't have to give your everything to Rib, my man. Oh shit, he's a good leader. What do I have to do to make sure everyone's having fun? How do I make sure no one feels left out? It's always on my mind. I always thought it'd be enough to treat my guys like family. I know how much you care about them. That's how Dry Juice became the biggest gang. But... It's not enough anymore! Mizuki looks down, rolling his hands into fists. Rhyme's too popular. The hot new thing. Everyone's caught up in the craze. They're getting bored of Rib. Even abandoning it. Ribbon Rhyme are just games. I know. People want their games to be fresh and cool, but. I. I didn't want to let it go. Rib? Dry juice? That's just too important to me. I know it's stupid to take a game so seriously, but I just couldn't let it go. It's interesting to me that he keeps calling it a game as well. When it's a gang thing and they go around beating the shit out of people. I mean, some of them uh, take it like in a nice way, but it, mostly they seem pretty fucking violent against each other. <laughs> Even my guys were slowly moving to rhyme. We weren't getting as many new recruits. Everything I worked so hard to build was crumbling away. I grit my teeth. It's hard to see Mizuki like this. I always knew dry juice meant a lot to him, but I never really knew just how deeply he cared. Has he always been hurting like this inside? Why did I never notice? Self-loathing rises inside me. If only I talked to him. I spent every day worrying, thinking, but I couldn't figure out what to do. And then one day, this guy showed up saying he was with Morphine. Morphine? Morphine? He said Dry Juice was the strongest rib gang and invited us to join them. I thought he was just shady as hell. 
But then he introduced me to other members of Morphine, and I started to think, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea. I mean, you're giving up your gang, though. You're taking away Rib. Oh, my God. I guess at least those ones weren't brainwashed. Maybe if they could become members of Morphine, everyone would stop talking about Rhyme. They could be proud of Dry Juice again. So, you really... Yeah, but I was wrong. Morphine wasn't the kind of gang I thought it was. Morphine, they... Yeah. No. You lied to me. You said dry juice would be part of morphine. Wasn't that the deal? Then why? It wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't. I just felt like doing that one. That felt good to me. So they were supposed to join and be part of Morphine. It was supposed to be like Morphine and then um, Dry Juice underneath Morphine as like a sub gang. But instead they just completely took them over. God damn. Suddenly Mizuki screams. He falls to his knees hunched over, clutching his chest in pain. Mizuki. Mizuki. <laughs> his head snaps back with dangerous speed. His eyes dart frantically about, and more screams pour from his throat. Sweat rolls off him in waves. Yeah, that is a traumatized little kiddo. Fuck. I don't like the look of that tattoo either. That's a lot of black ink spread over, like, everything. That must have hurt like a bitch. Oi! Mizuki! Oi! Mizuki! <laughs> Mizuki! Mizuki! I run up and grab him by the shoulders. <gasps> What the? What was that? Yeah. <laughs> My head is pounding. What did I just see? Images. Memories. Is that me? <laughs> Agreed. Mizuki! Is Grandma okay? I come to with a shout. Where am I? No, wait. This is where that black van and car were parked. Where's Mizuki? You're finally awake. Granny! Yeah. She's fine. Oh. That voice. Baja! Granny! Why is Granny here? When I try to sit up, I realize I'm lying in her lap. Baja! Why? Granny? Why? How? What are you freaking out about? You're the one who came all the way out here. Uh, that's right. Mizuki's people were kidnapping Granny and I was trying to stop them. Mizuki? What about Mizuki? He's over there. I follow Granny's finger to see Mizuki face down on the ground. Kozaku, Noi's Mink, and Claire are standing nearby. Alba. You okay, Alba? Master! Master! <sighs> oh, good. Everyone's here. But what about Mizuki? Did he die? Did he mentally break? Is he comatose? Relief washes over me. Suddenly, my body feels like lead. Bacha. Granny. What is it? My head hurts. You can take your medicine later. We're going home. I don't think I should take my medicine anymore. I'm starting to think something's wrong with the medicine. Mm. Okay. Home. There's nothing special about the words. 
But for some reason, they make me incredibly happy. Home. We're going home. I feel the energy slowly drain from my body. <sighs> Passing out while looking at the tree. That was cute as well. The way it like shot off into the cloud line and then the eyes closed. That was adorable. I like, like I said, this game, it works real hard at what it does. Before I know it, I'm unconscious. Come, come on, not now. Tell me, Mizuki. No! They never confirm whether Mizuki's dead or comatose or just unconscious. Son of a... This concludes the trial edition of Dramatical Murder for Steam. Please purchase the full version to continue the story. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. You know what? Yeah, no, that's a smart place to end it. I really... It honestly would have been worse if it broke, like, right before we got to the junkyard. If it was, like hey yeah they all like got persuaded by my voice and came with me like that was good doing like the mind break thing now we know there's much more crazy shit going on in this game interesting interesting you did it though yeah we got to the end in eight hours oh god i really should have made this two streams <laughs> um i am going to continue to try and work my magic behind the scenes is all i can say so i'm not going to be playing this myself offline anytime immediately I'm going to do my best to see if we can one day finish this together. V probably doubtful. Probably very doubtful. Um, but yeah, this was a long demo. It drew me the shit in. It's very clearly made very well. All the voice acting is fucking impeccable. So I would like to continue this. Um, so yeah, it's n this isn't something I'm going to play over my break and like come back and be like, here's what I thought of the game, guys. Uh, but yeah, worst case scenario, if it's like a few months later and still nothing's happened, I'll probably just play it myself because I am now drawn in and interested and then i really want to play i can't remember whether it's sweet paul or one of them just the the artist has drawn me twice now and the artist has beautiful art so whichever one they did they were the main character designer and artist on i want to play that one as well another nitro plus game oh is it slow damage thank you i couldn't tell whether it was sweet paul or slow damage but yeah Tagano no chi nah Tagano no chi i i know Tagano no chi <laughs> But yeah, with that said, uh, I, I don't think we're going to have a Zatsu done today, guys. Um, it is 6 p.m. In three hours, I'm playing Valheim with Alpen. <laughs> uh, fuck. And then I'm playing things with Sunny. So, oh, at least tomorrow night. I don't have to do anything tomorrow morning. I can restore my voice then. But yeah, I'm glad I rested my back the last few days and only did short streams. This... Ooh. Um, for everyone who doesn't know, I'm not going to have a POV for Valheim. It's going to be on Alvin's channel. So make sure to check him out. We'll probably go for like three hours. Hopefully it won't be much longer than that. I will do my best. <laughs> like I said, at least I don't have any streams tomorrow morning. In the morning, I am safe. I could sleep in. And then in the evening, I get to play River City Girls 2 with Sani finally. Which has been a long freaking time coming. Oh, and tomorrow morning, I will release my weekly schedule as well. I'll release it at 10 a.m. when I normally go live, just so it's the perfect time for everyone to see on Twitter, even though I'm not doing anything. If I have the energy, maybe I'll do like a very... No, no, I won't. No. We've got a, we've got a Zatsu done um, the day before I disappear anyway. So no worries. I will get through all the super chats from today. I'll go through like the discussion for this stream on that day as well. We'll have a nice long like goodbye to everybody on Wednesday, whenever November the 7th is. It's either Tuesday or Wednesday. That's my final day streaming. But yeah, I'll release my schedule properly tomorrow. There's not... You guys know what the schedule is. I talked about it recently. But yeah, this was a long stream. I'm going to head out. I'm going to get dinner. I'm going to walk dog. I'm going to lay down for like a good half an hour to an hour. And then I'm going to be back with, Val with Valheim with Alvin. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys for joining me. This is awesome. Like I said, I've been trying to get this together for months for months and months and months and months <laughs> so i'm glad we finally got to do it i had a lot of fun with it i'm glad we got to finish the full eight hour version as well for other people that may only take like six hours but yeah i, I talk too much during it <laughs> i theorize too much i talk too much i am stupid when it comes to visual novels because i just love them so much i had a lot of fun theorizing with things and thank you for nobody spoiling me i literally only had to like actually ban one person who was just very blatant about a spoiler other than that, I've been bringing up like so many theories and <laughs> I love seeing the chat just explode with like, 
Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Hold back, guys. Like, not correcting me or not telling me if I got anything right. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> this was brilliant. Literally, the only thing I knew was like, yeah, a little bit before things happened with Ren. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll be back on Alvin's channel for Valheim. I'll be back on Sunny's channel tomorrow for la la, River City Girls 2. And other than that, I'll drop my schedule tomorrow morning. Um, just, yeah, I'll definitely have a Zatsudan at the end of the week. Well, the end of the week, I say it's either Wednesday or Tuesday. Either way. Some good fun streams this coming week. Oh, and a Noctix collab. Yay. So, yeah, everybody have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry I can't properly do the thank yous to the super chats and everything. This has been an incredibly long stream. So if you've been here the whole time, even if you've only been here for like a little bit, rest yourselves, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm trying to press so many buttons at once. What I will do on the way out is say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. Because unfortunately, I can read the super chats whenever I want to. I can always find them. They're super easy to find. Membership's not so much. So thank you to everybody who joined the membership today, including Selena, Usakun, Viviane, Akiluna. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Mouse Aesthetics, E, Lydia's still here, Stina C, Mary, Kuro Noasagi, Agamin, Iggy, Starlight, Layla, Sally Deli, Potato, Eka Centipede, Wyatt, Yeah. Oh, yes. And oh, I'll say that at the end. River, Fun Fantasia, Seed, Son of Alpaca, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a lovely evening. Yay, yay, Maljun. Ray Ray, Burb. Ayala. Sekiliu, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Maureen. Apalef, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Irayam. Yumi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Lala, you did. <laughs> I didn't realize I got a rainbow super while I went to the bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> I'll read that properly when we do all the mem oh, the super chats. That's freaking hilarious. Natsume Kun, thank you so much for the gifted. Kiwi. Chant, thank you so much for the five gifted. Lucilla. Zaza. Sisume. M. Miss Jerry Lolly at Fogoshi, thank you so much for the gifted. Jay, thank you so much for the gifted. Jessica, Risimo, Ashley, Luna Yuki, Kindred Anon. Thank you so much for the bathroom gifted, I'm assuming, since it was a bunch of one gifts in a row. <laughs> Kuga the Lord, 22. Goro, Agnes, Nini Yu. Kuriko, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Kaoris, Jasmine T. Rain Jingle Ba. Chimu, thank you so much for the gifted. Riea, thank you so much for the gifted. And Mao Tien, thank you so much for the five gifted. Tam. Luthia, thank you so much for the gifted. Flora, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Emily Jasmine Chang and Ruth Seymour, thank you so much for the gifted. Kai. Jovial Bun. E Cream. Maho, thank you so much for the ten gifted membership. Mimint. <laughs> Pure coincidence? Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Holy shit, and Shirley, thank you for the huge Akasupa. Oh my god. Was that during the- That was during the bathroom too. Oh my god. Bah! I didn't even notice those when I came back. God damn. Sigh. Shy. Moon Moon. Sleepy Chi. Diana, thank you so much for the five gifted. Ma GG. These are all still while I was- I was only in the bathroom for like five minutes. How? <laughs> oh. Ying Shijie, thank you so much for the gifted. Fang47. Sabrina Sebaha Hagen, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Off. Oh. Annie, thank you so much for the 5 gifted. Yura, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Orangel Fua Fua Fuchan, yup. Miss Kya. 
Sig Panda. Pom Pomipi. Pomipi. I thought, first I read that as Pompeii. It's like Pompeii rearranged. Pompey. Hope Schmidt, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Mommy Bomb. Yun. Safi. Emo. Dashan. CHY. Arikike. Susuri. Uraro. Kain. Haku. Shimomi, thank you so much for the five membership. Natalie. Ming Xie. Osetsu. Hope Schmidt, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. HH. Ryu. Wuya. Shaluo. Thorn. Megan YB. Li Yu. Aruchi. Miss Payne. Mai. Milo. La V, thank you so much for the five gifted. Sabrina Saberhagen. Ray La Bela. Gabrielle. Oxile. Injured and on, thank you so much for the gifted. Tsukise. Kai. Key Diva, Vox's horn ring. Otonashi, thank you so much for the five gifted. Aha. Uh -huh. Kamiko. Thank you for the 150 gifted membership as the stream started, you legend. Thank you so much, Kamiko. That's so sweet of you. Oh, you, I'm pretty sure you sent um, Aka Super too. I'm so busy missing so many streams. Finally, I miss everyone. Miss you, Fufu-chan. It's lovely to have you here. You were here like a week or two ago as well, and you dropped a ton of donations, so don't worry about it. As long as you enjoy the VODs you get to watch, as long as you enjoy the streams you get to show up to, just thank you so much for being part of the community, Kamiko. It's always lovely to have you here. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for being so supportive. I hope you have a lovely evening. And thank you again for pushing 150 sheep into the sheep pile by yourself today. God damn. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well and take it easy. Desi Ardine. Aslan. Aweator, thank you so much for the gifted. 19. Night. Apple Spider, Tiny Crab, Ann, Sassy Leslie, Sig Panda, Joy, River, Esther Lou, Rain, Roku69, Kana, Yaiba, Starfruit, Yuri, Garcia, Dandelion, Murr, Patty Cabbage. Oh, and Kamiko, welcome back to the membership yourself for the 19th month. Aw, you've been here since the beginning as well. Thank you so much. Luthier, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Lufifi. Agi-chan. Ak Lang. Perfina. Snow Kaoru. Yoyanashi. Boz. Hope Schmidt, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Aline Chen. Sun. Skylin. Jin, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership again. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for always supporting the channel. I hope you have a lovely evening and I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Have a wonderful evening and thank you. Yuino Rui. Kanade. Hope Schmidt. Kirobane. Vicky. Lin. Aikash. Imitation Flower. Sara Third Wheeler, Umo, Mie Goreng Soto, and finally, Rain Q. Thank you guys so much for joining this yeah, super huge stream. I'm so sorry. I really thought this was only going to be five hours. I think the person whose stream I watched to confirm that with possibly cut things out because, yeah, I wasn't trying to spoil myself, so I just, you know looked at their times and jumped around a bit and i was like this will be fine <laughs> sorry i always do this i prepare people for shorter streams than they should but that's my bad but thank you guys all for being here there's actually nobody streaming right now are you kidding me this is not a time i ever end at and yet still nobody in the chisaki is streaming <laughs> okay i'm gonna send you guys over to albanyan's valheim waiting room where i will be in two hours oh god two hours and 40 minutes thankfully but yeah, I, I will send you guys to v Valheim waiting room for Alban Young. 
everybody have a lovely evening thank you so much for joining me today as always do not be led astray my confidants we will be back in three hours on Alvin's channel on like three plus 24 27 hours on <laughs> Sunny's channel and other than that I will drop my schedule in the morning for you guys and I'll show you when we're going to be seeing each other all week next week have a lovely evening do not be led astray and as always I We'll catch you guys next time. That's what I wanted to say on the way out. Um, also a huge, huge thank you to the moderators. Moderators did amazing in this stream. The stream was so much more active than usual. There was a whole bunch of people that were visiting. There was occasional backseating and spoilers happening. The mods did amazing. Thank you, moderators. Get a rest. Have a lovely night. Thank you for being here.